yako sasa na mile le
Mheshimiwa Bwana Heri ni kwa shimo Kwa Yesu Tukuza Bwana Nikutukuze Enzi yako Enzi yako Bwana Heri Yesu Bwana Ni heri tunikupatie sifa jewe Ni heri tunikutukuze Adonai Ni heri tunikuheshimu Jehovah ni heri tunikupende Adonai Ni heri tunikuheshimu mfalme Hakuna liye kama we Yesu Hakuna wakufana nishona mungi Hakuna wakulinga nishona wewe Jehova Kando na wewe hakuna mungu mungine Kando yako hakuna wakuwabudi wa Jehova Kando yako hakuna wakupewa sifa Kando yako hakuna wakutokuzo wa Jehova Ni wewe tumfwane wa jabu Ni wewe tukimilio letu Jehova Ni wewe tutegemeo letu baba Ni wewe tumsada wetu wa karibu Ni wewe tulafiki muema Jehova Tunakutokuza Jehova Tunakuwabudu Jehova Ni yeri tutukue shimo Ni yeri tutukupe sifa Ni yeri tutukuishie mungu wetu Ni wewe tuadonai Ambia tubwa na subu ya leo Ya kwamba ni yeri tumwe wako impende Ambia tubwa na ya kwamba ni yeri tumwabudu Ho Yesu mfame ni yeri tutuwa tukutukuza Sasa Bwana Santi Yesu Ambia tu Bwana ni heri umpatie sifa siku ya leo Ni heri tu Bwana chukutukuze Ni heri tu Bwana ni kupende Jehova Ambia tu Bwana ni heri siku ya leo mwabudu Ni heri tu Bwana mfalme uke sifa zote Yesu Hakuna kama we Adonai, hakuna kama we Yesu Hakuna wakulinga nishwa na wewe Jehova Ndiposa tunakuwa budu Jehova Ndiposa tunakupatie sifa kwa mana ni wewe tu Jehova ni wewe tumfuan mewishie milele Ni wewe mwamba uliwe imara Jehova Ni heri tubwana upuka kia sifa Jehova Ni heri tutukue shimo Ni heri tumio yetu kupatue sifa Adonai Ni heri tumio yetu kutukuze mfalme Kwa mana hakuna kama wewe Yesu Hakuna kama wewe Adonai Hakuna wakulinga nishwa na wewe mfalme muema Hakuna mungu mwingine kando yako Jehova Ni wewe tu mfalme wa mani Ni wewe tu kimilio letu Ni wewe tu msaada wetu Adonai Tunakupenda, tunakuwabudu Mfalme wa ajabu na stahili Wewe ni muema mfalme Umetenda mambo maku Umetenda mambo ya ajabu Jehova Tunasema tuni asante Tunasema tuni asante Adonai Mfalme wa ajabu wewe ni muema Mfalme wa ajabu wewe na stahili Moyo wangu ina kutukuza Jehova Kama ni kukuwabudu Jehova Moyo wangu ina kuwabudu Kama ni kukupatia sifa Jehova Nita kupa sifa Kama ni kukueshimu Adonai Nita kueshimu kama ni kukutukuza adona mfalme ni na kutukuza hakuna lia kama we mfalme wewe tupeke hakuna stahili jehova ni wewe tu mfalme ni wewe tu jehova wewe so mfalme wa jehova ni na kupasifa zote jehova kama tun kwenenda kwa mapenzi ya kwa jehova ni mekubali kwenenda kwa njia za kwa jehova ni wewe tu adona mfalme ni wewe tu jehova nisi hakuna lia kama we mfalme Jehova kama ni kukuchagua Jehova Moyo wangu imekuchagua Mio yeti imekuchagua Jehova Mio yeti imekubali kukupatia sifa Mio yeti imekubali kwenina kwa njia za kwa Adonai Mio yeti imekubali Jehova kwenina kwa mapenzi ya kwa Adonai Hakuna kama we Yesu Hakuna kama we Yesu Ni wetu Yesu Ni wetu mfalme Ni wetu wakupewa sifa Jehova Ni takuwa budu siku zote mfalme Nita kuishimu siku zote mfano Ambia tubwa na moyo wako itampatia sifa siku zote 
Ambia tu bwana kwa hali zote utamwimidi Ambia tu mfalme wa amani siku zote moyo wako utamtukuza O Yesu mfalme siku zote nitakuheshimu siku zote nitakupa sifa siku zote nitakuabudu mfalme wa ajabu Hakuna kama wewe Yesu Kuchagua Yesu mimi nitakuchagua Ni kuchagua Yesu mimi nitakuchagua Kama ni kuchagua Yesu mimi nitakuchagua Kupendeza Yesu mimi nitakupendeza Nikupendeza Yesu nitakupendeza Kama nikupendeza Yesu mimi nitakupendeza Kuinua Kuinua Yesu mimi nitakuinua Kama ni kumweshimu Yesu mimi nitamweshimu Kama ni kumweshimu Yesu mimi nitakuweshimu Kama ni kumwabudu Yesu mimi nitakuabudu Amani kuabudu Yesu mimi nitakuabudu Kama ni kumwabudu Yesu mimi nitakuabudu Amani kuabudu Yesu mimi nitakuabudu Kuabudu O mimi nita O mimi nita Kuabudu 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 Kuinua Kuinua Mimi nita Kuinua Mimi nita Mimi nita Kuinua Mimi nita Mimi nita Kuinua Kutukuza mimi nita kutukuza O mimi nita kutukuza Mimi nita kutukuza O mimi nita kutukuza Mimi nita kutukuza O mimi nita kutukuza Takuheshimu mimi nitakuheshimu mimi nitakuheshimu mimi nita o mimi nita Yesu mfalme nitakuheshimu siku zote jeu nitakupa sifa zote Adonai mfalme kwa maana na staili Jehova hakuna Mungu mwingine kando yako Jehova Nita kutukuza na moyo wangu wote Adonai Nita kuheshimu siku zote za maisha wangu Adonai Nita kutukuza Yehova Nita kupenda Jehova Nita kuishi ya milele mungu ishi ya milele Adonai Hakuna liye kama uwe hakuna wakufana nishwa na Jehova Pokea tusipa zote Adonai Pokea tukufu wote Yesu Fanme nita kuishi ya siku zote za maisha wangu Adonai Hakuna kama uwe Jehova Hakuna wakufana nishwa na Yehova Ninyo wetu Yesu ni wetu Adonai Thank you.
tutakosa Jehova umetukidhi mahitaji yetu Bwana tunakupenda tunakuinua asante Bwana asante Yesu umekuwa Jehova Rafa mponyaji umekuwa Jehova Jire umekuwa Jehova Shama umekuwa Jehova Shalom amani yetu ambi tu Bwana ni asante kwa amani si wengi wana amani lakini Yesu amekupa amani ambia Bwana ni asante kwa amani ambia Yesu ni asante kwa ulinzi wake uliposafiri Bwana amekuwa Jehova Roho amekulinda amekuelekeza katika madhabahu yake mshukuru kwa ajili ya kupa mtumishi wake ambaye amezidi kukuelekeza mwambie tu ni asante kwa kukuweka katika madhabahu yake mwambie tu ni asante kwa maana umeokoka ambie tu Bwana ni asante kwa kuwa unajua ukweli ni wengi kule nje wamepotea ni wengi wanafuata manabii bandia lakini wewe uko hapa umeweza kupata ukweli ambie tu Bwana ni asante kwa ufunuo ambao amekuamini mwambie tu ni asante amekusaidia ukajua nje utakatifu mwambie tu ni asante amekufungua macho yako ambie tu Bwana ni asante shukuru tu Bwana kwa yote ambayo amekutendea una kila sababu ya kumwambia Bwana asante asante Bwana kwa huduma mwambie ni asante kwa kipawa ambao amekupa mwambie ni asante kwa karama ambayo amekupa mwambie ni asante kwa huduma ambayo amekupa mwambie ni asante kwa mafuta ya roho wake ni wengi sana wanatamani kumtumikia mwambie tu ni asante Bwana tunakushukuru kwa huduma zetu tunakushukuru kwa karama na vipao tunakushukuru kwa roho yako mtakatifu asante kwa kutupenda Bwana asante kwa rehema zako mshukuru kwa msamaha wa dhambi Bwana amekusamehea maovu mengi ingelikuwa ni mwanadamu ingelikuwa umeangamia lakini Bwana amekuwa mwingi wa rehema ambie Bwana ni asante kwa rehema zake mwambie ni asante kwa damu yake takatifu ambie imezidi kunena msamaha ndani ya maisha yako damu yake imezidi kunena neema mwambie tu ni asante kwa damu yake ambaye imezidi kukutetea Bwana tunakupenda Bwana tunakuimidi mali hapa tunakuita mtakatifu Jehova hakuna ile kama wewe Yesu mioyo yetu imejawa na shukrani Bwana unapendeza sana Adonai unapendeza sana Yesu majina yote na mazuri ni yako Bwana majina yote mazuri na matamu ni yako Jehova tunakuita Jehova Elohim mumbaji wa mbingu na nchi Bwana kwa watawala ni wewe mfalme wa wafalme Oh Bwana hakuna ile kama wewe Yesu tunakuabudu Bwana tunakutukuza Yesu hakuna ile kama wewe ndipo siku ya leo tuko mahali hapa tunakuinulia mikono yetu Jehova tunasema tu ni asante uinuliwe Bwana uiminiwe Jehova Bwana tunakuingia kwamba unaweza Bwana wewe unaweza kimbilio letu tegemeo letu ni wewe Bwana unaweza mahali hapa Jehova Bwana ni wewe unaweza kimbilio letu na tegemeo letu baba ni wewe Bwana unaweza ndani ya maisha yetu Bwana unaweza sana baba unatosha sana Jehova kimbilio letu na tegemeo letu ni wewe wewe ni wewe tu mfalme wetu Yesu Bwana unaweza Jehova Asante Bwana Asante Yesu Asante Jehova Asante Yesu Bwana wewe unaweza Bwana wewe unatosha hakuna ile kama wewe Bwana kimbilio letu na tegemeo letu ni wewe Asante Bwana Asante Yesu Pokea sifa na dhamma zote Jehova hakuna ile kama wewe Yesu wewe waweza kimbilio langu na ngome yangu wewe waweza wewe waweza wewe waweza kimbilio langu na ngome yangu wewe waweza unaweza Yangu na ngome yangu wewe waweza unaweza za unaweza weza kimbilio langu na ngome yangu wewe waweza oh wewe waweza wewe waweza wewe waweza wewe waweza kimbilio langu na ngome yangu
wako wewe waweza unaweza wewe waweza Wewe watosha unatosha Jesus. 
Tutosha siku ya leo Mungu wetu hosana unatutosha sana unatutosha kwa yale matendo umetenda ndani ya maisha yetu Mungu wangu unanitosha Bwana sina Mungu mwingine kando na wewe Mungu wetu unatutosha mahali hapa Bwana unatutosha Yesu unatutosha hakuna yeye kama wewe Bwana Asante Yesu asante Bwana Asante mtakatifu wa mtakatifu Jehova Bwana unatutosha Mungu wangu unanitosha Bwana Asante Yesu asante Bwana Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Hosanna unanitosha Oh Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Oh, 
unanitosha unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha unanitosha Mungu wangu we Hosanna unanitosha Hosanna unani tosha Hosanna unani tosha unani tosha Unanitosha Mungu wangu we 
Yahweh, I'll find Omega. 
Yahweh, Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Mwadhimishe Bwana kwa maneno ya kinywa chako mwenyewe. Yeye ni Mungu, yeye ni Baba. Anastahili utukufu, anastahili sifa. Anastahili adhama zote. Utukufu wote ni wake. Fungua kinywa chako, nena naye Bwana. Ukimwadhimisha, ukimpa sifa asubuhi ya leo. Wiki ya kwanza ya Januari, siku ya leo siku ya saba Tuna kila sababu ya kumuinua Jehova. Tuna kila sababu ya kumtukuza yeye. Mwadhimishe Bwana, mwadhimishe Bwana. Mwadhimishe Bwana kwa maneno ya kinywa chako mwenyewe. Wewe ni Mungu, wewe ni Bwana, tuwakutukuza mfalme. Tuwakuinua Yesu maana hamna mwingine aliye kama wewe baba. Utukufu zote shima dhama na sifa baba tunakupa. Ongea naye, nena naye, toka moyoni mwako, nena naye. Anasema kwamba sikio lake si fupi kwamba siweza kusikia. Anasema kwamba yeye si kuziwi. Anasikia maombi yetu. Asante Bwana. Tunakupa utukufu Bwana. Tunakupa utukufu Bwana. you 
Hey, 
ya utuku Wasta hili Hei buwana Wasta hili Last 
Kiswahili Bwana Kiswahili Bwana Santo la babariba Aliantos So Jesus, na mnulia bwana Jehova Mungu wa mbinguni kwa jina lako Yesu Kristo tuelewe macho yetu kwako Jehova ombe bwana kwamba unamtazamia we focus our eyes on you Jesus tuelewe macho yetu kwako Yesu jinsi Daudi alivyoomba na kasema katika da, katika Zaburi 121 123 Daudi akasema kwamba atamnulia Mungu macho yake basi kinywa chako fungua mbele za Bwana Ambia bwana nainua macho yangu kwako ambia lord i lift my eyes ambia lord jesus i lift my eyes keyboard is stick to your work moyo 
wako elekeza kwa Bwana Yesu Kristo. He is our focus. Yeye ndio mtazamo wetu. Bwana wa macho kwako Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Tukutazamia Bwana, ulia msaada wetu, ulia kimbilio letu Bwana. We fix our eyes on you Jesus. We fix our hearts upon you Jesus. This morning and this day my Lord Jehovah Tuainua macho zetu mbele za Bwana. Tumetangaza wewe Yesu ndiwe msaada wetu, ndiwe kimbilio letu, ndiwe ndiwe amani yetu, ndiwe msaada wetu Bwana. Asubuhi hii na siku hii Bwana, naomba kwamba Bwana ukafanyisha baba makuu yako machoni mwetu. Naomba Bwana my heart, I fix my eyes, I fix my heart upon you Jesus. You are the Lord my God, you are the Lord my joy, my strength. And you are my Lord my savior. This is the day that thou my Lord has made for me. I shall worship you my savior. I shall bless your name my Lord. I shall exalt you my father. Ambie Bwana Yesu kwenye madhabahu haya. Na inua jina lako takatifu na takasa jina la Yesu moyoni. Unautakasa jina lake Yesu moyoni. Someone sanctify the name of Jesus. In your heart and over your life, you sanctify the name of Jesus as the name that be holy, as the name that be righteous, at the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee boweth, every tongue confesseth that this Jesus is Lord. And so this morning we bless Yeshua ya Masia. We honor the Lord Yeshua ya Masia. We honor him. He is worthy. He is precious. He is wonderful. He is glorious God. His name is Yahweh. We praise the name of the Lord Jehovah. He is the ancient of days, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end of all things. He is the uncreated God. Yet he created everything, whether visible plus invisible. We are the works of his creation. We bless you Adonai. We bless you Elion. We bless you Elgibor. You are our El Sabaoth. You are our Nisi. You are our Ebenezer. You are our King, my Lord Jehovah. You are our Shama. You are our Shalom. Masi Antola Babariba. We kritala Masi Antoli Talaba. We brakatomamo yanto senta la li Antoraba. In the name of Yeshua Yemasiya. We praise your name this hour. We declare your worth. You are a wonderful God. You are a wonderful Savior. The Almighty God. There be none that can pay to you my Lord. Your name is holy. You are exalted my King my Lord. We exalt you my Lord Jehovah. Tunatangaza kwamba hamna kama yeye. Yeye ndiye Bwana aliye mtakatifu wa takatifu. Aliye simba wa kabila ya Yuda. Hapana mwingine kama yeye. Tunainua jina lako Yesu. Huyu sakaraba si yanto le talaba. Bibla kati mambo yanto kuntara. Wepone mwako Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Hapana giza. Hapana matendo za giza. Wewe ndiwe moto. Wewe ndiwe moto. Moto wako ni moto ulamba Hivyo moto wako asubu ya leo Ika ramba ramba Ika ramba chotote ambacho ni kigini Hali ambazo ni pingamizi Hina amezwa Hapana magonjo Hapana dhuluma Hapana minyororo Hapana vifungo Hapana kutanganyikiwa Hamna hali za utisho Hamna hali ambazo Hina ugopesha Hamna hali za kuwachanganya Hamna hali za kupotosha Ula kuchanganya Roo wa Yesu ni roo muda Roo wako bwana ni roo muda Roo wako katawala madhabao Usa karaba ya nto kutara ambie bwana my lord he shall reign over my life he is the reigning king ni bwana naye tawala ambie bwana tawala maisha yako akatawala maisha yetu akatawala madhabahu haya akatawala maisha yetu mawazo yangu moyoni mwangu yesu naomba ukanitawala my lord naomba bwana kwamba utotawale yesu utotawale madhabahu huni utotawale kaluni hapa baba we pray that dear lord every name on this altar shall bow to you my lord my savior every tongue confesses and to thy name O Jesus confesses that Jesus you are our Lord and you are the Lord and you are the King my Savior you are the Lord Jehovah you reign over the universe you reign over every creation you remain God and Lord Jehovah you reign above every situation and you reign above every matter you reign above every conditions you reign above every matter katika hali zote katawala Yesu ambia buwana tawala ambia Yesu tawala mali hapa hiyo ndia mwanga tena nuru mwanga waki ukaangazia madhabo haya ikaangazia maisha yako ikaangazia anga hii ikaangazia madhabo haya ikaangazia sisi walio wake ikaangazia mtandao wetu ikaangazia hali zote ikaangazia my lord akatuangazia na mwanga na nuru usi antola baba riba ibda katorima santa la liantora rima mamusi kala liantora ibda masaka la liantora babo in the name of yashoya masia 
we praise you Jesus we honor your name we honor you my Lord on this altar this mountain there is no other God katika milki hii Yesu unaitawala bingu ni zako dunia ni yako safu zote za kiroho ni zako wewe ndiwe bwana wewe ndiye mtawala wa yote ndani ya yote katika yote ukatutawala ukatutawala my Lord ukatutawala Yesu tumekukimbilia asubuhi hii tumekukimbilia bwana asubuhi hii tuomba kama ukature hemo ukatuhurumia sisi wewe asante la raba riba kanto la babo riba katorima la liantora tunaomba kusamehewa tunaomba kusafishwa tunaomba damu yako Yesu ikapata mfanyiko mpya tena ya kutusafisha ya kutuosha ya kutuosha ya kutusafisha ya kutusafisha tewa safi mbele za Bwana tuomba Yesu leo hii my Lord ukafanyisha usafisha baba wa mioyo na watu wako mahali hapa riba baba santa la kalababo hata mtandaoni kote kote tunaomba Yesu hatilia mfanyiko wa damu yako ikafanya kusafisha mtandao wetu mzima mzima iwe ni YouTube iwe ni Facebook iwe ni WhatsApp zote zikatakasika my Lord we pray that dear Lord iwe na website Savior Jesus may your blood wash it this hour and now my Lord ukatoa magugu zote ukatoa unajisi na uchafu wote ukawasaidia watu ambao wanakuaminia asubuhi hii waliotegea mahubiri haya nao tegea neema Yesu kawahurumia tunaomba asubuhi hii ha usi antola ima kutala siba libra katorima la lianto riba nikitala kunta masantara libra katorima la liantara tunaomba roho wa bwana ukafanyika moto ufanyike maji ufanyike upako ufanyike nguvu ufanyike mwanga ufanyike moto mkali ukameza mioto za haramu ukameza mioto yote the fire of god shall swallow every strange fire in the name of jesus kila mioto zilizo haramu ina mezo na moto wa bwana maana moto wa bwana ni moto wa hatari ni moto ulambao ni moto mkali ukameza mioto yote every strange dreams every strange visions every strange tongues every strange words every strange utterances every strange prophecies kila ndimi haramu nabii haramu ndoto haramu kila mioto zilizo haramu zote zina mezwa na moto wa roho bwana ikamezwa na moto wa roho mtakatifu tunatangaza moto wako jehova ikapakatola si kama kutara libra babu si kala liantoraba libra katorima masi antola babu ikameza meza meza tunatangaza kwamba madhabaoni hapa ni Yesu peke yake tawala ni Yesu peke yake akatawala Yesu ndiwe bwana juu ya yote ndani ya yote katika yote katika madhabao haya na mitandao zote zote juu ya kila mshirika naye fanya kufuatilia mahubiri haya kila naye pegea neema mfanyiko wa bwana kwenye madhabao na mtandao huu tunatangaza nguvu na moto wa Jehova ikawapata pata ikawapata pata ikawakamata kamata ikawasafisha safisha tunatangaza ubatizo wa moto roho wa bwana roho mtakatifu roho mtakatifu roho mtakatifu ni roho mtakatifu hii ni roho mtakatifu ewe roho mtakatifu ewe roho wa bwana roho mtakatifu fanya kazi yako sasa moto wako kila hali moto ukienenda katika hali zote ina meza 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 kila mishale mitego zote zina meza na moto wako roho wa bwana kila mishale kila mitego kila huduma kila magonjwa kila mihangaiko kila mateso zote juu ya nafsi yoyote ina meza na roho wa bwana kila mat, kila mito ambazo ama kila visima zilizobebeshwa maji machafu ama mishale zote tunatangaza hazina nafasi penyeza na moto wako roho wa bwana ndani ya kila nafsi ndani ya kila utumbo ndani ya kila kishima ndani ya kila kishima ndani ya kila mawazo zote zote we pray and lord jehovah we welcome your fire hii na walayo samwana karibisha moto wa bwana maishani mwako ambia wa bwana moto wako na uhitaji sasa ambia bwana moto wa roho wa bwana na uhitaji sasa ninapokea moto huu ninatamani moto wa bwana samwana ambia bwana yesu ni moto wako napokea ni moto wako na upokea ninakubaliana na moto wa roho mtakatifu tunakubaliana na moto wa roho mtakatifu moto wa roho wake Mungu tunakubaliana na moto huo ni moto ulambao ni moto hatari ni moto unaokomboa ni moto unaosafisha ni moto ambao unafanya uvuvuo ni moto ambao unatupatia nguvu ni moto ambao unatufungua ni moto ambao unatuokoa ni moto ambao unatutoa katika gereza za mashetani ni moto ambao unatoa watu katika vifungo vya mashetani ni moto wa roho mtakatifu 
unawatoa watu katika dhuluma za mashetani ni moto ambao unafua nafsi katika mateso za kishetani inawatoa samwa meida fire right now waka upon your life in the name of jesus ni moto ambao unafanyisha vipawa na karama kusafishwa vipawa na karama kufanya upya vipawa na karama za roho zinapata usafishwa zinapata usafishwa zinapata utakaso zinapata usafishwa kila kipawa kila karama kila huduma kila mwito ikapokea moto wa bwana baba santa la riba riba kato rima la liantora sama tumbo lako sama mdomo wako sama miguu yako mikono yako sama kifua chako sama mgongo wako sama masikio yako sama macho sama miguu yako mikono viganja sama santa la riba sama ulimi wako na upata moto sama kichwa chako na nywele za kichwa zinapata moto wa bwana inapata usafisho inapata usafisho inapata uvuvuo inapata uvuvuo sama na kisima chako mara tena inapata usafisho moto wa jehova wikatola ribla kuriantara baba fanya ndani yetu my lord fanya kazi yako na roho mtakatifu fanya kazi yako pendavyo jehova ibla katora riba ili tala kunta la liantora rima mama saka la likaraba ibla katorima senta la liantora Oh in the mighty name of Jesus we pray this morning my lord Jehovah karibisha roho wa bwana sama na over your life ambie roho mtakatifu ni wewe pekee na kuhitaji ambie roho wa bwana ni wewe pekee yako ukapata nafasi ndani yetu we are making room for god we are making room for the holy ghost we are making room for yeshua ya masira tunafanya tunafanya njia tunafanyisha nafasi tunafanyisha nafasi kwa ajili ya roho wa bwana tunafanyisha nafasi ndani yetu sama ndani yako fanyisha nafasi akaingia roho wa bwana akafanya kazi yake ukafanya utakaso akakufanyishia usafisho wewe pia fanya hali zako mbele za Bwana ambie Bwana moyo ni mwangu naondoa dhambi na tubu maovu na tubu maovu na tubu maovu na ya tubu madhambi ninafanya kutubu in the name of Jesus ambie Bwana kwamba hauna ushirika na dhambi hauna ushirika na maovu hauna ushirika na mashetani wala hauna ushirika na roho za giza hauna ushirika na matendo za giza hapana ushirika na matendo za mashetani hakuna ushirika nazo hivi leo hii kuna kataana nazo hali hali ya kukataa na dhambi njia yake ni toba kwa jina la Yesu njia yake ni toba kwamba Yesu ni safishe kwamba Yesu akusafishe unatangaza kwamba unamtamani Yesu unamkata setani unakata dhambi unakata masihara unafanya kujikatanisha na madhambi ambazo zimekuzingara ama zimekufunga unaweka kando mizigo ambazo umejibebesha nazo hizo mizigo za madhambi mizigo za hofu mizigo zote ambazo tumebebana nazo tunaziweka chini mizigo hizi Yesu tumechoka tumechoka we surrender to my lord we surrender unto you our lord we surrender our lives we surrender our lives halipinga mizigo maishani tunawachana nazo i lay my life on the altar i lay my life unto the almighty god ninajilaza kwenye mandaba na mmekuja mbele za Bwana ninajiachilia roho yangu tujiachilia roho zetu Yesu turumie macho yako inapolenga lenga madhabo haya naomba mwangaza mambo tokamano na miale ya macho yako Yesu ikasafisha maisha yetu ikayasafisha madhabo haya magwanda tulizonazo magwanda machafu yakatakasika na kusafishika baba kwa upako pia kwa miale ya moto wa Bwana Yesu ile kwenye madhabo haya tunasafishwa tusafishwe tusafishwe utuoshe Yesu utuoshe my lord achilia moto wako madhabahuni ikafanya kazi madhabahuni moto unaopalilia moto unaoongoa moto unaochoma moto unaoangamiza moto unaoharibu moto unaobomoa moto unaoporomosha zote ambazo hazikutokamana na Bwana Yesu kila mapanda ambazo sio za Bwana ambazo sio baba yetu bingu na leo yapanda shati yakangolewa ni sharti yakangolewa hivyo Yesu ngoa hivyo Yesu akangoa hivyo Bwana ngoa 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 katika jina la Yesu mapanda za magonjwa mapando za mashetani mapando za uzembe pando za kuchoka mapando za kungangana mapando za kuwa na ujinga pando za kuwa na ufukara mapando za umasikini mapando zote za kutoa nyuma mapando za kubaslide hizo mapando sio mbingu ya Jehova hizo mapando za Bwana hivyo leo hii kaomba samwana Bwana kayangoa masheni mwako ambie Bwana ngoa toa ndani yangu akatoa ndani yako hali zote ambazo hazimpendezi Jehova ambie Bwana niko radhi ambie Bwana na 
my life unto you my Lord Jesus you are the worker of my life you are the doctor the physician and dear Jesus my Lord I pray that you allow your fire to work upon my life and your power my Loki and Tolaba and your mighty anointing by the Holy Ghost and your dimension the prophetic anointing Jehovah for the purposes of mighty deliverance and your pandora mambaya every plantation every seed that was never planted of the Lord Jehovah be uprooted over my life be removed from my life there be an uprooting in my mind every thought and every imagination uh, that exhaust themselves uh, in opposition to oppose the Lord Jesus uh, to oppose the work of God and the will of the Lord Jesus uh, over our lives uh, be uprooted right now be uprooted right now be uprooted right now every evil foundations uh, that have had over my life uh, be uprooted by power by fire be uprooted by the authority in the name of Jesus uh, happy the Holy Ghost uh, you work it over the people's lives uh, you work it over the people's lives uh, you work it over our lives uh, you work it over our lives uh, my pandas are washed out. My pandas are seized. Pandas are wheezy. Pandas are madangano. Pandas are weevil. Pandas are ujinga. Pandas are masikini. Pandas are magonja. Kila mbegu ambazo ni mbegu za giza. Pandas are zote za waribifu. Zika ngolewa. Zika kutoka. Zika ngolewa. Zika kutoka katika jina la yusu. Katika alivya damu ya yusu. Inatangaza uweza. Inatangaza uweza. Hivya damu ya yusu. Hika tangaza kukutetea. Usa tala babariba. Tutete buwana yusu. Dami yako na yonena mema Hata kwa sosa Ni kungwangua magugu Na kuondondoa uchafu Na kuondondoa magonjwa Na kuondondoa uzumbe Na kuondondoa mishale ambazo Iliwapata watu singizini Iliwapata watu kwa vyakula Iliwapata watu kwenye matembeleo Iliwapata watu kwa kilala Iliwapata watu kwa maungeo Iliwapata watu kwenye matanga na mazusu Iliwapata watu katika hali za kuenda Sokoni ya makule kuingineko Iliwatemlea jamana familia Katika hali hizo Kuna mapando liyapata Kuna maroli ya fungulia milango na zitoa na moto wala wana kawatoa kubaliana na yeye ambia buwana ni moradhi na kubaliana na mfanyuko na upako roo wako mdakatufu haka itenda kazi ya kenda ni yetu in the name of Jesus mapando mambaya mawaza mambaya fikra mbaya tamaniyo mambaya hizo hali za uoga hali zote za hofu zinangolewa ni mbigu mbaya mbaya hapana mapando za masheta baika kana wewe tumenge kwenye majira mapia haya ndio majira mbazo tunainda kutembe na mbuwana Ndiyo majira ambazo Kutafanya matenda makuna Jehovah Ndiyo majira ambazo Bwana katutumia jinsa pendavyo Ndiyo majira ambazo Tuka vihirika Tuka tawala na bwana Kwa vihirisho za matendo za ajabu Samwana Ande Yesu Fanya na mio pendavyo Hivyo ndani yako afagio Hivyo ndani yako akafagia Hatu endole hali ambazo Ingetunyima sisi kutembia na uwe Yesu naoma nisaidia Sama ndiyo ambilako Haka kusaidua Haka kuwezesha Haka kufuwa Haka kukombowa Haka kufuwa maratena Usa talabakuri yanto ribabo Rima mama sika lalitala Ribla kato rima kuria kutaba Ribla saka lalianto la talababo Rima mamu sika laliantara Vipawa na karama za roho Zika pata moto tena Zika pata vuvua maratena Zika pata power Zika pata power Zika pata fire Zika pata fire Zika pata power Zika pata nguvo maratena Samwana Uka pokia revival Ambia buwana mchana waleo Kwenye madhaba ohaya my lord Nihurumie mie my lord Sitake ni toke bure Sitake ni toke bure Sitake ni katoka bure Mwambia buwana Ni natengeza na fasi lukwamba Ni kapata kubeba mafuta Ni kapata kubeba neema Ni kabebesha upako wako jehova Hiba sato la kuriante riba Hima mama kunta litala Hiba kato rima la liantora ba Weo liokuwa shimoni Weo liokuwa gizani Weo liokuwa chini mekanyagiwa Mwana sasa nguvu zake Zina kunyanyua Zina kunyanyua Zina kunyanyua na kukutoa mashirika Shimoni, summon the power of the Holy Ghost. He could tell Gizani, he could tell Shimoni, he could tell Magadizani, he could know that he's a Kupotea, Haliza Mahangaiko, Haliza Kutokua na Ufahamu. Summon the Lord deliver you right now from every confusion in the name of Yahshua Yamasira, from every indecisiveness, every indecision. In the Halambo Mekuamo, how to Kuamua, Vipo Kahenenda, Movo Zarova Buana, Zikosa Dio Sasa, in the name of Jesus, Mafutana Upako Wake, Ekaku Katanisha. 
na minyororo za mashetan be delivered by the power in the name of Yeshua ya Mashiha minyororo za mashetan ina katwa na moto wa Bwana vifungo vya mashetan zina katwa na moto wa Jehovah zina yeyusha na kuteketezwa be delivered by the power in the name of Yeshua ya Mashiha neema ya Bwana inaweka watu huru inafungua watu nuru na mwanga wa Yesu inafanya watu kuwa huru someone pata huru wa Yesu someone be delivered from your bed be removed from your bed of sickness someone ukatolewa kwenye kitanda cha usingizi toka uta kitanda toka usingizini toka gizani toka gerezani toka shimoni toka kwenye vifungo someone kila watumishi wa Bwana mapasta watumishi manabii wote ninatangaza upako na nguvu za Jehova inakutoa gizani inakutoa kwa uzembe you been oppressed your air is under oppression your atmosphere unasikenga uzito ninatangaza mailaka tola riba riba katirima la liantara the light of jesus comes upon your life and your situation now be delivered by that power be delivered by the light of jesus be delivered right now in the name of jesus kila hali ambazo ulikuwa umeshinda jicho kujisaidia nguvu za roho mtakatifu zinakushukia 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 be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now be healed right now someone be delivered right now someone be liberated someone right now be deliver someone right now zila hali ambazo lichanganyikiwa the light of jesus stretch over your life and stretch your mind darkness must give way when the light of jesus comes darkness must give way bina tangaza mwanga hata nuru ya yesu inapoangaza giza inatokomea giza ikatokomea someone giza ya kwako inakutoka giza ya kwako inakutoka giza kwa nyumba yako inakuondokea giza kwa biashara kazi mwili ajira roho giza hiyo inakutoka bida Delivered by power and be liberated by fire and be thou liberated by the power as well as by fire right now in the name of Yeshua ya Mashiha pokezwa neema pokezwa kipawa pokezwa huduma pokezwa vipawa pokezwa huduma pokezwa upanga samana pokezwa silaha za kiroho pokezwa silaha pokezwa silaha pokezwa silaha pokezwa silaha pokezwa upanga wa kiroho sama pokezwa neno la Bwana sama pokezwa neno pokezwa neno la ushauri pokezwa neno la maarifa pokezwa maarifa ya Bwana pokezwa neno la maarifa pokezwa neno la hekima samwana in the name of Yeshua ya Mashiha we cut our river kuriantara miguu yako ipate nguvu tena utafu miguuni kakutoka utafu mikononi katotoka utafu midomoni katotoka utafu matoni katotoka utafu wote masikioni katotoka utafu zozote baba ikatotoka hali zote za uchafu hivyo moto wa Bwana takasa hivyo moto wa Bwana katusafisha hivyo moto wa Bwana kakuosha samwana every day every day fall meant by the devil every satanic defilement tumetangaza damu ya Yesu inatuosha shetani jua hivyo damu ya Yesu ni sabuni ni sabuni ni maji ya kutusafisha ni utakaso wetu tumekubali kuoshwa baba satana riba tunaomba na kutangaza hatoshinda bana mali hapa huduma ya samana ikapokea revival in the name of Jesus sama pokea tena hali za kumakinika kiroho you receive and regain again sensitivity in the holy ghost sensitivity in the spirit sensitivity in your spirit sensitivity in your spirit sensitivity in your spirit sensitivity in your spirit ma in the name of Yeshua ya Mashiha utaweza pia kupambanua na kumakinika tena sana sana katika jina la Yesu vipawa vikanolewa vipawa zikasafishwa vipawa vikategemezwa tena vipawa vikaimarishwa tena vipawa vikategemezwa vikasimamishwa vikaimarika mara tena someone be you be, be someone and be revived your gift is in the holy ghost be renewed be revived be repositioned right now be rejuvenated by the power in the mighty name of yeshua ya masiha tunatangaza moto wa bwana baba kumbuka manyumba zetu nakumbuka familia zetu nakumbuka watoto wetu nakumbuka wapendwa wetu nakumbuka wote wapendwa wetu kumbuka familia zetu mashetani watajifusha mule hakuna mapepo wala maroho ambazo yakajifusha pale tumetangaza nguvu na moto wa bwana ikatufunika sote ikafunika manyumba ikafunika maboma ukafunika uwanja ukafunika baba uwanja ukafunika mtandao ukafunika hali zote zote
sote basi antola baba tumetangaza my savior ikawaheri nasi sote baba wote wa shirika madhabahu haya walio Europa walio America walio baba America walio Australia walio mababa India walio mo China walio mo Asia mzima mzima walio mo Arabuni wote walio mo Africa mzima walio mo Israeli kote baba wote wale Jehova walio chini ya himaya hii tumetangaza neema ya Bwana ikawa joyeha moto wako roho Bwana ikafanyisha utakaso mashani mwa neema yako vile vile ikafanya kazi mashani mwa in the name of Jesus Kenya hii kote kote kaunti zote manyumba zote tunatangaza neema ya Bwana kwa wote walio masalia wa Bwana walio mabaki wa Bwana walio chini ya kava hii walio tuwanyo fanya baba kutegemezwa neema kutia mtandao huu natangaza neema hiyo juu yao usakara talabi baganda libra sika mayanto litala libra katori makutara baba tawala ibada hii endeleza nasi mailoda hata mwisho jehova baba namba kwamba salia kuwa Bwana Yesu mgeni mheshimiwa namba ushukue nafasi yako tawala mandhabao tendelea watu wako waguze watu wako wapende watu wako tawala mandhabao haya yafurahie mandhabao haya utufurahie sisi watu wako Yesu mali hapa ni wewe peke yako tunakuenzi peke yako Yesu tunakutukuza Bwana wewe oh, karibu roho mtakatifu tunakaribisha upenda kazi wa nguvu zako kwa maana jeshi la malaika wako hodari ya anga na hewa hii yote mzima Oh in the name of Jesus Oh in the name of Jesus Joy and good 
Mwenyulia sasa mbi lo Mwe wangu na kuinyulia Macho yangu ya roho na kuinyulia Yesu Mana wewe buwana ndiwe msada wangu Mwambia buwana Unanyua macho yako kwake in the name of Jesus Baba tuwa kuinyulia macho yetu Use condenser mic. Use condenser mic. Use condenser mic. Can 
Nita wa malize, nita wa malize, nita wa malize. Muna kujana unaki, muna jifanya wasi. Lakini matendo yenu, matendo yenu, matendo yenu, matendo yenu. Oli aloma siyakala, yo mato masantala. Oli mo siyakini masa, oya koya talama. Nimi nimu, nimi nimu. Nini se mante me na wachasi, nini se mante nene na wachasi. Ama wame kubali, kote mbea na nini, wale wame kubali. Kwe nene na mini, je unangu na chua, je unachua. Panyumba zao, wako na vitu bushi, wako na vitu bushi. Ala kule wana kuja, wale wame kubali. Wana kuja na unaki, muna kujia na narofiki, muna kujia na nani. Nime se mante nene nini, kila mante nene nini. Kila moja toka, toka asa kipa hona, toke ni hapa, toke ni hapa, toke ni hapa. Muna jipanya na, muna jipanya na, muna jipanya na. Yona naomba kwa ajili ya kila nafsi kwa Yesu Kristo. Mkasema waje kwa kwa wote wale waluna misiku. Mkasema waje kwa kwa. Nataka watu kunye shimisha, nataka kwa mataifa, nataka watu kunye shimisha. Awade watu kunye misiku Yesu. Na oba buwana buka neno lako Hawa diwa watu wako Buka waita wate kwako Kauta wafukuza buwana Uli sema buwana Nama nabi wako Musa alivyo oba Na oba buwana Uli uwa waha uli uwa watu wako Uli kwa gini ya Musa Haku wa uwa Sasa watu hawa na oba kwa gini ya uwa Kwa ajili yao Yesu Tunakuta buwana Tunakuta buwana Tunakuta buwana Tunakuta buwana Hawine badilika Baba ridia, hapo karidia, 
Mungu karidia Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Hapa kuna watu walio haki. Kuna watu walio haki. Kuna watu walio wema. Kuna watu walio wakwa. Baba kuna watu walio haki. Kwa ajili yao Yesu karidia. Pia mimi Bwana ukaridia ni watu ndio nipatia usiku kawaangamiza kwa sasa hiyo naomba nafasi na wao wafundishike kwa jina la Yesu hiyo na magadabu za kuskaribia tulia Bwana tulia Yesu tulia Bwana tulia mwokozi tulia Bwana tulia Bwana magadabu za kwa moto wangu naomba zielekeze kwa maadui kwa mahasimu kwa madhabao yako wazuri 
kwa ile wachache waaminio wataule wako baada ukaridhia Yesu kufurahia na kututenda mema ulitenda na Musa tena na mimi ulitenda na Musa fanya na mimi pia bwana kizazi hiki cha watu hawa tena tena kufia mikono mwa Bwana kuliko kufia mikono za maadui. Nyeri Bwana tukiangamia tuangamie mikono ni mwako na wala si kuangamia kwa matakwa na mapendo za watu maadui na mahasimu. Hivyo Bwana usifanye maamuzi kwa ghadhabu ambazo kafanya mahasimu na maadui wa watu wako wakafurahi na kucheka. ibada ya maandamizi ibada yako ya meza meza yako takatifu ni meza ya uzima ni meza ya furaha ni meza ya maamuzi ni meza ya hukumu hivyo meza yako Jehova meza yako Yesu katuhukumia mabaya na maovu magonjwa hivyo tupate nguvu ndani yako e Bwana hivyo usifanye meza yako iwe ni meza ya bure bali iwe ni meza yenye agano ya uhai hivyo na kuomba Yesu ridhia badilisha mavazi badilisha mavazi njo Bwana Yesu katika hali zako za furaha ikaluni kwa ajili ya wale watu ambao wanafanya kukufurahia Bwana najua utaridhia Bwana Thank you. 
Nitawakumbusha nadhiri zao kuzikomboa kuzilipa.
utaridhia ili ni mafundisho neno lako makosa yao usiyahisabie leo maana bwana ni siku yako
Jeu mtumishi wangu kremo si atani mosaya tata. Ajue ni wote na gari ya mosika. Mwanangu unaona wanakuja. Wanakuja wanakudanganya na mambo
mwisho leo ya mwisho nani wewe wewe tabarani tusizoyane 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 na tusizoyane unasikia unamsikia 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 kama ni kiasoba ke ni kumaliza sai kama ni kumaliza Woni amazia tolima sana. Nikimilia madhabahu sana wako bwana. Wewe yatozi. Makosa yake bwana itamsaidia toba. Itamfundisha bwana. Niaoze. Wewe ya bosi. Nikamtu. Usiye kidole yake. Kidole ya mtu yote. Musi nyoshe kwa mtumishi wa nitawamaliza na familia zenu nitaondoa nitaondoa kumbukumbu yenu kwa dunia na nitatoa na nitatoa jaribu muone jaribu jaribu mara tena muone mtaona vile nitawafanya mnasikia mnasikia nitawakunja na niwakunje na niwakunje na niwakunje kabisa kabisa Isa, munasikia? Munasikia vizuri. Kuna wengine kwa online. Nikuniangalia tu wananiangalia. Wanaangalia, wamekuja tu kutazama, kutazama video. Nitawapiga nini? Nitawapiga, nitawapiga. Nitawapiga. Pingamizi nini? Pingamizi ni ya nini? Ni ile ya bosi yako la tala ni ya Roma si antila moshi. Ola bosi ya Ramakinta. Moya tola dia moja. Ya bosa ya Ramantoli mara makanta. Mtumishi wangu niko na wewe. Niko na wewe na naongeza makali. Mtu yeyote ataongea kinyume na wewe. Na mke wako na watoto wako watajua kwamba kuna Mungu katika Israeli watajua kwamba kuna Mungu katika Israeli watajua na watajua wajaribu wanyoshe hata mkono wajaribu hata wainue macho wa kuangalia nitawapiga nitawabonda na niwabonde na nitawabonda na nitawabonda na nitawabonda Sichezewi na sichezewi na sichezewi na sichezewi mimi sio mwanadamu na wala mimi si mwanadamu mara tena nimesema yeyote ananyosha kidole kwa mtumishi wangu mtajua mimi ni nani mtajua na mtajua unafiki wenu songesha uko 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 msijaribu kuletea unani msijaribu 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 Musijaribu, musijaribu. Mimi sitembei na wanafiki. Sitembei na na siwezi na siwezi na nimesema na nimesema. Sitembei na wanafiki. Wiki mzima mnakosa kuniheshimisha. Alafu leo mnakuja ati oh baraka, oh baraka, baraka, baraka mnatoa. Baraka ya nani? Baraka. Baraka ya nani? Mnaniwekea mipaka kwenye madhabahu peke yake lakini makuli ni mtaki mingi. Mutaki niingie, mutaki niingie. Mutaki niingie. Haya kaini na kwenu. Mimi malalangu haya. Sitoki na sitaki mtu mnafiki. Na sitaki mtu mnafiki. Mukae ma kwenu uko mistaki kupata kwenu. Sitaki hata mukae basi mukae. Mukae maana mutaki niingie kwenu. Na mutaki kuniheshimisha. Mukae na kwenu lakini kwangu hapa kwenye malango haya lazima nitaheshimika. Nataka nataka heshima yangu. Nataka heshima yangu. Nataka heshima ya mtumishi wangu. Nataka heshima ya mtumishi wangu. Heshima ya mtumishi wangu. Je, mulileta dhabihu ya mtumishi wangu? Mulileta dhabihu ya mtumishi wangu? Mulileta, mulileta. Mulileta mbona mnanyamaza? Mbona mnanyamaza na saida mnakuwa mnapiga sauti kelele? Mbona mnanyamaza? Dhabihu zake ziko wapi? Chakula yake iko wapi? Iko wapi? Iko wapi? Iko wapi? Iko wapi chakula? Iko wapi? Iko wapi? Nani Molita yato la mariba si Antonio? Ola roza mira mara te tamboria. Wacha ni mbona mbizi. Wacha ni mbona mbizi. Hawa watu wa ofu. Hawa wazao wa nyoka. Wanajifanya wanajifanya. Wanajifanya watu hawa. Na watu wote ni wamaliza. Kati na Molita. Mwana torabala. 
ya Tony Mas. Watoto wenu wanakula. Watoto wenu wanavaa. Watoto wenu wanaenda shule. Na mtumishi wangu. Je, mnajua anafanya kazi wapi? Mnajua anapanda shamba wapi? Na ongea ni pasta mlanda wewe. Pasta mlanda. Mbona chakula mtumishi wangu hakuna? Kwa nini? Kwa nini hakuna? Kwa nini hakuna? Hakuna hakuna kwa nini hakuna? Kwa nini hakuna? Kwa nini hakuna? Eh, kwa nini hakuna? Kwa nini kwa nini? Mnakuja hapa mnajileta kini wabariki. Eh, limalita leo bosi atala. Yola bosi ya baliata. Bitali bora bo, yako ya tila. Bitaloza bihamba. Yako ya tala. Yako ya tala mara. Yako ya tala mara. Ya tila bo ibasi atala. Ya bosi ya peanta. Bitaloza bihamba. Kwambe kawaheri nas, nas. Yesu mtetezi wetu Usi ugeuzie mgongo Walio wako na manyumba yao Makosa yao Usi ahisabie 
leo hii bwana kumbuka damu yako Yesu msalabani uliyoimwaga kwa ajili ya sisi kuokoka wewe ni mtetezi wetu damu yako ya nena mema naomba ikafanya kunena mema ikiwama msamaha wa makosa na ondoleo la madhambi kwa sisi sote ambao tuko mbele zako watumishi walioenda bwana mazishi Luanda naomba bwana kwamba uh, ukaridhia maana walijitoa kwa muda wao kuomboleza na mtumishi Salome japo makosa ya, yao ni mavazi Namba Mungu tu kwamba usihesabu hayo. Nimesoma mbele zako masi. Nikiomba kwamba uwafanyishie msamaha. Kwa ajili baba kutopambanua kama watavaa mavazi ya madhabahu ama mavazi za wao binafsi wanapoenda mazishi. Ilikuwa ni hesabu ngumu walipoleza ushauri Bwana nikaridhia waenende hivyo usiwachape bwana na usiwapige japo makwao shuhuda za manyumba yao wewe bwana wajua naomba watumishi wako ucho wao uwafunike ndio sababu kanipa mavazi mengi za madhabahu ili baba nikawafunika ucho wao usiju kaonekane hata hivyo maovu na makosa yao nafanya toba kwa ajili ya hayo na Bwana nitafanya kuwa nenea na kuwafundisha asije akarudiwa tena safari hii ya imani hatuwezi bila mafundisho hata hatua baada ya hatua baraka zako lizo panga kutubarikia ibada hii naomba Bwana kwamba usiyatupilie mbali utubariki kweli maana wewe ni Mungu wa kweli majawa na rehema tena neema hivyo bwana na kuomba ulieniita kwa upendo wako watu wale ulionipatia japo wajafanyika jinsi ulivyokusudia hata hivyo bwana naomba kwamba utawabarikia watabadilika na muda ungalipo sante jehova mbuka mapasta na watumishi wote naomba bwana kwamba magwanda na mavazi yao usiwavue Naomba Bwana kumbuka kanzo zile umenivalisha ni kwa ajili baba ya kuwafunika wote. Unapoweka wao uchi Bwana ni uchi mimi unaniweka. Hivyo Bwana ni kanisa lako utakuwa umeweka uchi. Sasa Bwana naomba ukaridhia na ukatubia yale uliyopanga Bwana kuwafanyishia. Wengi ni watoto wangali wako shuleni kwa madhabahuni hapa wape muda Bwana wakafanya kuiva baba wanapoiva tutavukisha daraja asante my lord asante mara tena ibada hii wengi wamekuja eh, maana hawana utakatifu jinsi ipasavyo wakija huku ni shuleni wakasoma ni hospitali wakaponywa ni ni, ni katika bwana eh, Uh, ni katika josho wakaoshwa hivyo bwana wamekuja kuoshwa na kubadilishwa magwanda uturehemu bwana na jo nafanya baba kutubainia makubwa kwa sisi lakini baada wajafikia baba bwana ukafanya kuvumilia kwa upendo wako maana wewe ulivumilia bwana wa Israeli miaka 40 jangwani hivyo bwana ukatufanya baba kuwavumilia walio haki unawateua kwa ajili ya safari ya huku. Asante Roho Mtakatifu kwa wema wako. Roho wako akazidi kutawala hapa madhabahu. Yesu sisi tuyo wako. Utorehemu tena na uwepo wako kwa nasi. Kwa jina lako takatifu nimefanya kuomba na kuamini. Amen. tukasimama mbele za Bwana Okay Bwana yungali mwema
japo na japo pia bwana na anaweza kuwazika na ni kwa ajili ya makosa ya ya wachache wetu kumbukeni uh, wala mama mtaelewa bwana someni kitabu cha kitabu cha kutoka the book of genesis alafu pia kitabu cha kutoka genesis then read also um, exodus utaona jinsi Mungu alivyotembea na kabila la Waisraeli haikuwa Waisraeli wote Waisraeli wateule alikuwa anawafundisha hatua kwa hatua kosa la mtu mmoja Mungu angekasirikia Israeli mzima wakati Akan ama Akan alikosea tu kosa la mtu mmoja Mungu aliamua kwamba atapiga Israeli mzima hadi pale Musa akachukua hatua ya kufanya kurekebisha mambo aka anakamalizwa peke yake na nyumba yake hivyo sisi ni familia moja we are one family so wakati mtu mmoja ama watu wawili ama watatu wanakosa barabara kidogo hizo uh, hali nilikuwa nimefunduliwa mapema kuhusu hali zao na ni makosa ambamo eh, makosa ambazo nizafanya sisi sote tupigwe kwa watu wengine hayo makosa ni madogo lakini kwa Mungu kiwango kile madhabo haya yamenuliwa na umbali watu fulani umeshainuliwa kuna makosa Mungu hataraji nyinyi mfanye kwa watu wengine hayo makosa ni bure tu but for you <laughs> so some of us you have already gone a bit higher with God umejifundisha mambo mengi you know sacrifices you know honor you know giving you know worship na worship sio kuimba tu kuimba ni sehemu yake worship is our dressing code hata kule nje so mlienda mazishi na matanga yale ndio mlifanya vema because biblia yenyewe inasema tulie na wanaolia tuomboleze na wanaoomboleza tuwatie ni moyo so that one we did but while we do so tunafanya kuomba na wao na kuliwaza na wao there should not be called kwamba amkuvaa mavazi za kutangaza kanisa muvimu mlitaka kujua kwangu tuvae kama madhabahu ama tuvae kama watu binafsi but uh, again kuna mambo ambazo unapokuwa na bwana as you grow as a minister there are things you use your conscience and your heart kuamua maana though it was not a church function this is you it was not our church it was ni ni familia hiyo ingine so we went as friends and as to support our own pastor so katika hali ndio kanisa yao so i didn't know much lakini the expectation that god has for us is that wherever we go we remain his servants uh, all the time so namba kwamba wengi wetu tuingieni katika hali ya utakatifu na ibada iende zaidi ya mipaka ya kanisani so that means kuna watu your place of work nasikia mfunike vichwa watu walio watumishi those that are watumishi it means hand up now uh, having an outfit for you at work that covers your head because you're a prophetess hivyo uh, ni mombo bwana aturehemu haleluya najua ataturehemu najua ataridhia upande wa matoleo na madhabihu Uh, Mungu anataka sana kwa watumishi sadaka zenu na naamini kwamba tutafanya masadaka hizo maana kuna viwango ambazo tumeinua so tutafanya hivyo Mungu awawezeshe uh, kila pasta na juanga jinsi ya mwaka ukianza kuna personal sacrifice ya mtu pasta personal sacrifice pa inenda kwa nyumba ya mtumishi wa Bwana. So mambo haya you grow so itabidi ni wafundisheni ndiposa na jaribu kuwatetea mbele za Bwana atupatie muda. Because how do you show honor? Heshima unaonyeshaje? Heshima tunaonyesha kwa kumtunza mtumishi ambaye Mungu ametupea. Maana Mungu avae viatu na avae nguo. Mungu hakule mkate. So zikija kwangu uh, pia mie sita kula zote <laughs> nione vile ninazagawa haleluya bwana asifiwe
So we need a, a lot of lessons to learn. Tutajifundisha mambo mengi as we take eh, kusonga mbele na Bwana. Eh, even number kwamba to zingatia hofu, let's have the fear that fear of God. Mungu anaona mambo mengi tu sana. Uh, manyumba za watumishi wengi huko tumefanya utakatifu but manyumba zetu bado kumebaki vitu gushi vitu gushi hazitikani kwa manyumba zetu so for all our pastors nafikiri tutakuwa na kikao cha mapasta baada ama kama ni kesho we can have it tomorrow kikao ya mapasta ni waongelee mambo machache uh, ikiwezekana leo ni sawa depending on how the service will go. Alafu ni wafundisheni mambo chache mambo machache. Let's not have the father items remaining in our houses. Uh, na mtu nimesha wafundisheni utajua mam, vitu ambazo ni najisi na yajua. So you address them on your personal level when no one comes to your house to search. But I'll just give you guidelines vitu ya kufanya. Na wengine watu watumishi tusingatia hiyo. Once umeamua safari ya utakatifu please it's not just limited to church it should extend it to your house ndio fundishe watu wengine so may the lord help you fanya urafiki na roho mtakatifu kwambia hii haitakikani hii haitakikani na think some of us are taking long to get rid of some stuff in our houses because uh, of uh, the price mwingine huyo ni kitanda mwingine huyo ni mattress kifikira vile utaibambua utoe vitu fulani some of us ni viatu ambazo ngine wetu umeamua badilisha rangi you know so it takes some of us that one is taking time but uh, it's like mungu anaongea haraka sana before you've done what you need to have done so tuzingatie hayo sana and i think pastors will be free and open tutaongeleshana mambo hayo ili tusicheleweshe makusudi ya bwana mwaka huu this year Safari ya Mungu inaenda mbio sana. Tunaenda mbio sana. Paka ni kwanambia Mungu. <laughs> Sijui utaniunda namna gani because we want to have a crusade vihiga. Then we shall have a crusade in Kakamega. We shall have a crusade in Migori. Hizo crusade na zipanga zinaenda hivyo for the launching of the church. Na ngalenga hema vile tutaibeba na ngalenga vile hema itabebwa na ingine ndakana yeko hapa because hema hii ndio hema tunaenda nayo so hema ingine na tunaunda takana inunuliwe iwekwe hapa so watu ambao Mungu atatumia nyinyi kutembea na kutangaza injili eh, Mungu anataka muwe na ukamilifu kwamba tukusimamishe kama pastor because also the same we want in Mombasa kwa malukware naambia kitambo Mungu atembee na wewe kuna mambo lazima utengeneze na ukaze kaze. So that means I have a lot of work this year. Yenye tuomba neema ya Bwana. So lazima watu mukamilike mbio, worship team kamilikeni media. Tayari kuna gari ya ambao tumeshapata ya media. Na watu wa kwanza kuwa na gari. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the doing of God na sifa zote za Bwana so we shall brand the first van for the media maana tatumia the same same van kubeba mitambo we want to fix it so that we use it we shall be broadcasting i mean uh, streaming live from my name about nafanya is a crusade the second vehicle ambao pia is in the pipeline is ya ni a worship team and uh, and evangelism <laughs> ya hiyo ni bwana anatenda haleluya so masadaka zote za thanksgiving ambazo zimetolewa sadaka za shukrani na madhabiu za shukrani tunazisanya zote we are going to pay for that van then also the second van tunasanya pesa za covenant at the end of our fasting pesa za fasting zote tunafanya nao the bill ya your van ya worship and evangelistic team also to also do missions so you that's the second van hallelujah hizo hizo mbili zitasaidia kwa kazi eh, ya bwana 
although we wanted three, but our muscles so far, tunafikia hapo. We will use the givings. Tunatumia sadaka za shukurani. Those of us you gave um, sadaka za shukurani, you may wonder zinaenda wapi. Ah, uh, hakuna Mercedes market wako kanyo. No. We are buying those vans. Uh, to make kwa kazi ya bwana. So takwa tunaenda, so the next thing we want to do is we buy another tent. Hiyo tent ni leto ndio tent kubwa kwa hii itafunika hapa yote mpaka ukule. This one tunaenda nayo uh, kufanya huduma. So we'll be pitching it in Kakamega, we'll pitch it also in uh, Vihiga. We'll see in Mombasa kikuja where can we pitch it? Maeneo ambayo matuwezi kuipata uwanja we may need to rethink another hema kama ni ndogo asa hii ndio hema tutatumia katika missions bwana asifiwe so uh, mungu ameshadai tufanye kazi na bd but i also only want watumishi ambao wana mioyo ambazo zinaaminika if you are a pastor that uh, moyo wako jaaminika mungu mwenye atakutema so we pray that you be very honest be very sincere our media uh, media crew to our foundation because we want to have them be loyal and be given uh, to serving God. Hallelujah. If you pass mnajua vile tunaenda so Mungu atake watu ambao kwa kikosi chetu kuna mnyana fungulia shetani mlango. That in our groupings as a as a holy outfit. Ati kuna mtu ambaye anambia shetani kuna mlango nimefungua ingianga hapa. So that one wakati mtu hajasimama vizuri you are like a betrayer you are a compromiser na Mungu aweze kubali kazi yake karibiwa so we pray that uh, tushikilieni na kuzingatia utakatifu sana bwana tukuzwe well some of these things tunafundishana leo kwa ibada ni ibada ya meza ya bwana na meza him ni kwa ajili ya mambo ambazo tutafundisheni leo Namba Mungu awasaidie mioyo yenu iwe tu wazi. <laughs> Ni heri ukufie kwa mikono ya Mungu kuliko kufie kwa mikono ya watu wengine. If God want to kill me, <laughs> I say okay God, I rather die in your hands. Daud alisema hivyo. Ni heri ni kufie kwa mikono yako Mungu sio mali pengine. But I know that our God is merciful and uh, he tells us what is in his heart, but uh, he expects that we repent. Repentance means kwamba unatengeza njia zako. Hallelujah. So tujitengeneze mbele za nani? Mbele za Bwana. Hallelujah. 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 Bado Bwana yu mwema. So if you want to know ukali wa Mungu please read the book of Genesis, I mean Exodus, Deuteronomy, the book of Joshua, some of the with the patriarchs. Uh, so may we have Genesis, uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Joshua. These are the same. Uh, plus the book of Numbers, Isabu. Tabu cha Isabu. Ndiyo tajua he? Kama unasema unafuata mungu wa Israeli, please, jua standard yake. His holiness is not limited to you coming to church kama utamtangaza kwa watu eh, basi lazima una utakatifu complete haleluya yeah, so kuna wachache tu katika tita ambao anafanya Mungu anakasirika so hao wachache itabidi narudia mafundisho ndio tuone kama mnaweza badilika so badilikeni ndio Mungu asilalamike kuna watu wanafunga vitambara lakini wanasuka nywele like on Friday kesha <laughs> nilishita kuombea watu fulani I couldn't pray for certain people maana vichwa vyao walifunga vitu ambazo hazikubaliki then roho bwana anaongelea watu ambao huku mnavaa utakatifu kwenye mnavaa vitu vingine maisha yenu maisha yenu nje ya kanisa ni maisha ambayo god is finding your life outside um, church uh, your life is wanting your lives are wanting. So that means you still have a long way to go with God. Now if God will take a lot of time training you, then there's an agenda that delays. So, usiishi miaka yako yote 
kunyoroshwa na Bwana. Utaji, utajipata kwamba uh, unapoteza muda mwingi. So I'll be a quick learner, learn quickly. And um, to make so pastors will need to I'll need to talk to you. Um kidogo tu baada ibada. Um personally najua Mungu ameanajua some of you the evangelism you did you've done inje evangelist ambao mnafanya na baada mtafanya so you are rehearsing what you are doing tukikuja maana ambamo uh, pastor Moses atatuambia uh, tunaingia pale tunapeana peana neno tukikuja maana ya vihiga uh, pastor uh, Vincent anatuambia jinsi tunapenyeza maeneo ya kupeana peana dot do ministry the same with kakamega na I'm praying that malukwari fikiria sana about Mombasa na vile watu kutakuja. So now that will you have a van, the Mombasa van sivita mafuta itaisha. Hmm. Uh, tutaona vile Mombasa kutakuwa. Hallelujah. Chatu ome beleza bwana. Those of us online, the same applies. <sighs> Father, we just honor you. Asante bwana. Maana sauti yako inatutisha. Na bwana inaogopesha sana. Tuko tumbele zako bwana. Asante maana bwana uh, wewe ni mkarimu na wewe ni mvumilivu. Japo unatarajia makuu sana katika maisha yetu lakini bado unafanya baba ku, kutuhifadhi. Unafanya baba kutupokea na kutukubali hata kama bwana tumejawa na mabaya na maovu. Hivyo kwa ibada hii Yesu utuhurumie na utusamehe makosa za watu wachache isifanye bwana ukaikataa ibada za watu wote hivyo makosa yao baba na yatubia mbele zako utusamehe sana i want to pray that father do not allow that um, the mistakes of a few of us lord will make you lord reject the entire service I know the Lord you have greater expectations of us and because of that Lord uh, when we err you are like uh, getting disappointed so much may you father find it Lord in your heart today to reconsider and to show us mercy Yesu kukumbuka damu yako msalabani Jesus remember your blood it speaks mercies for our people that are so sinful like we are and so today we ask the Lord there be an appropriation of the blood of Jesus so the Lord it will speak mercies and forgiveness in our favor utusafishe kwa ajili ya maovu hayo sasa bwana naomba moyo wako karidhia na bwana kwamba uwepo wako kawa ni uwepo unaotamanika mbao bwana unatutia moyo mbao bwana unatujenga mbao bwana unatufanyisha baba kuimarika Mbele zako bwana tukapokea yaliyo mema basi bwana naomba kwamba ukatubu jinsi ulivyo tuwazia eh, maangamizi ukatufanyishia urejeshi wa baraka ulizozipangia mbeleni utubariki sote sisi bariki kila mmoja aliyekuja ibada hii na wote na ufuatilia mtandaoni wabariki ili maadui wetu wasije bwana wakatucheka kwamba umekuwa Mungu wa kutuangamiza na umefanyika Mungu wa kutuua usimalize yeyote hivyo bwana bakuomba kwa watu hawa utapata walio wazuri na wengine pia unawaleta ambao bwana kawatumia asante kwa madhabahu yako na asante kwa wema wako kwa kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba amen okay tawaruhusu mupange viketi vizuri eh, kwa haraka kisha tuketi so pastors guide it quickly while that happens a worship team pangeni vyenye pia um, pastor Vincent kuja na kiketi kimoja hapa mbele as we make announcements quickly carry one chair the rest wa pang then carry the other one ile iko na square square hey, bring that one hakuja nayo hapa then there's no point this one they are here just return ziko ziko hizo hapa aya leta ile nyingine masku eh aya 
Hey, I'm to a camera. Let's have uh, sour. I just want to uh, I had a hearing in. There's also one behind. Uh, while I'm going to find you, you can listen. Uh, the kind of chairs we are buying, because we are we're not buying this one because we don't want patterns. So, to it as to me, but we're not buying this one anymore. To not know it. I in a pattern. It is plain. So those of us on Novi we are no longer buying this one. So that's why I trust Pastor Vincent Kurunua He knows where to source them. So Pesa Mukimutumia Anunwe Kamata Nuani Shauriake. So you send him money. We buy this one. If you can get it on your own, fine, get it. This one, we are no longer buying it. Though we are using them, kanisani, kwa sababu we have patterns. We don't want patterns anymore. So stick to the color, stick to the same in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, quickly, come on, Shajipanga, please. Uh, someone, you know, the carpet up on belly. Those of us online, we welcome you in Jesus' name. Tunakaribisha. Uh, our online family, karibuni sana katika jina la Yesu. Na naomba kwamba kwenye pia, mesha nyumba yako pia na karibisha mungu in your house. Make your house uh, welcoming for God. Tutecheze vitu vichafu na jisi kwa nyumba zetu. So that mungu afanyike pia wakukana sisi kwa nyumba zetu. Uh, I want to dedicate these chairs, tafanya kuweka wafu. Please, if you have already done everything, stop walking outside. Let's be in church. Tusimame kwa jili ya viketi hivi. Aya. Worship team majipanga. People are like still going outside when you want to dedicate chairs. These are bars water menu. Uh come up as again appears later to as you work for all the chairs and bars men and liwa now to uh want to dedicate them. Uh from where me go yeah, someone to your come back when you go. I am go ya the pastor Molanda P A U T R. Uh, okay. Yes, only one. Madam Najipang, are you seated? Are you well positioned? Do you want? Sante Buana. Uh, worship team and Sibaon. Can all of us gather there? Keyboard this with your keyboard. Remove what he's singing. Let's have something different now. Aya, what do I get? Can you sign? We may need to have one pastor out, one uh, on Asha, Dilna Watoto Inje. Uh, Give out that mic and escape one and seven. Come, hold you have a mic. Someone has the mic. Yes, quickly. The other one, not mine. Okay, quickly text. Let me hear what one and seven. Nitawapa pendo langu 
Nitawapa pendo langu. Kikabuni kuna matunda mawili. Kuna ndimu na kuna chungwa. Kuna ndimu na kuna chungwa. Tenda mbaya unayotenda mabaya. Tenda mema unayotenda mema. Ujira unakuja. Kila mtu atavuna alichopanda. Kila mtu atavuna alichopanda. Kila mtu atavuna alichopanda. Nitamlipia kila mtu kulingana na mavuno yake. Itamlipia kila mtu kulingana na mavuno yake. Eh. Eh. Mi Mungu sitarudi nyuma. Nampenda mwanangu mwanangu. Mwanangu mtumishi. Ndio Bwana. Mtumishi wangu. Asante Bwana. Ila kupenda. Ila kupenda. Asante. Tabiu zako. Matoleo yako. Shukrani zako. Kujitola kwako. Sitakuwa chakamwe. Asante. Sitakuwa chakamwe. Asante. Nyumba yako na familia yako. Niko pamoja nao. Amen. Niko pamoja nao. Amen. Huduma yako niko pamoja nayo. Amen. Nitasonga nao wanaotaka kusonga na mimi. Simombelezi mtu. Waliojitolea kwa kweli na roho. Ndio mm. nitakaoenda nao. Amen. Mwelelishangwa nanga. Na tubanduki kamwe. Atutazami nyuma tena. Amen. Tunaenda tunaenda tunaenda. Tunaenda. Ati malazima ikamili. Ati malazima ikamilike Ati malazima ikamilike Oh mwanangu Ndiyo bwana Oh mwanangu Ndiyo bwana Nimesikia kilio chako Asante bwana Nimesikia maombi yako Asante bwana Kwa ajili ya mkutano wa leo Nimesikia nimesikia Amen Nimesikia nimesikia Asante Bwana Nimesikia nimesikia Thank you Mkutano utaendelea mm. Meza yangu takatifu iendelee Asante Bwana Meza yangu takatifu iendelee Amen Amen Meza yangu takatifu iendelee Amen Amen Nimewasame Asante Bwana Nimewasame Asante Bwana Nimewasame Amen Amen Nimewasame Amen Nimewasame Asante Bwana Nimewasame Oh yes Lord Nimewasame Thank you Nimewasame Thank you Thank you Thank you Jesus Thank you so much my father. Asante Bwana. Umwaminifu sana. Warehema tena sana. Fadhila zako za dumu milele. Na ushiki hasira milele. Na dhabu zako Bwana unaziondoa. Usikize maombeze ya waminifu wako. We bless you Jesus. Bless you Jesus. Is there the mic please? That's my mic. Take that mic. This is with my waves. Amen. Amen. 
switch off the other mic. Okay, Sante Buana. Ms. Mulanda, God values you very much. Usifanya upuzi kwa huduma. Wewe na mke wako. For Regina and George Mungana, God is still concerned. I believe God loves so much Regina na the husband George. Ni hata mpote walipo macho ya Mungu inawaanga inawaandama. So atembee vizuri. Hallelujah. Uh, media uh, what of media you hear sauti ya bwana what of media tumewaombea we are prayed for all of you na hivyo basi nilikuwa na kikao na wao jana kuwanenea ili kwamba mioyo yao ikapona and uh, you are expected to be faithful with your time and your commitment to the ministry because um, turning your back Uh, on God will only mean disaster in your life so those of us in media if you don't put God first i don't think it will be good or well with you so those of us now na wamekubaliana na Mungu endeleeni sana kutumika na Bwana but if there's anyone ambaye is wavering na nafanya ku kuweka mishale ku discourage wenzao i think you are quoting judgment So anybody that may want to incite others uh, you are really quoting judgment kutana na Mungu peke yako because I prayed for you goodness don't undermine media because you invested a lot of money kwa media so nasikia sauti ya Bwana and so we we'll may need what wa media muskize hiyo i may not have another time ya kuongelesha Ah asante bwana naomba Mungu kwamba uh, utabarikia uh, mipango zetu na shukuru bwana kwa ajili ya msamaha wa madhambi umetusamea umeridhia kwamba ibada hii iendelee meza yako unaibarikia asante bwana baba wa huduma watumishi umetuambia vikapo ni viwili kikapo kimoja ni cha machungwa kingine kimebeba eh, malimao hivi basi eh, kuna dhawabu kulingana na matendo zetu za huduma. Naamini kama Bwana wengi tunachagua machungwa na wala sio malimao. Hivyo Bwana saidia wote wakati na matendo yaliyo mema ambazo hazina machungu kama malimao bali yana yana utamu kama machungwa. So Lord may you have it be so. I want to pray now that God eh, you grant us Father kwamba kazi yako ikaendelea. Ndipo sasa Bwana tunafanya bidii kwa ajili ya, ku, eh, ya kusimamisha na pia Bwana eh, kufanyisha idara zote za huduma ziwe na uwezo wa kufanya huduma hivyo Bwana asante maana umetambua na umekubali utuongoze utuelekeze katika hali hizi zote tubarikie Bwana sasa furaha yako na amani yako ikawa nasi kwa ibada kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba amen tujie Bwana makofi 
Sasa piga vema vizuri mano mesamehewa dambi Mesamehewa makosa Hallelujah Hallelujah I love God when he, you pray, he answers. You ask, he answers. Hallelujah. Then, because the unabi, wawa nizuri unabi kipata thibitisho eh, ya sauti zaidi ya moja, ma zaidi ya mbili. So, you've had confirmation by two voices. So, tumesamea watu lienda kakamega, walienda kule kvihiga, vani, vani munga mwakumbuka. Hallelujah. Tupigia watu walenda kakamega hawa makofi walenda vihiga Luanda kwa jili ya pasta salome Hey, nyesai ber Umajua, tunababa ambaye hataki makosa To walk with God Kama umevaa white, meshu wakuna black mahali Yani matone kitu ya ribu kanzu yako So kadambi kadogo kanaya za ribu mchuzi yote Sasa you can imagine kutembe na mungu vile itakuwa. Na urumia watu wa Amerika na watu wa Europe ambako nitaenda in the course of the year. Yani siju kama mutakarangwa live. He? He. Mungu atusaidie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tipigia buwana ya makofi tena. Kwa jili ya weyeye ni muaminifu. Yeye ni wa upendo. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Tusimame basi mbele za buwana. Tumusindikiza na kawimbo kwa buwana. Hallelujah. Tumpeni sifa ye, buwana asfiwe. Tumpeni ibada yake, buwana atukuzwe. Yeah, just feel good and uh, just feel happy. Hallelujah. Just feel good. Once you are inside, please, asa tusitembe, tembe inje. Tukaiko tundani mbele za buwana. Hmm. Yoshi dambi zangu Ila damu yake Yesu Apendeze ui mungu Ila damu yake Yesu Hakuna Hakuna kabisa Gawa ya makosa Ya kututakasa Kila damu yake Yesu Nakuni safi sina Kila damu yake Yesu Ila damu yake Yesu Hakuna Hakuna kabisa Dahawa ya makosa Ya kutu takasa Ila damu yake Yesu Bila damu yake Yesu Hakuna, hakuna kabisa Kawa ya makosa Ya kututakasa Bila damu yake Yesu Damu yake Yesu Wimba wala amani Bila damu yake Yesu Hakuna kabisa Dau wa ya makosa Ya kutu takasa Bila damu yake Yesu Ya shinda uli mwengu Iyo damu yake Yesu 
Soma kwa uwezo wa Bwana Psalms 32 Kiswahili cha sema my mic please uh, is off peak can it have be on peak Ni heri aliyesamehewa dhambi thank you Heri aliyesamehewa dhambi na kusitiriwa makosa yake Heri Bwana asiyehesabia upotovu ambaye rohoni mwake hamna hila. Samwana haleluya. Ni heri aliyesamehewa nini? Dhambi na kusitiriwa makosa yake. Dhambi kusitiriwa means makosa yako yamefunikwa, kuna magwanda. So na vazi hapa ambayo nitaambia maana ya mavazi hayo. Ni heri Bwana heri Bwana asiye muhesabia upotovu ndio nimeomba kwamba Bwana asiwehesabie madhambi yenu ambaye rohoni mwake hamna hila maana moyo wako ni msafi Kiswahili kiingereza chasema English we read Psalms 32 blessed is he whose he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered blessed is the man unto whom the lord imputed uh, not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile so blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered blessed is the man unto whom the lord imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile someone hallelujah so bwana bandikio sema amebarikiwa mtu yule ambaye amesamehewa makosa yake na amesamehewa madhambi yake so ni wewe na ni mimi so we are blessed tumebarikiwa maana bwana ametusamehea dhambi tumesamehewa makosa zetu hallelujah so there is no more guilt hallelujah So hakuna tena kuwa na ile hali ya kuhukumika. Bwana asifiwe kwa ajili ni Mungu ametusamehea madhambi zetu. Then also eh maneno yasema na ni mtu ambaye umesitiriwa uchi wako umefunikwa. Dhambi zako damu ya Yesu unafanya kukufunika uchi wako. Maana damu ya Yesu inakuosha magwanda yake yanakufunika sawa may that be your portion in Jesus name haleluya haleluya mm. then uh mariki asema mahali hapa tena kuhusu uh, moyo roho yako yani moyo wako 
na roho yako so the place of your heart and the place of your spirit that you do not have guile yani hauna unajisi Psalms 24 Zaburi 24 ni kina nani wataukwea mlima wa Bwana ni mtu yupi ni dada nani ni ndugu yupi baya ataukwea mlima wa Bwana so mlima wa Bwana ni mlima za yuni so who shall appear before the mountain of God Bible says he whose hands are what clean Psalms 24 verse number 3 says Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? Verse number 4 says he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. So ni nani akaukwea mlima wa Bwana? Zaburi 24 23 mstari wa Zaburi 24 mstari wa 3 Matika sema ni nani atakayopanda katika mlima wa Bwana basi na ni nani atakayesimama katika patakatifu pake sasa ndio maana nasikia Bwana sauti yake ni kali maana kama nikufuata Biblia jinsi ilivyo then mtagundua kwamba Mungu ni warehema tena sana maana patakatifu pake ni hapa kanisani uweponi mwake nani atasimama Matika asema ni mtu aliye na mikono safi tena moyo mweupe That's what qualifies us to be in the presence of God Otherwise we should not even be able to stand in his presence So kisikia nasema toka watu watoke nje Ah watu watoke nje please ndio biblia that means we did not many of us did not qualify going by just one verse of the bible technically we are disqualified na hapo ni damu ya Yesu Kristo inasimama katika wema kututetea kwa baba na turehemu to just just have mercy on us and so that's why i thank for the song damu ya Yesu inafanya kutu takasa so mikono eh, safi nasikia bwana anaongelea matoleo na dhabiu ambazo ni chafu watu ambao you are involved in corruption so all the civil servants ambao you are under this covering uh, make sure that you are not bribed neither do you bribe usipate hela zako kwa njia za mkato so let the money that comes to you let the process be clean those of us uh, overseas those of us in other nations sadaka zenyu nyinyi wa Kenya ambao tumeenda uh, tuko ugaibuni hakikisha ni kwamba sadaka zenyu na dhabiu zenyu zimetokamana na mchakato ulio haki na ulio takatifu the process of what you earn let it come holy yere widow ambao unangojea pesa za mmeo kuzirithi usihongane ati ndio uipate kama itachukua one year ndio kufikia so be it as long as it is righteousness but don't try to bend the system using money hallelujah so kwa mfano nimependa mfano wewe ni wewe ni mjane ambao unataka kurithi mali ya mmeo zinakuja lakini eh, kuzirithi kuna hali ambazo ni kulazimu uhongane ndio upate those of us who want passport you want visa Eh, those of us you receive grants you receive monies eh, tender eh, zako na zipo eh, sasa measure that you don't need to induce induce anybody through bribery and such stuff or kickbacks such kind of proceeds they are not wanted in the house of god matoleo kama hizo concern hazikubaliki that applies also na watu ambao wanapata sio mapata raffles sio mapata Uh, umepoa sijui bahati nasibu lottery oh mara umepata eh uh, uh, umeonekaniwa eh uh, spot pesa eh uh, those monies are illegal they are dirty they are corrupt kwa madhabao ya bwana hazina nafasi 
you cannot use them as a gift or as an offering. Because one, God is not poor. Don't party with the bat in a sibu. Neither shall you bring such things to God. Hallelujah. Itafanya mikono yenye na kuwa chafu. And that includes what ambao uh, someone anakupatia. If someone will give you money, they must define why are they giving you and for what. So define pesa ambao na mtu na mtu uh, someone to define the money he gives to you. So mwanamke ukokea pesa, uliza mnyakupea ni nini na ni kwa nini? If that can't if they can't explain why they're giving you money, please Rudisha. <laughs> ru ru send back to send it back to the sender. You may be very needy unless God touches somebody akutumia pesa. Or if someone knows that you are needy, Namunga may impress upon that person and you have a witness in your heart. This one, uh, ni mungu. Then, she confirm kwa kikwamba ni mungu. Then take. But that's why tukona mchungaji. So that kila mchungaji unachunga kondo wako. So na wambini vitu za buwerele, wacha. Hallelujah. Yeah, lest umajipata kwa mtego amba kukutowa, mta kwa vigumu sana. So tujichunge na mamba ambazo inatutia unajisi. Then mandika sema ni mutu yule asie inua nafsi yake kwa ubatili. He who does not lift up his soul or his spirit eh, to vanity. Sama na liluya. That uh, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor swears or sworn deceitfully. Mutu ambaye hajainua uh, nafsi yake kwa ubatili, wala hakuwapa kwa hila. Kuwapa kwa hila na wakati weo unafanya hagano meokoka, lakini matendo zako haziambatani na wokovu. Umeapa, because when we give our lives to Jesus, lile ombi ambalo mimi wa shirikisheni, sema mimi, sema buwana Yesu, buwana Yesu, nime kuja kwako, nime kuja kwako, mimi ni mwenye dambi, kama na kuongoza kwa ombi hilo niliwahi kuongoza kwa ombi hilo basi nikuingiza kwa kiapo so ni kiapo ambacho ma hawa hawa mahakimu wameketi hapa they are judges seated behind here so you don't see them with your eyes but if you get they are judges hawa <laughs> ni mahakimu wamekaa hawa ni malaika wale ambao ni waamuzi mavazi yao utayaona wakati unaokoka they are called witnesses. Then kuna maleka ambao na shuka na mavazi ambao na valisho. You get saved like this, wana tolewa mavazi mabaya, wana kuvalisha mavazi mazuri mpaka na viatu. You are a son. So, mbingu zime kueshimisha, ukapewa majina, ukapewa jina jipia. Kila mutu alio koka. Kuna kajiwe, mbingu ni a small stone. Dari nafungukanga hivi, hiko na jina lako la siri. Ndiyo jina lila ambalo unatambuliwa nalo mbele za Bwana. If you read the book of Revelation, you will understand these mysteries. That there is a secret name that those of us who get born again we are given. Unapewa hapa sasa hili maweza kukuombea wokovu. Malaika hawa anachukua kila kitu yako hapa. Hao mahakimu wamekaa hapa, they witness. Sasa wewe baada ya kuheshimishwa mbingu zinasimama zinapiga makofi zinashangilia maana mtu mmoja ameokoka. Sasa wewe ukienenda katika hali ambalo ni kinyume na kiapo chako ni kinyume na agano lile ambao gharama yake ni damu ya Yesu basi wewe uruhusiwi kuja mbele za Bwana Kanisa uh, sinagogi za Mani Yerusalemu au ngeingia ndani ya kanisa ungebaki nje ungebaki nje kabisa au wengi kwa hekalu so ndio hii imeandikwa mahali hapa so mtu ambaye hataruhusiwa kuhudhuria ibada takatifu ni yule ambaye eh hakuwa yule ambaye atakataliwa hataruhusiwa yule ambaye ameampa kwa katika hali ya hila yani yeye umeenda kinyume na agano you are deceitful you have actually you have done what bible says you have uh, technically 
breached covenant. So you are deceit. Wewe ni mwongo. So ndio maana eh matika sema na ujie sabu wewe kubarikiwa. Count yourself blessed. If your sins are forgiven. Jesabie uh, for uh, jesabie kubarikiwa kama dhambi zako zimesamehewa. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana atukuzwe. So ndipo sasa tuko mbele za Bwana. So we are forgiven. Na watu jioni kama Mungu ni marehema sana kuturusu kanisani. Maana utakatifu wetu ni wa madanganyo. I'm still really hoping kwamba kanisa mzima watu walikuwa navaa white and no one sits outside. So majio ya white umevaa ndio nikihubiri na kuambia mbona moyo wako sio nyeupe kama mavazi yako. Why isn't your your heart clean as you are what? as you garment. So Bwana ametulehema ametuhumia tuko mbele zake japo madhambi zetu zinatupinga. So watu matoleo zenu. Then watu mavazi then vitu tunaweka kwa nyumba zetu. If we take the word of God that has grace from this altar, it will affect us plus our houses. Nini tumatia kwa nyumba zetu? Maana kuna vitu ambazo zinavutia mashetani. Maongeo uh, nafikiri kuna watu ambao when the Lord speaks about mtumishi watumishi wake. Tuna watumishi wengi kanisani. My wife ni mtumishi, mimi ni mtumishi wa Bwana. Uh, watumishi wa Muko kina Mulanda ni watumishi kina Vincent Kindoka, watumishi wa imbaji, watumishi. So When we speak negatively against one another Mungu anasikia vibaya So kuna watu ambao you are not so sure of anything ni roho bwana anaongea kweli ama ni roho bwana huyo Sometimes even if you are not so sure don't speak <laughs> Hallelujah Maana kuna witnesses hata shetani anataka kushtaki kwanza shetani kimbele mbele Ampeleka report ya sema ulisema una mtu Ulisema mko na mtu sikia vile naongea kuhusu Mungu Mungu ulisema huyu ni wako sikia vile naongea kuhusu mpaka mafuta wako Satan is an accuser of brethren So na sema hey na huyu roho anaongea eh, kila mara viketi wanatoa kila mara watu wanafurushwa nje huyu ni roho kweli wa Mungu Ikikutokea muda muone hmm. mapepo vimbele mbele sema tumepata kitu ya kutumia sema let's go and accuse unama we Ulisema kwamba Mungu ulisema una mtu ati una watu sikia wewe bila naongea kuhusu mpaka mafuta wako Haya ona za boi 100 na 5 Nitawaruhusu muketi kidogo Asante ni kwa heshima yenu kwa nyumba ya Bwana E mahubiri yangu yanageuzwa maana inabidi nifundishane mambo machache Zaburi 100 na 5 Psalms 105 our media all, all of us there because I want to pray for you hatungependa ku entrust mali za kanisa kwa watu ambao we are not so sure of you ibada hii ni muhimu sana maana kuna kitu itafanyika tawaambia so zaburi 105 mstari <coughs> wa 12 maandiko yasema hivi Uh, ama msoro wa moja yasema uh, all of us have bibles wangapi wana biblia let me see uko na kwani raise your hand up if you don't have a bible raise your hand up if you don't have a bible good all of us have bibles hebu sema ni kuone Oh, ni mgeni na kuona sikuone vizuri ni mgeni huyo eh ah ni wageni oh biblia zenye mepotelea mali hapa but you have a bible ah <sighs> eh uh, huyo ni mgeni the other one also ni mgeni okay be seated mtu akuza biblia yule leo hayuko eh This is why nimesema msimame is because aturuhusu mtu kaa kwa ibada kama ana Biblia. But because yeye ni wageni eh mtaruhusiwa mkae. 
aturu husu anybody coming to church without the bible mpatie makama uh if you misplace your bible please uh mona yo asha huyo na niwa mikono zako akupe so even our april um, april mkutano wa mwaka bota kwa mwezi wa mwezi wa pasaka how to get a gate you must prove that you have a bible and a good bible for that matter prove that you are serious na mungu haleluya uh, so fungueni basi biblia yako fungua zaburi 105 zaburi 105 kuna mahali ambapo tungepiga hatua nyuma acha ni wasomeni maana biblia nasikia hamsomi msaidi wa kwanza yasema haleluya 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 mshukuruni bwana litieni jina lake wajulisheni watu matendo yake mwimbieni mwimbieni kwa zaburi zitafakarini ajabu zake zote jisifuni kwa jina lake takatifu na ufurahi moyo wao wamfuatao bwana sare wa nne mtakeni bwana na nguvu zake utafuteni uso wake siku zote zikumbukeni ajabu zake alizozifanya miujiza yake na hukumu za kinywa chake enyi wazao wa Ibrahimu mtumishi wake enyi wana wa Yakobo wateule wake yeye bwana ndiye Mungu wetu haleluya duniani mote e, muna hukumu zake analikumbuka agano lake milele neno lile aliloliamuru vizazi elfu agano alilo lifanye na Ibrahimu na wapo uh, wake wa Isaka alilimthibitishia Jakobo liwe amri na Israeli liwe agano la milele akisema nitakupa wewe inchi ya Kanani iwe urithi wenu mliopimiwa walipokuwa watu waweza kuhesabiwa nam watu wachache tu wageni ndani yake wakatanga tanga toka taifa hata taifa toka ufalme mmoja hata kwa watu wengine hakumwacha mtu awaone hata wafalme aliwakemea kwa ajili yao sama medabi ya portion in Jesus name akisema msiwaguse masihi wangu haleluya wala msi msiwadhuru nabii zangu may that be your portion in Jesus name na hata nikiwaachia hapo nisome kwa Kiingereza oh give thanks unto the lord call upon his name make known his deeds amongst the people sing unto him sing psalms unto him talk ye of his wondrous works glory ye in his holy name let the heart of them rejoice that seek the lord seek the lord and his strength seek his face forevermore remember his marvelous works that he has done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth or you seeds of Abraham his servant or you children of Jacob his chosen he is the lord our god his judgments uh, are in all the earth he has remembered his covenant forever the word which he commanded to a thousand generations does god remember his word oh yes does god remember covenant oh yes verse number 9 which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac 
and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. That is the same covenant that we also operate. Saying unto, saying, and to thee will I give the land of Canaan, the loss of your inheritance. So when there were but a few men in number, ye very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, even from one kingdom to another people, from one kingdom to another people, the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong, Yea, he even reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Praise God. Praise Jesus. That's how, that's how valuable that covenant is. Asimfanyi masihara, eh? Nabi wangu. So you are anointed. And if you know that you are anointed, then you walk and live a manner of life in the cognition that you are anointed. Meaning you are set apart. Ni wewe ni mtu ambaye umeteuliwa kwa familia yako. Usidharau liwe juu umeokoka. Na wewe pia uwacha kujidharau. Hallelujah. So Mungu anasema na mtu yeyote asimnyoshe kidole. Yaani asikunyoshe na asikufanye masihara. Because there's a way God regards you. So mtu kama wewe tena ukifanya makosa ya kumkasisha Mungu yule ambaye amekufanyishia faida hizo zote. Imagine vile Mungu atakufanya. So look at the extreme to which God has valued us. Paka nasema mtu asiguze mpaka wa mafuta wangu. Asa angalia watu ambao hapa unaongea kinyume na mwenza wako kanisani. Umesahau umepakwa? Umesahau kwamba ni mpaka wa mafuta. Yaani hii ni level ya hii ni level 1. <laughs> hii ni level 1 umeokoka. So kuna levels of anointing. So level ya kwanza ni level ya umeokoka. You enter anointing. That anointing umeingia inafikanga hapa kwa miguu. The ankle level. So my ankle level ni hapa. So Pako ya kwazo kiyokoka inafikanga hapa. Are you seeing? Hapa. Kwa unyayo. Kwa mugu hapa. Now, hiyo ndo level number one unaingia ukiyokoka. You get saved like this. You should be called anointed. So, return to your neighbor. <laughs> you are looking at an anointed fellow. Angalia jirani yako. Pako mafuta. Uluko na mdarao. <laughs> Please, angalia vizu na eshima sasa. Hallelujah. Please, that's the Bible. Hapa wana wa Israeli imagine wali okoka siku gani, wali okoka nyikani. Nani ya liwangoza wana wa Israeli kwa ombi la toba? Musa. Wali batizo na maji wholesale. Where? Wali pita katikati ya maji. Wali undiwa barabara. That's when they got baptized. Someone born as we <laughs> Munga asema mutu wa si waguze. But there were just a few. Sisi, le kanisa mbalo, hatuna idadi ya watu wengi. But we are chosen. The chosen few. Hallelujah. Hata hizo likanjika moja. Bada ya inchi hizo likanjika dogo. Wana vile metisha wa arabu wote. Hata Amerika inaokopa sana. But you know that Israel is a very small nation. Size ya Israel inatishwana na, hata inatishwana na, hata Nairobi, Nairobi ni kubwa. Yet ni inchi ambayo inaogopewa na dunia mzima. Their population is all very big. They are very few. They are not like India. India peke and Akana are their own continent. It is a continent of India. <laughs> because they are billion one plus. Are they, are they now 1.5 billion? China peke yao and Akana wa itwe a continent because they are also one point something billion. So they should be called a continent on their own. A 
Israel ni kaenchi kadogo is just like a province in Kenya just like the size of a province to apeka Nairobi labda ama to apeka Rift Valley all those are provinces lakini idadi yao japo kidogo ni watu ambao Mungu anasema namsiwaguze why there is a covenant that speaks over their lives kuna agano inanena juu ya maisha yao haleluya sasa wewe wa revelation hizo ministries international tumeingia kwa mfanyiko wa agano hiyo sawia we are a people that no one should touch we are a people that no one should do harm to so kama bwana ako na hali ya ukali sana juu yetu Bona sisi tunadharau wengine. When God say do not touch my anointed. Do you think anaongelea watu mataifa? He is speaking to us also among us ourselves. When you touch your neighbor, are you not touching the anointed? Utapigwa kama raia. Na tunaambia watu nyoko online na watu ambao wako online. Jiweni if you belong to Revelation Luzo Ministries, you are a chosen one. So you also be very careful vile unaongelea mtu mwingine. Na vile unaguza mtu mwingine. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. That also may mean vile unawazia mwingine. Do not think evil. Don't imagine bad about another. Maana Bwana anasema kama vile angepiga watu wa nje ndio vile atakupiga. Na izidi sana ikizidi sana atakukanyanga kuliko vile angewakanyaga watu hawa. Na ndio hatari ya wanaume ambao wake wale maoa ni washirika wa Revelation Wisdom. Piga yeye uone. Sana rumenga wanaume ambao bala wenda tumie mikono yako kufanya walime nao shamba, piga amali. Use your hands to bring a profit. Don't use your hands to you know to <laughs> the shape a creature that God created to deform the creation of God. You go deform stones and bring us kokoto. Hallelujah. Nandi sasa napata pia kitambo tumechapa watoto wetu tumefikiria sana. Maana watoto watoto wajinga kama ni mtoto huduma hii, jua sile mama yako anakupiga na kupiga mara mbili. Anakuchapa na mikono ya mwanadamu, lakini pia anakuchapa na mkono wa mwenye mepoko mafuta. Watoto wajinga wana vile unafanya na mama yako akikuchapa. Lazima imeshio kwamba ufanye makosa ambayo inavutia wewe kuchapwa because akikuchapa na kuchapa mara mbili. Ndio kana ushachapa mtoto mzazi enda <laughs> muombe ushamchapa. Ndio utoe ile makosa ya kumpiga na upako. Asamu na haleluya. Eh hey, go and lay hands on him and you are because wewe ni mjinga lakini can you now let me pray for you. <laughs> na wale sasa ile ametulia alafu na muombea haleluya. Unaondoa ukoma ule others ukimpiga hivyo muacha hivyo viti naza kuharibika watoto vital watoto wa madhabu haya usitembee kwa upumbavu maana ukichapwa na mama yako akuchape na mikono yake kama baba yako please the times what mara mbili physical and spiritual amekuchapa usipoombewa na yeye na kutolea sadaka things may go bad hasa watoto wale ambao ulipata boy boy mama yako akasika alikuchapa siku hiyo please alikuchapa mara mbili So ikiwezekana mama yako akuje kanisani tena kutolea dhabiu. Ya kukutetea mbele za Bwana tena. Baba nilikuwa nimepiga na upako lakini sasa naomba ile magonjwa angepata <laughs> nimekuja kutoa lakini Mungu nimeweka sadaka yangu hapa. Sitaki akawe mgonjwa nimeweka hii. Wewe muache hivyo uone vile atakuwa kitu kingine. Haya <laughs> wazazi tutaadhibu watoto lakini tukumbuke tunafundishia ndio asifanye makosa so, kama umemfundisha vizuri atasikia ndio asingie katika mteko wa kuchapwa i have the same applies na watu wale ambao mnasengenyana <laughs> eh unaongelea watu vibaya wewe ni kama Esau mwenye alisahau kwamba yeye ni barikiwa being born fast becoming a fast born automatically your name is holy so mimi ni fast born ndakani tu lakini ni cheo holiness gimoro gimoro <laughs> haya bwana asifiwe bible says mzaliwa wa kwanza ni mtakatifu so you are holy 
unto God. So if you are a firstborn, hata kama ni mlevi chakare, she will call you unaitwa uh, mtakatifu wa Bwana. So when it be you belong to who? So every firstborn is sanctified as a holy. You belong to God. Hallelujah. Hasa ngalia ma firstborn ambao waji waji damini. So if you know kuna kwa family yenu kuna firstborn please mwake imeanza. Kapa baba liku. But there, hata kama baba yuko kama mama yuko. Tafuta kitu pelekea firstborn wenyu. Oh yeah, posto. Wile ni mchawi, ni muganga, ni mulevi kwanza, ni munde wazimu. Mm, awacho. Tafuta viatu mpeleke. Kama ataki ya tupe. Kine we pele? Peleka. Teleka sukari ya mwaka. Ya mwaka. Ambie, ah. Ambie, hey, man. Kilo ya sukari kumiwa. Kabla rusa jaongeza bea sukari hibe kama bea simiti. Hallelujah. So, wakriso sisi ambaho, unaingiji ingiza kwa madambi ya ovyo ovyo, unasengenya watu ovyo ovyo, unangulea wenzako vibaya vibaya, na nyi wote ni washiriku wa Revelation Wizo Ministries International. Wewe ni sawa na isau. Ambaye alisahau kwamba yeye ni mtakatifu wa Bwana. Alisahau kwamba yeye ni dhabihu teule. Alizaliwa dhabihu, alizaliwa sadaka, alizaliwa mtakatifu wa Bwana. Cause that's a right of a firstborn. And the firstborn enjoys the same rights like the parent, like the parents. So baba na mama kusimamisha boma Baraka ya baba na mama na firstborn wanatoshana. They should all stand up. Ya dick, firstborn. Kama ni mapacha wote watoke. Mata kuna pacha ndo kuna double. Pacha wa kwanza ndo firstborn. Pacha wa pili ni secondborn. <laughs> Hallelujah. Najua kuna vitu ni mezima. Hiyo siya sibe hii. Kama zeleo mapacha. So do you know that? That qualifies also. Eh? That's why uh, Esau is a firstborn. And Jacob is all a firstborn. But Jacob became a firstborn because Esau was foolish. He traded it. And that's how some of us are also first. Firstborn. Because firstborn when you come from Bav, Ali Uza. Now, do you know how you sell your firstborn rights? Or how you define a covenant? Okatu Nasa, whoever name firstborn. Unaanza kuangalia mpaka mafuta kama wewe ambe hey, hey, unasengenya hey. unajidunisha unajishusha unajidharau ukijidharau nani atakuheshimu Ah the mistake we make So vile Mungu anasema do not touch my anointed and do no harm to my prophets. Jinsi anavyosema Bwana, usimguze mpako wa mafuta eh, masio wangu wala usimnyoshe kidole na kumfanya masihara eh? na bii zangu. So ndiyo sisi hapa. Wewe mnyoshe nani kidole katikati yetu? He, asa ndi atari ya watu mwana tuwike kama onye vipawa. Onye vipawa po ngino naongelewa vibaya sana. Wanaongelewa tu vibaya sana. Mmesahau kwamba ni manabi wa mungu. Some of them ni watoto. Mmesahau. When you do so, wewe unakua kama isao. Unajidharao, unasahau kwamba. Unasahau kwamba wewe ni mpako mafuta wa buwana. You forget that you are the anointed of God. Then you also forget that you have privileges. Like which ones? Privileges like the ones you've read. That no one should touch you, nor touch your children, touching your house, or tamper with anything that is for your benefit. Kuna kafundi, kali, but then minapenda kuku kukula. I love, there are two things I love. I love fish, and then I love chicken. Gwe nigi nyaka chama chama kapo dangima. Tawala nyaka chama chama kapo dangima. Yaani kama kuna vitu ambalo nakula hapa duniani kama bado tingo duniani ni vitu hivyo mbili samaki na nani e, na kuku si wa grade ni yule wa road runners road runners maje 
anachapa mbio mpaka anateleza kwa matope alafu anapiga kona maana maronyango hiyo ndio vile kula hiyo ndio umefuga na vitu vingine unaipatia sasa chiem 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 ndio maana samaki wala mbona anapewa vitu hawa samaki mimi ni samaki bure samaki mbona anapewa mbolea kwa maji nilitabiri about maji kuwa watu you know the hiyo hiyo msimu wa maji kuwa watu mimi nilikuwa ndani Lake Victoria kule tunakwanga kwa ngeye ndona vile maji ngeua wala lakini si sahihi kutuua na huko nikaona samaki wale ambao wanapatiwa chakula ndani ya Lake Victoria huko wama wana samaki broiler samaki wa kufugwa <laughs> sasa hii ndio vitu nitakana ni kule nikasema ma a a sitaki hii hii samaki si natural Ah, bana siwe. So katika hali za kufuga kuku, nika ni kuku wadogo tu mkinipanga hapa na kula, nyenye siwezi kula naambia kaa hapo kwanza. <laughs> Nikipanga sikio nda kuchinja sele si fast. So na kuna mbali na ziwekanga, ambe ni takula wewe baadaye. Ndio maana sitaki wageni kwangu maana mtanimalizia kuku. <laughs> so la ziwekaga mahali, bali za kuhesabu si mingi. Sasa nikapatia fundi mmoja pesa za sadaka hapa. Aliundia nao mali pa kuweka au kuku. Hmm. Fundi huyu akanicheza. Mfadhili nilimlipa pesa kenda excess. Na nikakunda baadaye nimelipa fundi pesa excess. Bala arudishe, alienda nao kichaka. Nikasikia uchungu. Na akaenda kichaka nazo. Ambia oh, niko niko somewhere huku Western. Sijui niko somewhere huku. Kaambia wewe, kaambia mjalimleta, ambia yule mtu ana deal na mchungaji. Eh, Aldusha pesa ile sababu alibeba access na kaza jamaliza. Kataka kanambia si upeleke polisi. Kaambia ukiniangalia kweli na masaa kwenda kupeleka mtu polisi. Kaambia wewe ndio wende polisi. Wewe ulileta yeye. Hapi hapana. Wacha laniwe peke yake. Wacha akufe peke yake. Kaambia ambie yeye ajitengeneze haraka ameshwa menisort kabla mambo iwe mbaya. Hakukuja. When he finally appeared, kama nimesha sahau mambo yake, alitafuta mahali kanisa inapatikana. Akanipata kwa ofisi kwa mlango pale. Kaambia wewe aposto. He mchungaji. Nimekuja kukomba msamaha. Mambo yangu ni mbaya. Hii na hii imefanyika, hii na hii imefanyika, hii na hii imefanyika, hii nafanyika wewe mchungaji nimekuja tu kukomba msamaha. Ase hai. Ambia, eh si ni pesa tu ngeleta, hakuna msamaha mwingine. Keloto nglo. Ni pe tu otonglo enye likupatia. Sama hata ile shide memaliza yote. Hata saa hini maisha angu mbaki ni mezika suji nani. Nambe wewe inaspana of short time mwesha zika watu. Wewe unakula pesa ya mchungaji pesa haramu. Hizi ni pesa machozi. Kambia fanya hivi. Namba wana. Nukwa na pasta. Sama ee wapi kijiji. Nambia nua pea moja ya viatu. Rudi kijiji kwanza. Ukisha pea na uvalisha hiko timoja. Then ukuja nikumbuka lafu ni pea yako. Ada ya stauni ya una baraka. Sabu liyaribu. Rudi kwaza nyumbani fresh. Utoke ukuna baraka nyumbani. Manda chinyulifanya. Kuhirogoa ni hivyo. Kambia go back nyumbani. Nunua tena. Viatu ya kwanza pia pasta wako wa kijiji. Alafu. Tafuta koti moja valisha ye. Then. Ndi ukuje sasa back to the city. Huku ndo barikiwe. Manda mi naeshi huku. Ada ya sioni kama utasaidika. Nafu baada hapo ndio fikiria ilo tanilipa, kutaku nilipa baada ya miaka kumi, no problem, na pia naeza isa hao, but do those things. Hey, wana swiwe. Kuguza mpako mafuta wa nani? Kuna watu na umia because wame kuguza vibaya. Pako nasema, wewe ni murogi. Pia unajiangale nginye na hanga murogi, please, wewe si murogi. Kini mungu wako, hamesema mutu wa kuguze haone. So kuna wanawake muna wanawake muna pigwa na ume wenyu. Lafu kesha nakuwa broke ana pesa. Please. Wewe ndio sababu ana pesa. Mana bada kukupiga, unge wambia, ume ni piga. Piga magote ni kuombe. Ombe ya ee. Ame kupiga ndio lakini usipa muombea please. Mamba itaribika. So, while you are nursing your wounds, please, ambia mo jama, kuja ni kuombe, maana kuna kito ujui, jafo menipiga, I have to pay for you. Lakini wewe, mpakwa mafuta, temea kulingana na mafuto liopakwa. Hallelujah. Then, nena kulingana 
na mwito ulioitiwa pendea kama aliye na agano la wokovu ishi katika hali hizo because some of you mnatia wanaume ama wanawake kwa mitego sasa nimeenda mipaka sana hasa waona watu kama Isao unaangalenga Asha kama kasichana a prophet kama katoto pasta unamwangalia kama mfanya kibarua ukitoa sadaka unapima sadaka na mtu please that's the why watu wengi amjafanikiwa zamani nilipokuwa mjinga nilitaka kutoa sadaka na pima huyo pasta huyo pasta na sadaka utaku wajua nunua viatu viatu kinuliwa anunua viatu ananunua viatu kulingana na ule mtu please don't buy shoes imagine how god is is he an excellent god Nulia haya nataka kuwapima na nguo ya pasta Mulanda. <laughs> Mulipo inunua mlikuwa mna imagine pasta Mulanda. Masikia vile Mungu anakoroma hapa. So quality and value tunaiona kwa vitu manunua. So atoende watu mbona angalia nabii unabi kitoka wanaangalia unabi na nabi. Hmm. Ni unabi Dorcas na unabi So, unapata unabizi kitolewa kwa <laughs> YouTube online. Unapata kuna watu naika video wamefanya hivi. Ati hiyo si kitu. Hiyo si kitu. Hao ni wamfanya hivi wote. Eh? Because thumbs up means labda uh, you like it sema nimekubaliana nayo. Tumekubaliana nayo. Kile kuna wasema hapana. Hatukubaliani nayo. No. Ni urongo hiyo unabii. No, ni bure. Kama ulisema ni bure kwa YouTube ama, ama Facebook ati ni bure tafuta mali pa kwenda kujiosiri tafuta mali pa kwenda kujiosiri maana kuna watu wakaa kwa mtandao kukosoa unabii kukosoa unabii no x you unabii ni x so their x ni kufanya kitu inafanana hivi upside down <laughs> why and the mashaka itakuwa upside atatembea na mgea iko juu na vichwa iko chini maana umajiroga now this is the verse usidharau mpaka kwa mafuta wa nani wa bwana hey your vision hiyo mm -hmm, suspect please enda kwa roho mtakatifu umwambie yeye na shuku hiyo nabii no sira poke poke na hiyo enda pole pole na vitu zingine maana unaweza jipata kwa moto hara moto unaoangamiza so for us dhambi ambayo unasikia tunaongelewa na bwana kwamba mnanyoshia kidole mpaka kwa mafuta wa bwana Munadharau watoto wapa kwa mafuta. Well, if God has chosen my family as a family of the elect, so you go complain to God than to mishandle watoto wake, eh, kuongelea mke wake na kuongelea mume wake. But I don't think they are many, just but one or two people. Mujisaidie katika hali hizo, msiingie katika mapigo ya nani? Ya Bwana. Nabii kama ametabiri kitu Please huyo nabii kama unasikia unabii wake ya ingiana na wewe chunga sana line hiyo because haikuwa yeye yeye alikuwa chombo tafuta mwenye unabii haleluya haleluya bwana asifiwe na wafundisheni mjitoe katika madhambi hayo so the lord is with us as a people my not na maenda that's why speak a story sana na watu wabaya atamekaa kwa kijiji alafu naongea wewe unaweza kuwa sababu ya wengine kukufa. Don't become a reason for people to die. Usiwe sababu ya gari kupata accident. Maana wewe utakuwa kama devil worshipper. Uko kwa gari umebeba watu alafu unaongea mambo ambazo Mungu anaweza kasirika nayo. Two things can happen. Satan can use it as a ground to launch attack at your gari. Or ghadhabu za Mungu zinazotaka kukuua na uwe watu. All of us remember wakati yona eh kwa meli it was the reason why meli watu walipata hasara why because alikuwa nakimbia alikosana na Mungu so kuna watu utakosana na Mungu wakati kwa matatu stories naongelea story mbaya mbaya wapi unaingia alafu unasema umeje wewe ni kama mtu ambaye una, una moto unaongezea moto makati watu naongea vitu mbaya mbaya kwa matatu kwa plot kwa kijiji midogi funga mdomo ikiwezekana jipeshe ugli because wewe ni mtu hatari. How many of us have done judo karate? My boys, my pastor ambao wanafanya karate, mko hapa leo umeokoka. Wapi pastor Mudui? 
pana iko leo eh one of the rules uh, unaambiwa kwamba kama umekasika unaongea na watu make sure you are answering in your pocket chukua mikono yako weka kwa kwa mifuko maana watu hawa mikono yao ni silaha inendanga haraka kama rocket akisha kupiga baada anasema oi <laughs> do i say sorry or pole maana alikupiga bila kukusudia his hands went faster than his brains so ndio hatari ya wanawake moleka na wanaume karateka wanaume judo wanaume ambao ni Bruce Lee in reincarnated yani Bruce Lee alikufa lakini roho yake inaishi kwa watu fulani watoto baba na chapanga mama eh hapana baba wenyewe ni baba mzuri good kwa sababu eh mwanaume ambaye ametrainiwa vita wanaambia ukijua na kasika ngaraka weka mikono yake ikae kwa mfuko ikae pale na isitoke sasa so ukiongea mikono yako yuko maana akiziwacha free free hivi pa iti ni wacho na mo uko na sema nini na amepiga mtu alafu na bivi kama hajapiga mtu sasa sijui miguu atafanya maana miguu pia inakangwa na train sasa sijui atafanyaje miguu sababu one of the rules ni mkono wake kae wapi but not how they save the legs ni watu hatari do you know hata mtu mtu mpaka mafuta wewe though umeokoka level 1 level yake mafuta ni level 1 hiyo level 1 yako you can cause damage Mdomo wake naweza fanya sababu ya mapepo kushuka kuleta nini? Mapepo kushuka sema kuna kitu amesema. Chukue nje amesema mkimbie na muhalalishe accident. Because mashati ni peo na ngoja nga tu siku atapata kaneno nyuma umeongea careless words. Careless? Maana size hawa na legal ground. Wewe ongea careless words. Mimi sioni kama igari nafika mali tunaenda. Sasa sioni kama igari itafika matrevo wengine na magari wengine mzee hata tutafika kweli pepo anasema oh ni mpako mafuta ameongea <laughs> na kuambia wanakimbia nayo kama lances kwa mahakama ya kiroho sema we have something here kama kuna mtu aliomba vile tunamwanga baba watu wote nao safari tunaomba safari njema tunakanusha unabii za kishetani ama alizote ambazo zinazafanya hatari kama maombezi kama naomba itakuwa imefika haraka na kuambia hiyo license ya mtu mmoja imetosha gari mzima watu kukufa Hapo nasema kuna litikiti tumepata. Please activate. Mpako mafu. Sasa umeroga nani jirani yako? Especially wale walio kanisani hapa. Natuyo ni Asha. Ati ni prophet, ni prophetess. Kiri 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 gimoro. Kiri 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 gimoro. Sasa uligie kwa hii hesabu hii. Ndio Mungu amnasikia amelalamika, msiwaguze na msifanye masiara watoto wa watumishi kwanza leo jiheshimu bwana asifiwe does not that your carelessness can bring disaster na ni hatari wa pokoa mafuta ambao unatembea uchi because when you put on seductively unavaa vibaya wewe ni mpaka mafuta ambao ameteleza pepo nasema ona <laughs> wanatumia kama tikiti So bwana amelalamikia hali hizo and i pray kwamba kusio na watu ambao unazunguzia watu vibaya maana ulisikia roho ya bwana amewakashifu ukisikia roho mtakatifu amefanya kulalamikia mtu hapa please usimdharau wacha yeye mwenyewe ajisondeke kivi yake ajitengeneze but is not a ticket for you sema eh ah so kwanza leo mjiheshimu bwana isasifiwe nimeongelea makosa kuwasaidia mjifanyie toba So ndio kama Mungu usikia hukumu every idol word that you speak under anointing you will have to be judged utahukumiwa kulingana na maneno ambazo uliyanena eh ovyo ovyo chini ya mafuta every idol word you utter you shall be judged for it that's why you should be careful and be accountable with the words of our mouth haleluya mazungumzo yetu yakatoka maana na nini na munyo why eh wa Colossians 4:6 Is it Colossians 4:6 that let your conversation 
eh, the words of your mouth, your speech be seasoned. Hallelujah. It be filled with grace and seasoned as with the salt. Kwamba kuongea kwenye kukatoka kufanyika kama nini? Maongeo yaliyo na neema eh? na maongeo yaliyo na neema sawasaviana na munyu. Andike sema mstari wa sita. Maneno yenu yawe na neema siku zote. Yakikolea munyu mpate kujua jinsi ipasavyo kumjibu kila mtu. Na if this will be possible, imagine hakuna ndoa watoto tapigana. Mwanaume ambaye atakupiga makuzabe makofi na mumwambie, "He, umampea maneno mazuri. Please huyo si mwanadamu." Na kama ni mwanadamu ni mbegu ya <laughs> ibilisi. But if we love women who just speak kind words, nice words, good words, their husbands also will be angels. Mano chenye mwanamke amepanda ndio unavuna. Unavuna mwanamume ambaye ananga maneno makali, maneno mabaya. Mm -mm. And the same applies to men. If we sow kind and good words, we speak like this when our words be seasoned with grace. Eh? Tuna matukio wanawake ambao ni malaika. There will be no divorce. There will be no separation of marriage. There will be no domestic violence. But you know why there are domestic violence? Because everybody is competing to shout. Nime sama. Apana. Nime kubali. Nime kata. Nime kata. Nime kubali. Nime kubali. Nime kata. Sao napishana. Mwanema nona kwa mba mwanema kwa na shout kama shetai. Lambia. Lizima yubudoma mba na sema. Nime kata. Zima yubudoma. Na mwanamuko kizibwa na kizibwa mudomo na buwana. Mikuwa nawa ni kama nyundo. Ni mudoma lelenga. Utapata sura wako mzima ni nusu. Obwasa buwasa uji. Sama likuwa na lenga mudomo lakini kapasua paka kichwa. So badati na niyana kule kwa hospitali. Ambia suiti pole. Pole. Dati na sama nani amelete ni mimi hapa. Sile mefanyika nini? Alianguka. Hey, I'll pass the accident. Manafka nagali ya ipi wala jichura ke mwaja si mzuri. Aoge wala la ugo batele waza piga igile. But if you allow the word of God to reform us, ah, life will be sweet. Maneno yetu ya kakolea tuwa chedi masengenyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mwasajia kutubu. I was actually helping you ku <laughs> Bwana asikie kwamba nisilaumi kwamba sijaufundisha ni mafundisha mambo ambazo Bwana amelalamikia So that means kwamba tukienda functions au kwa nje nikaambia watu wa worship wewe na mavazi ya madhabahu na wewe na mavazi zenye sio zako za kutumia kule nje lakini za madhabahu ni special So you have clothes that are plain color unatokea na mavazi mengine uh, please wacha kuchanganya changanya kama ni mtumishi za vitu changanya changanya ha. so kina function kama hiyo unaenda kuwakilisha kanisa unaenda kuwakilisha kanisa so you present church so uh, vile hapa kanisani tunavaa yeshima tuvaa hivyo so you in a function so imagine kama sasa mimi apostle yangu mako shenga reverend wa revelation kwanza ndio overseer kwa mkutano ndio amekuja hapa so niko pale alafu napata nimevaa mavazi nini ambazo nakaa kama raia it is expected kwamba ni wapale na mavazi ambazo zinaheshima zake kama mtumishi wa Bwana. Werasi mavazi ya madhabahu ambazo ninazo hizi kwa hiyo matanga hapana, but na mavazi ambazo eh ukiniangalia wewe mshiko utanipata kwamba eh hey, ule bado ni mavazi ya apostle. So hapo ni akili zako zina vile nimekufundisha you have been transformed. Nia zako zimefanywa upya kutokana na mafundisho so unaenda unafanya ku apply unatekeleza unatenda mfanyiko wa mafundisho lizofundishwa so imagine kwamba sasa niko pale na jeans na goggles ni make up na t-shirt maandika i love new york 
Afu kidogo nasema bwana sifiwe na nadunda dunda hapo kidogo bwana sa sifiwe. Na mi ni baba ya watu na muke hapa. Kasi chana kwa crowd katana he jamaa metoka US. Unde nanguka na he. Atu ambe bini reverend zama chana yo reverend kimoro. Ya yeah, mwona chali chali. If there is a place we must really minister to people the Jesus that is our savior. is not in church. It is out there. Hallelujah. Eni uko. Paso fanyi bishara mbao wako hapa. Manyi kwa bishara wako kwa meza. Indakana wasema kama kuna mouth na nunua. Ni kwa meza ya mutu mlokole. Mana kastoma kwa na mungulisha karibu sana. Kastoma. Hallelujah. Hey. Anza sema hallelujah. Ambe karibu sana mnunuzi. Unamfungia vitu mpaka. Ata kama kusema hallelujah. Badaya na jimalizia. Na wewe. Umeokoka. Wewe ni pastor ama pastores. Nambia ni, ni ndio mimi ni wa yesu. Ame no wonder. Nimesikia tulu naongea. Wewe ni wa mungu. You have left a mark. <laughs> But kuna watu ambao baada ya biyashara fanyia mutu. Yani kusipatikane fununu kwa mba meokoka. Kusipatikane lili? Fununu. <laughs> Wakuwano kiba mahali sana. He? Nani ya naimba? Unangalia niwe sama. Ay, waka hii. Ani siyamini. Ni yeye ya masie. Maana ushuda wako kazini. Kwa za tenda kurusedi. Ngoje ni mwone makurusedi. Nasa mesho kamba weo na ushuda mzui. Maana tutakuambia ushuda wa leo. Ni dada, dada wa wili watatua ushuda. Na tutakupanga. Ambia wewe na wewe. Bale sita kuambia. Tawambia let's go for mission. <laughs> na ambia mwajua ni kubeba tuto mission. Chazi za ni kukuuza. Nena kukuuza. Uneza baki yuko. Mana nimechoka na yoka mother bow. So naza kukuza mwana ume mgini akupate. Abake na wake up sabet. <laughs> mwana ume mgini abake na wake na rock. Ama kajiado. So you know so sure nikikwambi wa gwe information. Ulize nga mungu di kuuzwa. Nile kuuzwa. Ama mungu ndabake. Nile kuja di sub revelation. Na mabrade. Mwana ume mbrade unaza oleka na mwana muke wabake na yabusia. Yeah. Yeah. Hai, mbona asifiwe? So hizi crusade. Kama ushuhuda wako ulikuwa mbaya area hiyo, nimekusimamisha. Na vile tumeka crusade kuone, hey mimi nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu, mimi ni mwanamke mwenye mume mmoja na mimi ni mwanamume mwenye mke mmoja nina watoto kama wawili hivi. <laughs> Mtoto mmoja anaweza kumokea kabisa beti. Mama yako ndio huyo. Ulisema watoto wawili, utapatika la hey waine. Mama, tuko hapa. Kashwa inatokea. So make sure you have a good testimony. Bwana asfiwe. Kama kuna maali, mbamo tunahangaza Yesu kwa watu, ni kule inje. So work on your testimony. Work on your... Na masia mungu anadai ujuhuda. <laughs> work on your... Eh, Kama ulipata vitumbaya, tutakumuaga kwa anga huko. Na kwa nika waze. Sema mana, was, musema kweli. Ama wasema kweli. Na watu utaka usikia ushuda wako. Wasema, he, alisema na mwemoja. Yeti mwanama mbae ulimuacha. <laughs> Ukahepa, ukawacha, he. Ata kwa naonekana maera. Na kujua mwemoja mnyonaye uyo ni mimi ama kuna mwingine. Na mwanama mbae nasema mimi na mkia mmoja. Na uyu mmoja ndiyo uyu. Please make sure <laughs> kwamba ni kweli. Aya, hallelujah. Masikia sauti ya buwane kila lamika. So I'm actually addressing eh, vichi nye sauti ya buwane meongelea. Make sure kwamba usipatikane bayana ya watu wale na matendo zile ambazo roa wa buwana amelalamikia. So let's have proper dressing eh, katika jina la Yesu. Okay, we have at least improved But atujafika kiwango nye munga nasema niko na wate ule wakutosha. Wenye utakatifu weo kadesal na kule inje niko sawa. So kila mtu wajihoji. Mbwana aswiwe. So tujiho? Tujihoji. Yesu ni buwana. Yesu ni. There's a song kwa ndaka kuimba lakini sale buwana lalamika nika siyo wimbi li evaporate. Si wataki na muende nita mkiezi kala busirudi. Mbwana tuberudi. Mwana mbetu urubia. Haleluya. Leo ni siku njema. Nime muona mbwana. 
Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana imba Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana imba Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana imba Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana 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 imba Leo ni siku njema Ya bwana makofi samwan Nimemuona bwana Sicheze kidogo Leo ni siku njema Siku njema Nimemuona bwana Leo Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona bwana imba leo Leo ni siku njema siku njema Nimemuona bwana imba leo Leo ni siku njema siku njema Nimemuona bwana Ambia jirani yako akuachie nafasi kidogo tuchezee Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Aya twende. La 
Shijwa Shishike mkwana wana mafia Ukini ya chami nita shijwa
Yesu, Alleluia. Salaba Yesu, oh oh. Salaba when you go out and be. Alleluia. Kuka kwa wapisi si. Musalaba, musalaba wa Yesu, Alleluia. Salaba Yesu, musalaba. Salaba when you go out and be. Hallelujah. Salaba, Salaba, when you go, Adami. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wakutukuzwa ni wewe bwana 
wako abudiwa ni wewe bwana samwe mwambie bwana kama hamna kama wewe mwambie bwana wewe peke yako ni wakuabudiwa wewe ndio wakusufiwa wewe ndio wakutukuzwa wewe ndio bwana wa sali ya dhama heshima zote ni zako bwana baba this afternoon my lord we honor your name of the zota you are lona wafu you are lona wonderful lord the serving praise the serving of honor the serving of all the glory my father santo jehova mana hamna kama wewe tukuka tukuzwa milele bwana madhabu haya yesu tenda makuu yako yote bwana baba kama tuwezeshe tukabudu bwana katika mioyo safi katika utakatifu wote jehova we love you we bless you we thank you we adore you oh asante bwana oh asante yesu asante adonai asante leo asante elgi bwana baba naba kwamba ukupendeze kwa bwana mambo ya kaimbe sawa sawa na mapenzi yako utuelekeze jinsi upendavyo kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba amen kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba haleluya haleluya someone with my microphone you exaggerate it you take it low to love hard it remain a little bit vile liko ongeze but haleluya 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 yes son of god very soon we shall be having very powerful machines we shall be having very good uh, energetic uh, contribution to our sound crew and our media crew tutaongezeka and our performance will be better our performance will be hiyo gari na vijana itabeba kina nani nataka nibebe watu wa maana wa media na vijana ambao wanamaanisha huduma yao kwa mitambo haleluya wakiguza hivi unasikia bezalel wakiguza hivi unasikia bezalel haleluya nitawaambia neema ya bezalel ha watu naombenga neema ya bwana they when they come they become better they should know it's not because of their research kuna kitu mwana pia nanga naongeza kwa watu mafuta ya bezalel haleluya So very soon you not be hustling na microphone na sound na nini because Mungu ametuinua kama madhabao and something good is underway. Hallelujah. Tunajipanga because of TV station. Hallelujah. Because of radio station. Hallelujah. That one shall be in Jesus name. Na ita kwa. Hallelujah. Leo nitakuruhusu salimie jirani. Mwambie Yesu ametusamehea. Mwambie sisi ni watu tumesamehewa dhambi. Mwambie mimi ni mbarikiwe wa Bwana. Mwelewe na wewe je, umebarikiwa. Jivunie maana umesamehewa madhambi yako. Haleluya. Waliosamehewa madhambi salimia mtu Bwana asiwe. Nimepata kusalimia. Haleluya. Nimesamehewa dhambi, umesamehewa dhambi. Praise be to Jesus. Please ha, greet someone. Mwambie you are forgiven and you are blessed. Watu online watasipo wakupigaje salamu apokee hivyo msamehewe na mbarikiwe haleluya ndio 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 bwana tunaku wote ndio 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 bwana kurudishi au tukufu wote bwana haraka sana ndio 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 bwana tunafurishi atukufu wote bwana ndio 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 bring this ones here yeah. tunafurishi atukufu wote bwana ndio 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 bwana tunafurishi atukufu wote bwana ndio 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 bwana Tunakurudishi ya utukufu wote Bwana Ndio 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 Bwana Tunakurudishi ya utukufu wote Bwana Ndio 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 Bwana Tunakurudishi ya utukufu wote Baba Ndio 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 Bwana Tunakurudishi ya utukufu wote Bwana Ndio 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 Bwana tunakurudishi ya utukufu wote Bwana ndio 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 Bwana tunakurudishi ya utukufu wote Bwana ndio 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 
Bwana tunaporudishia utukufu wote Bwana hiyo ndio ndio Bwana tunaporudishia utukufu wote Bwana ndio 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 Yesu tunaporudishia utukufu wote Bwana hiyo ndio ndio Bwana tunaporudishia utukufu wote Bwana Hallelujah 
Bwana shangwe tena haleluya Haleluya Yesu ndiye Yesu ndiye Yesu ndiye Karibu takuwa nyimo ketini chini Yesu ndiye Yesu ndiye Yesu ndiye Bwana Yesu ndiye Asante Bwana. You know when you know that you are forgiven your sins. Kuna kapawa kana kujanga, kuna kanguvu kana kuja, kuna furaha inakuja unasikia ndio umeanza ibada fresh. Yesu ni mwema. Hallelujah. I really long for the day tutaingia kwenye malango ya mbingu. Na ngoje hiyo siku sana. So you know I don't want to miss it. So hizi hizi miaka mtu anaingia sio miaka za kufanya upuzi na makosa. Imagine you have God for 20 years, been born again for 10 years. No, someone you've served the Lord for 30 years. Hey, someone my microphone and my whatever. Sasa baada kuishia Kristo miaka 30, miaka 40, maybe I'm seen. Then you may, you miss to make heaven. Hiyo ni hasara ya ajabu. Masadaka zile umetoa zote uliza maswali. Can you think of them? Some of us have invested billions. Kuna watu wame invest more than billions. Maybe ni kuna watu wame invest trillions. Sababu miaka zote hamsini za wokovu zako you may ungekuwa ukipeana, unajua ukikopesha kwa Mungu, ukipiga hesabu na interest, inaweza kuja mara saba, mara nane, ama mara 40. So we are investors into the kingdom. Katika hali ya kumbukanga Yaani dhambi kidogo tu uingie kwa dhambi of your over alafu miss hiyo vitu zote. Ndio. So nangoja siku ya kufika wapi? So tufanyeni bidii kaza mshipi. Haleluya. Jikaze mshipi, maanisha wokovu. Haleluya. Kama kuna watu ambao watakukaribia please weka wakando. Unaweza you can make minus them. Haleluya. Yeah, kuna watu ambao they should be no one is indispensable. Our journey to make heaven no one is indispensable. Yaani safari ya kwenda binguni. Watu ambao wako karibu na wewe, hamna ambao unaweza piga teke. Kuna watu ambao utawapiga teke maana ni watu ambao wanaweza kukuadibia hesabu. Waambie, kama hii itafanya nikose mbinguni ili kai. 
move on someone hallelujah yeah so you know what wanawake ambao you are single na hujapata hujapata uh, mume usijipeleke ovyo ovyo chip chip if it is in the will of god for you to get one that one will get you anyway so usijifanye kwamba niko rahisi sana tabeni nimepunguza lazima si bei kali sana hata kama na 250 utalipata usifanye hizo hesabu haleluya ato me revise bei sasa mimi naweza patikana ile bei ilikuwa ya juu nimepandisha mashukisha bei so mimi siwa gharama juu sana naweza kuwa chip chip no you know you can still make heaven as a single woman haleluya yeah you can still make heaven maana kuna wanawake ambao walileka sasa wana juta sana why did they get married in the first place because you married a devil and why did you marry a devil because ulimisha sababu za Mungu kajipeana before time someone ka kwa barabara ya Yesu haleluya kuna naomba ambaye please don't hurry don't hurry. just make sure that uh, you are in the timings of God in whatever things you must do bingo tuingie katika jina la Yesu haleluya Nimeambiwa na Bwana nifanye haraka sana tumeshwa kwamba branches za kanisa zimefunguliwa. So it is an order from above. <laughs> I've been ordered. Kaambiwa sasa fanya upesi. Meshwa kwamba makanisa zimefunguliwa. Na Bwana nasikia watu wanaribu watapiga ure. Maana watu wanaribu walikuwa wamekataliwa watasikia sasa ndio wanasema yes 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 yes. Eh hey, sema yes yes lakini meshwa kwamba majipanga vizuri. Haleluya Pastor Moses. Meshwa watu wanaribu wa majipaha. Eh, munda munda ya wall ya ka, watu wa Nairobi watu wa Nairobi munda wa wall yao na mwanze haraka sana admin number one, eh, pastor moses huko <laughs> kuja bure au huko kuja bu hatoki bure haleluya mwambie whatsapp is proof so whatsapp ya Nairobi funguliwe haleluya E, tuone vile unajipanga kwa ajili ya kanisa ya Nairo. Ambe Nairobi we are ka. Haleluya. So watu wa crusade, crusade tunapanga everybody ambaye ni huduma hapa. Tunapanga vile utakuwa na crusade Kakamega na Bungo na Vihiga. So kitu ambacho tunasaini bus. But tunapanga basi in his own time. So haleluya. At least tunajua tuna magari mbili ambazo tume hizo tuko hizo tuko sure. Hizo <laughs> tuko nini? Sauti so, media simujigambe kidogo. Maana yeye mko na gari namba 1. Munga mwa hao watu munga mwa sugua na sand paper. Kila siku la siguliwa, wala siguliwa mpaka na pigo, wala tupo yenye. But you know what? Imagine around wana gari namba. <laughs> so kupigwa na Mungu ni kuzuri. Watu wa praise wamepigwa look at what gari ya pili ni yao. So haleluya. Exclusively yao na watu wa missions. Hiyo ni So Mungu akikuchapa sana kumbe anakupenda saa. Ukipigwa sana unajua unapendwa saa. Haya wengine mngoja kupigwa. <laughs> Dopoa vitu haleluya. Ngoja kupi ngoja kupigwa but i pray that god will do you good so we want a bus and i know kubada mwezi wa 4 tuna tutakuwa na bus kubwa ya the maximum capacity sita inakonga 62 ama ngapi ona wenye watu wenye waamini ona makofi yao haleluya haleluya bus ya revelation wisdom na tutafanya matope kama watu wengine. Na tufanye nao biashara. Tunaenda group yote full baptism, watu wamejaa bus. <laughs> Tunaenda. So nimeenda nikaangalia bei ya bus ni pesa ngapi. Tuni nikajua kumbe bus ikujiki kama iko na bodi, bus inakuja kama inakuja na chassis. Na nikasema oh isi kujua. Bodi una unaundiwa bodi upande huu. Sasa hiyo nimeconfirm. Nimeconfirm bei ya gari. E, minibus e, ile 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 Nissan kichwa kubwa <laughs> laita hivi because kwa sababu nataka hiyo kichwa kubwa hii yenye height yangu nikitaimia ndani sijifanye hivi unajua mimi nikisoma kwa basi ndani huwa na lazima ni nikiingia kwa ndege nilikuwa naingia kwa ndege lazima niingie nimeinyesha kichwa kidogo because my height 
siku ndiwa kuna ndege size yangu so hizo zingine kwa ingi size yangu so nikiingia natembea kama dollar ama tin lakini nimegundua kama kuna ndege ambao kumbo naweza simama ndani na pia kuna Nissan unasimama ndani hiyo ndio tunano hiyo ndio ya watu hawa wa worship team hallelujah it is there hallelujah na sasa hiyo yao imehesabiwa ile imebaki tunapiga plan ya bus ya ama bus 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 tutakuwa na hiyo so watu watu wa media mjue bila mtabrand hizo vitu ibrandiwe naweza nipiga kidele hapo kwamba tu unaweza imagine ndio inakaa naambia this is what shall be praise god praise be to jesus so iko sasa hiyo iko nataka nishukuru bwana kwa ajili ya siku hii nataka kuweka vitu fulani wakfu kuna wote tuwaombe ndio ibada iendelee abidi kuja shadrak kuja Nime invest kwa vijana yenye wakati Mungu analalamika kuwahusu na siyanga ni kama ni nafanyanga matope so these are my investment Hawa ndio vitu yenye nimewekeza ndani yao haleluya so sitaki eh, kuwapoteza na sitaki baba kila mara na complain analalamika eh, na kuna eh, Zablon na Steve Please make sure kwamba mtasimunga salamika juu yenu. You need to clear yourselves. Muna sumuni mbili, simuni tatu ama simuni nne za Jehova. If God entrusts you na kondoo na ipoteza moja hata futa kondoo, ni wewe atakuuliza niliachia wa kondoo ziko wapi? Aya then Asha za watu wote ambao walienda uh, mazishi pia kujeni upande hii. Mlifanya vizuri kwenda kwa mazishi, mlituwakilisha taka ni waombe kibali kwa bwana upande eh, hii amen 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 tulatura imilita la la kurabamu semia kuntala sakuri antola lantura ba lafu watoto wote ambao pia wanaenda shule muji mkae tiari mkae ti baba niliomba na ukatuhurumia sasa nashukuru naomba watu hawa bwana wasikae kwa ibada baba na mioyo iliyo inama wasikae kwa ibada na mioyo iliyo kunjana naomba bwana kwamba ukawakumbatia na upendo ana bwana umewasamehea dhambi Asante Jehova kwa ajili wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu Aujachukia mtu hata unapolalamika kutuhusu ni kwa ajili baba una matarajio makuu sana kutuhusu bwana Nikupendeze baba kwamba watu hawa wasibebe ukoma kanisani wabebe baraka zako Naomba ibada hii ya meza ya bwana kusiwe na hali ambazo unakwazwa ama ukahuzunishwa wala siwae yote ambaye bwana akababa baba akabeba hali za makwazo ama akabeba hali za makasiriko naomba bwana kwamba utafanya kutusamehea naomba Yesu unikumbuke mie na madhabiu na kujitoa kwangu na wale ambao bwana ukanipa wakatumika naomba bwana unirehemu kwa ajili ya wao Hivyo bwana na wasamehe maana na kuomba kwamba bwana ukafanyisha baba kuwasaidia wapige hatua mbele kwamba bwana siku zote watafanyika radhi kutumwa kuwakilisha kanisa na pia kuwatembelea watu wengine baba watajifundisha jinsi ya kuenenda maana nishawafundisha hivyo bwana naamini kwamba hamna atakai kukwaza tena hivyo baba vijana hawa i pray baba kwa ajili ya Zablon i pray kwa ajili ya Steve and also pray kwa ajili baba yake shadow and also pray kwa ajili ya yeye abait kwa baba bwana utawafanya kuwasamehea baba mtumishi wako Lilian na mtumishi wako Joan pia na Simpros warehemu maana walienda kumtia moyo mtumishi wako Salome baba popote alipo na mama wake ukafurahi na Yesu tufurahie
Asante bwana bwana wewe ni mwaminifu. Baba bwana wote ambao walienenda maeneo hayo. Fanyishi kawaheri na wao. Kwamba bwana maisha yao uwabariki. Wapate pia bwana kudhawabiwa na wewe. Asante bwana bwana hamna maroho ambazo zikawafuata toka maeneo yale. Walipoenda baba mazishi hayo walipeleka baba eh, kupeleka baba kuwakilisha kanisa. Basi wasibebe chochote ambacho kawadhuru wasibebe chochote ambacho bwana kawahujumu wasibebe hali ambazo bwana ikawakwaza hivyo bwana ukawasaidia na magumba yao sante baba kwa ajili wote hawa walienenda baba katika hali ya utumishi baba kumbuka eh, hali zao za kujitoa isiwe ni hasara hivyo baba naomba ikawaheri na wao wote asante my savior kwa Yesu Kristo tuwaomba kwa Yesu Kristo tuwaomba so hii ndio group ilienda Oh, 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 kujani hapa Zablon can uh, man that one where is he yes kilia huyo hapo vijana wote wa media kujeni tulala siba usidarao hawa watoto haleluya some of them are very small musiwada musiwada i want to say this Uh, yesu hakuleta watu wazuri kanisani. Haleluya. All of us tuko na story. Yangu hujui siku zaliwa mtakatifu kuna watu nimwahi piga. Na kuna wale nishawahi uua. <laughs> Unajua hivyo. Na kuna wale nishawahi kuibia. Na kuna wale niliwanyang'anya. Lakini ni Yesu akanifanya mtaka So we are not on the same page all of us. Kuna watu washa songa mbali na Mungu so ni warefu kiasi. Kuna watu bado ni wadogo sana, wanangangana kufika. So there's none of us that is perfect. However, we aspire to become perfect. Only God perfects us. So hawa vijana, kila mtu akona hali zake, their history kila nyumba. But God is the one who sent them to this place. And if we fish them, we fish them because they were available to be fished. Hallelujah. So I want to tell the media fraternity, wacheni kujidharau na wacheni kujiangalia kama nyinyi ndio watu wa dhambi sana. And no one should remind them kama nyinyi ni watu wa dhambi sana. If Jesus forgives our sins, then no one should remind us of our sins. Hallelujah. If Jesus say I have forgiven you and I shall remember your sins no more then there should not be anybody who shall be remembering our sins. We know our history. Tulikuwa wa levi, wa chokozi. Eh? Tulikuwa wa sinzi, wa nyang'anyi, matapeli. Na some of us look ma makaratekas. Kuna watu wa ni minus one teeth, minus two teeth maana ni wana ushuhuda kama uliwahi piga mtu. But Yesu akatuleta kanisani kutufanya watu bora. So church is not a place of holy people. But rather it is a place where people are transformed to become holy. Get that gospel. Kanisa si mali pa watu takatifu, lakini ni mali ambapo watu waovu wakikuja hapa wanabadilishwa kwa watu wataka ndio maana tunavalishana mavazi tofauti. Na ukiamua barabara ya utakatifu, please, ionekane umeamua. So we very we become very deliberate as well as very intentional in your quest to be holy. Hallelujah. So so nikana unasonga mbele kidogo natamani ile vitu liwacha. So don't confuse us. But while we are really walking katika barabara hiyo pia, mtu asi to discourage. Umejaribu kwamba unekana mzuri lakini unataka kuambia lakini wewe No, let's not um, have that one. So wale ambao unajaribu kufanyika vizuri please focus on Jesus. Make Jesus your focus. You shall become better like others. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. 
Well, I want to announce kwamba kuna watu wamenibariki na vitu kidogo. Uh, some people have given me love offerings za media. So iko hapa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, those online friends of mine wamesema eh hey, nibariki watu hawa. So watu wa media muna kitu then watu wa worship here somebody has uh, given me something uh, kubariki na watu wa worship team. Intercessors pia kuna wale ambao Mungu amenikumbusha sanctuary keepers so nina kitu yenyu ya thanksgiving hallelujah so Mungu anaguza mtu moyo ili akukumbuke so for that reason i will not take it home that is uh, for them ni mimi ninakwanga mwamifu nikipewa nafikisha so you can count on it mtapata but on your side don't give peanuts for a service hallelujah kita mamuta ameguzwa huyo sio dona hapana <laughs> atukubali donations we are in the church that receives donations so tunapokea sadaka za shukurani na tulitangaza so zilikuja na zinginezo ambazo nilipewa mimi ni muone imetosha gari haleluya na hiyo gari ya kwanza ni ya hawa na already kuna driver hapo already wana driver wana dereva tayari so hakuna kutafuta watu wa nje hao jana wako smart wako na ma driving license so hakuna hakuna kanjo na polisi wa traffic ambao taambie garibu akioleta shida waambie ndio hii itakuwa na sticker ya revelation wisdom media department haleluya amen So one of the things tunapanga eh, kusibu tunafungua television some of these children are tunawapeleka shule ya media so we want some of them ambao mmaza shule kwenda kusomea juu ya daktari eh, kama ulipata utapata ni sawa lakini sisi tunataka watu wanyasomea media kuna watu ambao kuliko uhangaike ni media school unaendanga unasoma na tunakutumia hapa haleluya so we shall have scholarship for a few wala ambao atenda kusomea wala ambao ashasomea please noa kipawa chako tuwatumie so some of the youngsters that are coming up ni kambi wazazi make sure watoto wenyu wasi watoto watundu cause if kama mtoto wako ni mtoto ambaye tabia zake ni mbaya kanisani wewe mama na watoto wako utabaki na wao but that's why watoto wa pale tunawaangalia sana so that we shall be moving children from there naenda kuimba upande huu hallelujah so wazazi ambao wamezaa watoto We expect leo watoto wako kwa ajili ya sisi pia so we are also shareholders why should they be employed somewhere else they should come and serve god hallelujah so nyana oshona ndaka watu mbona za shona mavazi za watu kanisani so fashion designers they design clothing ambazo zina utaka tifu so that one we need also wasome mitambo na mashini hizo because the church will need them but you shall not have your child be part of the team kama hana ushuhuda mzuri na wewe pia mama una ushuhuda mzuri so take care of your children make sure na behave when i grow well behaved so that si pia tuwe na interest kwa wao because church needs uh, workers tunahitaji wafanyikazi we are still hiring watu wa kufanya renovations maintenance we are still hiring people to help do things that wengine wetu tunabaki tukiangalia we may angalia for one year but after one year tutakuwa tunaangalia because vijana hawa wanafanyika kufundishika haraka sana so dan uh, is a marked kupelekwa media school pamoja na hawa huyu anaitwa nani kiprono wewe ni kiprono yeah hiyo kiprono na na my son ndio huyu prince so mambo yao tumeshaamua barabara ya mitambo hizo wanaenda So we'll also allow those of us in the media in Dennis if they can upgrade uh, we want them to be schooled plus Spencer. So sadaka zenyu zinafanya hiyo kazi. So mtafuteni program uh, plus Enoch the, what you're doing finish it but nataka tukongezie ingine so that uh, mubaki what was sound na media. Also Steve is there so all of you uh, plus Mike all of you nataka mu, mu, you sharpen your skills vizuri so that you become the daniels in our generation hallelujah so your gari ni kuatia moyo also it should meet our need but i endesha tukienda my know tunaenda pale so you want to see how the vehicle will be equipped ah ndaka niwaombe so makasiku ilisha 
make sure that you are in peace with God. Kanisa tusimame, tuwanyoshe ni mikono. Tukibariki watu hawa pia. All of you should know that um, Kijana Abed, Abed happens to be one person that can work and can serve. Sometimes being young, unazenda ambiyo sana. But being young also is, is good. So, sitaki ya onangi kana kwamba maonewa kanisani. Shadrach is one that naona vile munga na mtoa, hui <laughs> narubi utaka. Vile naona mabeke naenda. <laughs> munga na nguruma kila siku. Ere Shadrach. That's why I said in Nairobi as a figure. Endo kijuanga, we cannot invest in Nairobi. Eh, Nairobi wa endo tukijipanga kurudi wapi? Eldoret, because God loves you so much. Na mekutaka kanisani. So because of a design and fashion line ya kanisa, tuna mafundi wengi kanisani. In fact, this church ina mafundi wengi. And he's actually a designer. Anafundisha, wa, anafundisha watu ma design. So it's like your job is cut out for you. So uh, please kubalena na yesu. Musipilikane barabara ya kupingana. Be obedient and uh, obey fast. Hallelujah. But all of you kitu mfanyi kanisani, iveni haraka. Muive haraka. Our watoto ambao pia ni watoto watumishi. Watumishi wote, train your children because they are the ones you can bank on. Kwa huduma yako. Pastor Vincent, watoto wako, train them. So that, uh, okay, maza shule, they should also be part of those ones who receive scholarship kanisani. Find us all me, uh, line ya and the same the same na pastor mulanda though you are very far but watoto wako wajenge line ndio hiyo hallelujah yeah. eh, mangoes never fall far away from the mango tree kama baba yako ni pastor obviously ulipata watoto wako wanafuata line hiyo hiyo ya mambo na huduma kazi kama hiyo so sound engineers wako tu hapa ma sound engineering eh, hallelujah nataka kukwambia ati media si engineering mwambie wacha upuzi our ni engineer, our nini? Our media. Hallelujah. So, we love these people. Na wapenda wote. Kaini kweni vijana wa takatifu, vijana wa zuri, wa safi. Abud is one that uh, is actually training. Uwe atakuwa pastor of one of our branches. So, tunamfundisha hapa. Tunamtrain hapa, hapa kanisani. Hallelujah. He'll be a pastor, but uh, kwa sahai, kusikia munga na nguruma, Munga mwana unakupe zitolewe na namini zimetoka. So mwe wako upondeke mbeleza buwana. Um, alipokea mafuta hape ya praise and worship. So anapokea mafuta ya hizo mwenjilisti. Wengine waleruka kama kina, ma, kina wawire. They couldn't withstand the training. But those ones nyumebaki kubali utrainiwe. Wazazi wako wajuwake kwamba barabara kukufanya watchman iliisha. You are too good to be a watchman. Hallelujah. Yeah, too good to be a policeman. Too good to play with KDF. Atu kutaki KDF. Ambia baba, nilisha amua. Mimi nafuata kutumika na Christo Yesu. And that shall be in Jesus' name. Okay. Asante buwana. Miriam, meshu watoto wako na wakubalisha kanisani. Wazazi musiweka watoto wenyu stock kwa nyumba. Let your children come to church. You do not know ndani yao nini Yesu ameweka. So allow your children to come to church. And that's why Miriam watoto wako yumeka nao sana for a long time they should be in church. Na naomba Mungu aondoe ukoma wake kwako na kuondolee. Udoma wako eh, Bwana akufanyishie tohara na kupende. Uh, mikono tuenue hewani kwa jili yao wote. Tunawekia kava ya mungu, baridi si wapige. Mungu akiunge na ukali, badaya ni moto takukula. So tunawamba buwana moto huo, uka uondoka. Mana amesema metusamea. Vibaba namba kwamba, achilia neema yako juu yao. Kibali yako buwana namba achilia juu yao katika jina la yesu. Baba kibali yako achilia juu ya watu hawa. Tuwamba buwana moto wako ambao unafancha baba kuangamizi, angamizi maovu. Lakini moto wako wa baraka ikashuka juu yao. Ukafanishia buwana mashi yao kubadilika. Baba wapate joto. Wapate amani. Wapate furaha. Wapate afya. Wapate buwana ushindi. Waone baba mema katika maisha yao. Katika jina la yesu. Waponye magonjwa. 
waondolee wasiwasi na hofu wasionewe na wasichukiwe na watu midomo ambazo ingewakula hizo midomo ni mezima ndimi ambazo ingewakatakata hizo ndimi ni mezima midomo ambazo waribia watu hatima hizo midomo tumefunga katika jina la Yesu baba baridi ambayo ingewachapa ama baridi ambayo ingewakula baridi hiyo bwana naomba kwamba bwana ikawaondokea joto lako ikawa juu ya maisha yao may they receive the warmth of your embrace oh jesus you shall embrace them and minister lord to their lives and their hearts we pray that father you should grant the lord be well with them baba wanapotumika kama ashes baba ashes wote hawa naomba kibali chako juu ya maisha yao remember simples baba i pray that you remember joan i also pray remember also jacinta may you grant the lord be well with them we pray that thou remember miriam baba maisha yake bwana ikawa sawa sawa as she joins the sanctuary keepers if your baba nakuomba kwa ajili pia ya maisha yake mercy may it be well with her even as she charts a new course to serve you fully if your baba will remember lord your servant lord lilian nambinge baba ikawa naye katika hali yake ya utumishi baba amani yake ikawa na yeye asante mwana bwana hamna kama wewe remember all of them and their lives my father may it lord be well with them we pray that shall that lord shall live for you and our my lord shall stretch your hand lord upon mike upon spencer upon lord also um, upon uh, upon prince and upon daniel we pray that thou remember steve and remember also prono remember also lord uh, gideon in the name of jesus we pray that thou my lord jehovah shall remember the service law that dennis has rendered to this church and lord you are his reward the same manner father shall remember also enoch lord who has weathered the storms from the family to stand my lord to serve you i pray that it shall not be in vain if you born in our here in our world Baba the vehicles and the blessing you release Lord Baba may it be a blessing into their lives make them become a blessing to us as well in the name of Jesus we pray in the name of Jesus we pray pigia bwana makofi mengi mengi hallelujah sante bwana na naona ndoa moja ah So hapa kuna mtu anaoleka this year. Harusi. Nimeona hapo harusi. Ngine mujikaze. Haleluya. Mujika. Haya, mwenye anajua kuna harusi yao umesikia roho yake imedunda. Kama ni umbe asikike enda. Karudi. Ni wewe. Haya. Ketini sasa tupokee. Nataka kuombea vitu vingine hapa. Uh, Pastor Molanda and your wife na watoto wako your family kujeni Vitu kama hivi na fresh ya Mungu tunafanya hizo vitu kwanza Ndio Mungu from his throne ana smile Hallelujah Mungu ana smile akafanya kutabasamu Haya Ah angalia watu hawa sasa geuka huko Eh uh, ndio familia ambayo unasikia Mungu na nguruma wapi nguo ya watu hawa wapi viatu yao na leo tunaambia Mungu viatu vimepatikana na nguo tunazo haleluya <laughs> amen praise be to jesus uh, pastor dorcas mbio mbio pastor vincent pastor malukware mbio mbio pastor lilian kujeni haraka mama uh, mtumishi mama sara please kujeni upesi joan uh, haraka haraka tusaidiane kazi hii kwa jina la Yesu mke wangu kuja unisaidie. Amen. Mbona tukuzwe? Eh, hiko nguo hapa. Mtumishi Dorcas sija sida mke wangu mtoe hizi nguo tuzione beba beba. Fungua fungua kwanza ya Mrs. Molanda. Hiyo ni ya mtoto. Uh, Pastor Vincent kujeni na uh, Malkware. For the son and also for the man himself and the daughter eh uh, baba uh, this mtumishi ambenge uh, for the daughter ah uh, uh, mimi nipe viatu nishike oh oh iko nini mebaki au oh, wache 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 <laughs> mama pe mama nani to dedicate it to our patia mama sara haleluya mama sara eh mama mtumishi joan kuja 
Utakosa mali pa kusita mimi nishikia hivi tuyote Na ulipe Haleluya Taka tuwa uh, pastor Mulanda Mzungue hivi then hawa tuwatu wa weke sako Angalini nda, angalini mbele eh. Haya, uh, ntaka kanisa ijue That from today tumechukua majukumu ya pastor Mulanda tutalipa nyumba yake na masomo za watoto eh kabisa Kanisa mwombe. Tuna mmoja mwombe. Nyumba yake, mke wake, watoto wake mwombe. Asante ah, Bwana. Bwana. Bwana told Pastor Molanda that Mungu atakutumia. And I told him to prepare kazi itaisha. He didn't believe me. Kambia Pastor Molanda. Eh, kambia mke wake, hii kisima mnakulia. Amtakulia tena. But uh, the wife akangangana na kazi yake in disobedience. The husband na kangana na kibaru yake in disobedience. And uh, ipo kauka kisima, they remembered what I told them. So munga lifunga kisima kile ambacho pastor Molanda uchote yanga maji. Kulisha familia. Ambia sindili kuambia. So he has been in the wilderness. But because God wanted to prove to him, hiyo kazi yuko nafanya. I can close it, ni funge, na bado ni kulishe. Sasa mungu atawalisha. So, kuanzia leo, majukumu yao, kama wachungaji, kanisani, e, mechukuliwa na kanisa, and uh, he shall eat, drink, and put on, kutoka mana na madhabao haya. So, hii ni mwanzo, uh, njia, hizi mavazi ni vitimeletwa, Ilikuwa ni mtihani kwenye kanisa kwa wachungaji. He can buy the things but hii ni mtihani kwetu. And that's why pastors ambao mlijitoa, mlichanga kwa ajili ya hayo ni ishara ya baraka. So as we bless them with those uh, items our pastors are also blessed. 
those waliochangia they are also blessed na kanisa hatuwezi kuwa na ukoma tumebarikiwa pia maana hao wachungaji ni wa kanisa wakavalisha mchungaji mwenzao so be blessed in jesus name pokeni baraka in jesus name pokeni baraka ya bwana in the name of viatu ina ishara yake inamaanisha mamlaka so eh, kwa hizi viatu ni viatu ambazo umebarikiwa nazo na inamaanisha mamlaka praise god and so it shall be well tubariki hizi vitu ndio kumpe baba asante mwana wewe ni mwaminifu baba tazama tumetimiza yale ambazo bwana ulitaka tutimize basi mavazi eh, ya nyumba ya mlanda ya hapa watumishi wako wa mwanazo mikononi mwao naziweka wakfu tumetangaza baraka tumetangaza utakaso kwamba bwana ifanyike silaha kwao ifanyike baba ulinzi kwao ifanyike baraka kwao anapoyatumia bwana iwapatie joto na furaha the blessing from the almighty god make it one rich you never add sorrow with it and so we praise you for these blessings god baba ikawahiri na wao we want to dedicate them to you we declare them blessed and sanctified lord to your glory in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen tie bwana makofi ni ishara it is a spiritual sign hallelujah it is a spiritual it is a spiritual sign which means mbarikiwa ma it is well penda huyu mzee na ulinde yeye hallelujah Aya sasa mke wangu patia achukue ngoa pe apalishe pe yeye na bae hallelujah uh, so they are subject to this altar ikawa heri na wao haya pia bwana makofi kanisa we thank God for those who gave please keep on giving so mlango imefunguliwa you can buy for them not only no furniture we want some furniture for nyumba ya pastor mulanda we want everything new zile zilikuwa za kitambo abariki na watu wengine so we want new bed new mattresses wale kwa nyumba ambao watoto wana bedroom yao haya wana bedroom yake so we want him to get himself a, a three bedroom the house uh, so that waishi uh, vizuri so kanisa tachukulikia mahitaji hayo kanisa ya kakamega we shall take uh, uh, expenses za wao kuishi watoto waende shule he bwana asifiwe amen si ni sadaka yenyu so si shangai itatoka wapi eh mungu atawapanua nyinyi mbarikiwe sadaka zenyu zinone mkinipea na mesho hao nakaa vizuri So we shall be going to dedicate can uh, say monanzia there's a place in patikana kakamega so we shall have seen it tutaenda kuiweka wakfu na kuiombea so we'll see how we'll go there na nyumba ya pastor mulanda in case muta mechelewa mali pa kulala there will be one extra bedroom yenye muta naweza unaweza enda ulale kwa hiyo room so that will do for all our pastors ambao mungu ana to direct tufanye hivyo bwana asifiwe Si bwana hiyo mwema. Si bwana hiyo mwema. Si bwana Yesu hiyo mwema. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hi, be seated in Jesus name. Haya chukua. Ah, tusha. Tusha waombe watu wamebarikiwa. Amen. Amen. You are adopted as a son of the altar. Wewe na nyumba yako. Bigia bwana makofi sangwe pamoja na vigelegele mwambie anatawala bigia bwana makofi sangwe pamoja na vigelegele mwambie anatawala bigia bwana makofi sangwe pamoja na vigelegele mwambie anatawala bigia bwana makofi sangwe pamoja na vigelegele mwambie anatawala 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 
Mwambie anatawala Bwana Yesu anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Baba wetu anatawala Mwambie anatawala Bwana Yesu anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Pigia Bwana makofi Sawe pamoja na vigelegele Mwambie anatawala Pigia Bwana makofi Shangwe pamoja na vigelegele Mwambie anatawala Rukia Bwana kidogo Sawe pamoja na vigelegele Mwambie anatawala Pigia Bwana makofi Shangwe pamoja na vigelegele Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Mwambie anatawala Bwana Yesu anatawala Mwambie anatawala Bwana wetu anatawala Mwambie anatawala anatawala Mwambie anatawala eh eh anatawala Mwambie anatawala Hallelujah. Santo Bwana, let's be seated in Jesus name. Okay, that is a wonderful. Najua mbele za Bwana hatuna nini? Hatuna deni. Hata Jehovah maona hatuna nini? Eh waonge go. Deni tunayo ni deni ya upendo. So my pastor wa hapa mliambiwa na Mungu mpendane. So that we shall also be having pastors fellowship. Hallelujah. Mpenda mpendane we also need to dedicate um, to dedicate viketi hivi so that the entire church takuwa na viketi uniform haleluya hizo zingine tukienda crusade tunabeba tuna harusi tukifanya tunabeba uh, mimi na harusi na hema yake so kuna hema hiyo ambayo itapatikana ambayo itatengenezwa itakuwa hema ya harusi so that hema hiyo ya harusi we shall not be hiring tents let us buy haleluya So hema hii ya tunanunua hema nyingine sadaka za mfungo saumu zote pu italipiwa hema tutanunua hema ambayo ni kubwa eh, za kufanyishia sherehe Bwana asifiwe So tutaanza mfungo tarehe na moja. ndio tutamaliza mfungo eh, msimu mwanzo wa pasaka so end of march is when we are done with the fasting and praying because we'll be building momentum kwa ajili ya mwaka so katika hizo la be dedicating a tent na magari mawili ambazo eh uh, the bills zenu nimechangia plus ile kila kitu tutasanya yote uli, plus pesa ya viketi nyenye itabaki kama itapatikana imebaki please ndangwa na ngwana <laughs> Mimi nitazisanya sanya. Haleluya. Na nitazipeleka PO box gari. PO box hema. Na PO box gani nyingine? Bila sanya tapatikana. Haleluya. For those of us who are visitors, uh, karibuni sana. I want to recognize kwamba tuna wageni. Please mama tu mali huko, tukuone alafu tukuruhusu kae chini. Simama tu wale wageni, those of us who are visitors. Good. Thank you. Hallelujah. Pigia Bwana makofi kwa ajili yao. Hallelujah. Not because they are not very many. Microphone can uh, fly and reach them and say hi, hi, hello, hello. Then na uh, then we allow you allow to sit down. Na tutaruhusu pia baada ya hapo kuna watu tutaruhusu upande huu mbele for visions, dreams na share huko. Amen. Haya, mtumishi ni wewe. Introduce your daughter. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe tena. Amen. Majina yangu ni Sofia, nampenda Yesu. Amen. Ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Ah. Na nafurahia sana ni kwa sababu alinipenda. Amen. Tumesafiri na mtoto wangu. Ah. Hata ingawa tusafiri na yule mkubwa lakini hakukuja amerudi leo. Oh. Siku nyingine atakuja. Oh, I, I, I did I see her. She didn't come here. Oh. Yeah. All right. Her flight back was today. Mhm. Mm Lakini ametutuma na salamu. Okay. Sasa huyu atajisema mwenyewe. Let 
me have this the mic. The other mic is break dancing. Na staki brenda kana skia sauti ya mtumishi. Eh je, microphone yangu iko na power. Pea iko na power. Na kai wengine haina nini? Haina power. Is it on? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sophia. Nampenda yes. Amen. Kwa sababu alinipenda. Amen. Na akaniokoa. Eh. Akaniweka alama ya msalaba. Amen. Namfurahia kila siku. Amen. Tumefika hapa ni kwa sababu yake. Amen. Na tumekuja kimiujiza. Eh. Aliye na na mwana na ushuhuda. Ndio. Kwa hivyo mimi napenda kushuhudia uwepo wake mm. na ukuu wake kwa maisha yangu na watoto wangu. Eh. Tuliweza kuja Christmas wote mm. kijana tu ndio alibaki. Ni vida tu hali ya hao wakubwa kama wanafanya kazi kukontrol ni, ni si rahisi lakini mm. angedharau kukuja lakini alikuwa shughuli zake. Oh. Lakini alitutuma na salamu. Asante. Ah ya u binti yangu nimekuja na ye, mm. majina yake ni Masi. Mm. Hata yeye anampenda Yesu. Mm. Anakaa kuogopa kuogopa kidogo. Uh, <laughs> that's no more for the first time that's no more yes, yes. lakini for the second mm. time i'm sure she will enjoy hey. so i've been trying to keep her comfortable mm. but maybe she can say hi say hi masi <laughs> she's shy masa jeu na kanisa watu wamevaa white kila mtu lakini amefurahia amen Bwana wabariki sana na wapenda sana. Amen. Na kila wakati tunawaza mema. Amen. Mungu azidi kuwabariki. Thank you Sofia. Nafurahia maendeleo pia. A- amen. Bwana wabariki sana. Asante. Asante. Karibu sana Sofia. Sofia is one of us. She is in um, South Africa. Na si unde wale wa South Africa. Nimeona mko wengi. Haleluya. Alafu kuna waimbaji hapo waenda wana vile wazulu na rukaruka. Kwanza asafu. <laughs> wale wale vile wazulu wala rukaru wala rukaruka okay thank you so much we are happy to have you within Bwana hey mama ndio amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe amina mimi nashukuru Mungu eh yeah. kwa mwelekezo ule dadanga alinielekeza la kujifungua mwaka hapa nikasema uh-huh. lazima nitarudi leo mhm eh ndio amen nimerudi mm. na nimekubali kushiriki na nyinyi amen Niki, atapo nafasi naweza kuja mimi naishi chemeli mshuga company oh moroni oh moroni yes lakini nime imenibidi ni, ili asubuhi nikafikiria nikasema lazima nikuje leo mm. nishikane na nyinyi amen eh, karibu sana wa karibu sana thank you kunywa maji karibu kunywe maji ya uzima karibu sana Amen. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Susana Sefa. Nimefurahia kuwa hapa. Mm. Niona mkono wa Bwana uko pamoja nami. Amen. Nambarikiwe. Thank you. Karibu sana. Pia Bwana Makofi. The rest of us we are familiar with one another. Angalia jirani yako anakaa familiar ama unfamiliar. Kama anakaa unfamiliar mwambie mbona hakusimama watu wakujue. But kama anakaa familiar mwambie wa bar kama anakaa ni mgeni mwambie mgeni mwenye anajificha hataki watu wamjue wewe ni mgeni mgani Alright haya watoto ambao wanaenda watoto ambao wanaenda shule eh kujeni hapa back to school back to back to uh, kenya for learning hapo 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 kujenda hiyo curve please chini huko lakini kavu kwanza tuone vile mnafanana angalia mmoja wako karibu na wewe alioga angalia mwenzako alioga ama na kama ni mchafu mwambie mchafu wewe kama ni msafi mwambie eh wewe ni msafi eh uliza yeye ameoga haya <laughs> bwana asifiwe Please wazazi muhakikishie watoto wenu ni watoto wasafi. Godliness, I mean cleanliness is God. Next to godliness. Hallelujah. Cleanliness is what? 
is next to godliness. So, which means cleanliness is also godliness. Haya, saka tu. Mwanzo mwanzo wa jamani watu wa walikuwa kikuja hapa, walikuwa nanuka uvundo. Sometimes when these children will gather here, wana tupa kutupa. <laughs> Unasia wana nuka jashu ingine ya jabu wa jabu. So, wazazi. Wacheni kufalisheni watoto wenye mavazi ya siofa. Watoto wafalisho mavazi na thifu. Let them know coming to church is an experience. Kuja kanisani ni kitu ambacho uh, awata sahau. Hallelujah. So, watoto ambao wazazi wako wajakulia kitu ya white. And, and ufanya yekelele na mama yako ama baba. Mbi baba, wana ya watoto ngino na vaa mavazi, kwa ni baba wani wetafauti na wewe. Baba, atoboke kitu ya white uvae. Nguwa ya white uvae. Eh, hey, so... Eh, kila mtu inafanya fujo na mama yako na baba wambia baba wana kupenda lakini mbona wewe ujanivalisha vitu ya white kama wengine so we thank God uh, we thank God hawa natu wajekechea na ma secondary so these are secondarians and primarians and ECD ndio grupu hii uh, haya bwana siwe sini hawa so watu wa hata kumbe watu wa secondary wako hapa wanya kama ushafanya form 4 ushafanya uhitajiki hapa ukijua wewe ni zaidi ya form 4 please step backwards haya <laughs> watu wa watu wa kole, colleges uko hapa oh hata hata daktari pia amekuja daktari ame, daktari ni mwanafunzi ndio kuliko ni kuaibisha baki 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 tatuombe hata inadi shule those of us doing your thesis doing your those of us doing doctorate all ambao uko chuo okay that that means now plus what university bas mu join now that uh, university pio mesha join so amuka about what were university college please you can join college students you're going back to college please join tuwaombeni wote maana kwanza colleges ndio ziko na shida hata fadhali secondary school na kwa hivyo university na ma colleges shetani alienda kaweka headquarters huko so we have to pray for our children na wazazi lipieni watoto wenyu dapihu haleluya maana wakienda shule wanatangamana na watoto ambao wazazi wao wana madhabahu zingine za kishetani so they go and mix in and interact with the teachers walimu wao na walimu ambao wanabudu mashetani shule zao ni shule ambazo pia kuna za madhabahu za mashetani all of us look forward toto they angalia mbele so you look at the teacher when the teacher is talking so there is no why we dedicate watoto na meza ya bwana watashiriki is because he meza ya bwana ina umuhimu wake meza ya bwana hii ni yesu we are sealing covenant that you will so before to ishiriki ntabahubirie so tunamaliza mapondo kondogo hizi kwanza then we go to the major hallelujah so watoto tunawafanyishia dhabihu na masadaka kwa ajili yao there should be something speaking in the realm of the spirit and also before god on their behalf so that they be preserved so kuwe na dhabihu na yonena mbele za Bwana pia katika ulimwengu wa kiroho kwa ajili yao wasirogeke ovyo ovyo wasitegwe ovyo ovyo haleluya so that's why we give offerings and sacrifices for our children maana kule unakwenda kuna magonjwa kuna mitego za dhambi eh? kuna wawindaji haramu wawindi wanyama ni wawindaji haramu that means wana, wanawinda hata wanadamu so wako pia kuna ma temptations ama majaribio za wao kuingia kwa dhambi ziko watoto naingizwa katika ushetani wanafunishwa matendo za giza so we don't want that kuna mashule ambazo you enter mtoto wako ni mzuri akiingia ile shule then madhabao ya ile shule inawashika hakuwa anavuta sigara so atavuta sigara ni madhabao ya shule inapenda watu ambao wanafanya anasa so your child comes back home and he has uh, he has been inducted into drinking and smoking 
And nowadays, you don't only smoke cigarettes. Today, you can smoke anything. But that is part of the smoking. So, chungeni sana, that's why to enda na madabiu. Jinsi ayubu alivyofanya. Ayubu aliwatolea watoto wake madabihu. So, for our youngsters, hawa, na wambie ni hivi, ukipatikana wana mimba, usirudi kwa ikanisa. Haya, watoto mesikia. Especially teenagers. Na uki, ukishikishwa mimba, it means kwa mba wewe, ulingia kwa matendo za zina. We shall not allow you to be to be in church. So, make sure kwamba nothing like boy friendly and girly friendly. Iya hakuna. So, the big ones who are seniors fanyikeni mfano mzuri kwa hawa chipukizi. Hallelujah. So, hiyo group ya kina benta, hiyo group ya kina Hawa kubwa kubwa ni kina Benta na nani? Uh, Benta, uh, Erika yako ni kina nani? Watu wa level yako ni kina nani? Wataje, busha watu ya names nisikie. Uh, nasikia watu wa grupu yyo. Good. Kina Leslie, Sujia Akibela. Nasikia majine enye na ataju wa pala kina kamele. Nasikia grupu yenyu yyo. Make sure, kwamba as you go back to school, Nijulikane nyinyi ni watoto wa yesu. Uniform zenyu za shule, atiskati ya shule. Yes, mesho kamba nisi kama cross wewe. Amu nasi ya unafuzi minapenda skat zile ambazo watina wa skat ndogo ndogo. Mimi ni kikupata tu na mama yako natakambia, oo, kumbe ni munafiki hivi. Shoneshi wa kitu ya skat ya shule mrefu, bizuri. Hallelujah. Then, carry the principles we teach you in church. Go with them to school. Na ikiwezekana wale watoto ambao ni ma prophetesses hapa. Ikiwezekana. Ukisikia mna sikumana rao wa buwana. E, Bemeleza shule enyo ambie sisi ni kama wakorino. Tunafunganga kichwa. That means mtoto wa kipawa. Mtoto wa kipawa. Asiende kushuko nyuele huko na kufu, ku, kufanyo ya kutusengine kwa shule. Kwaza mtoto wa shule ananyowa box, ananyowa punk. Apana. So... Mzahaz mbao na juo na mtoto wa kipawa. Go negotiate na shule. Uombe ruhusa. Afunga kita ambara chake shule. And so, you are number one. Mama yako haende kwa shule yako. Na ameshua me sweet talk with the mistress. With the mistress. Na baki na kita ambara chako. Kaza kuna kuchangi kala. Jaribu kwa mba kala zako zina mati na uniform. So that nijulikane kwa mba unadumisha utakatifu shuleni. Hallelujah. So we don't allow our children to participate kwa vitendo za shule ambazo ni haram. When the school organizes dances and bashes and parties, we don't allow our children to join. So seme kwa mba I joined party na bash because it was nikuwa ni shule so alisema tuingie. Nasa kama alisema kwa mba mulewe pombe utaleo lafu seme ni shule, alisema tukunye pombe. So mweni na akili. Hallelujah. Kuna matendo za shule, mabie please count me out. Dances, parties, these were apana. Na kuenda trips, zenye trips ambazo kiangalia, ni trips ambazo haina maana. Wachana. Wa mnaita funky. So, to see end is a bit, wazazi be strict over your children. Hallelujah. Get to know or define. Come on, end a trip. Your trip. Iko na nini? Let's go to the work. When do you see your mother sexual orgies? So, to find any behavior, to find any what to. How about Kanisan? How about to work Cuba? We don't want you to portray be a bad example. How about to work Dogo? So, just make sure when the baru and zuri are kusoma. Hallelujah. Even as we interact, let's have parameters. Keep distance. Hallelujah. Uh, boys and girls, keep what? There's a distance you keep. Kuna umbali ambao mvulana hafiki na kuna umbali please we boy boy de mafanya nini? Asifike buwana asifiwe. Patikatika yote yesu ni nani? Yesu ni buwana. Those of us who are doing their thesis and uh, 
like they are doing their uh, doctorates, Mungu awapatie hekima na awapatie kibali. I know God will do you good. Haya, sasa tunaomba. Na wazazi wako wamekuletea viketi ya blue kama hiyo. Wangapi wazazi wao wamekuletea kiketi? You are sure mzazi alinunua? Inua mikono ni kuone. Majority ya watoto hawa inua mikono. That means wazazi amejafanya jambo. Nataka mtoto wako ataenda shinda devil worship kwa mtihani. Naomba mtoto wangu awe kichwa na wala sio mkia. Yet kiketi hata kimoja kanisani hujamnunulia. Inakuwaje wewe ni mkia when it comes to giving vitu za Mungu. Alafu ndaka uwe kichwa katika shule ya watu nitakanyika na watu mataifa. So wazazi make sure mimi na waombeni dedication but wazazi wenyu wengine wana madeni. I pray that uh, wawalipieni vitu hizo. Haya kanisa tusimame tuombe hawa. Tushika imani kwa ajili ya watoto hawa sana because is a Sunday ya meza ya Bwana. That means uh, that means covenant. Ay, baba uishie milele. Katika jina la Yesu tutasema ni asante. Na kushukuru Bwana kwa ajili ya watoto hawa, vijana wetu, mabinti na pia wa mama mahali hapa Bwana baba ndugu ambao wanafanya kusoma naweka wakfu mbele zako Jehova ikupendeze kwamba maisha yao haitaingiliwa na mashetani na kwamba haitaporo na mapepo kupitia magonjwa kupitia matendo za dhambi utawahifadhi watoto hawa wakiwa mashuleni naomba bwana nguvu zako zikawafunika naomba moto wako ikawazingira Baba naomba kwa ajili ya wengine wote mtandaoni ambao ni watoto walio chini ya kava hii na wanafunzi wote walio chini ya kava hii whether college or university secondary or primary baba even them that be in ECD na waombea wote katika jina la Yesu naomba bwana kwamba ufanyishie kwamba neema yako ya kipekee ya ulinzi kawalinda na pinga matendo za zina na pinga roho za zina Baza bwana naandama watoto hapo na wapinga katika jina la Yesu kuna naomba hapa naona sijapenda kile kitu naona if there is any youngster that is involved in any illicit uh, uh, sexual sin andika karatasi upesi upeane kabla ya meza ya Bwana uandike upesi upeane kabla meza ya Bwana okay nyasai i pray the lord jehovah you shall help us my lord watoto wetu wakafanyika watoto ambao ni wasafi wanao kuheshimu ambao wakabalehe katika hofu yako wakafanyika barua inaweza soma barua ya nzuri na ya utakatifu Hivyo Bwana watoto hawa wangu wakiwemo ndani. Naomba mkono wako ikawa juu ya maisha yao. Naomba Bwana ulizi wako ikawa juu ya maisha yao. Kwamba hawatapata ajali wala mauti na maafa. Hamna uharibifu kawapata. Baba na wafunganishe watoto hawa kwenye madhabahu haya kupitia agano la meza la Bwana, agano la meza takatifu. Bwana wafunganishe kwa madhabahu kutupita kutokea Bwana ama kupitia a uh, sadaka na madhabihu za agano watoto hawa natangaza ulizi wako juu yao hivyo chochote kile ambacho ningefanyikia ambacho ni kiovu naomba madhabahu yako haya ikasimama katika hali ya kuwatetea unapowatetea bwana kumbuka haya madhabahu unapowapigania kumbuka haya madhabahu hivyo bwana ikabahiri na wao walinde mashuleni wasome naomba fedha ukawapa wazazi wao kwa ajili ya kuwasomesha kutana mahitaji za kifedha kwa ajili yao katika jina la Yesu. Want to pray kumbuka wengine wote ambao wanapangia kwenda chuoni. Waliomaliza shule, baba ambao wanatazamia kwenda colleges. Na waombea sasa baba njia zao ukafungua waende college. Baba some are not here, some Lord are seated back there. Wawaji jinsi watakavyoenda. Fanya njia waende shule, baba ikijumuisha judi 
Baba in the shule. In the college. Baba, we pray for all the others. Baba, we give you one. Sisi ni kanisa ambao bwana tunapenda watoto wasome. Naomba bwana kwamba fanya njia wakaenda chuoni wakasome. Watoto ambao rudisho nyumbani kwa ajili ya magonjwa, Yesu naomba kwamba mwaka huu haitafanyika tena kwamba wanarudishwa nyumbani kwa ajili ya wagonjwa. Hizo hali tumefunga, milango za magonjwa tumefunga katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pia baba naomba pia kwamba hamna watoto wakafanyishiwa kupatikana na makosa basi kafanya wafukuzo ya shuleni. Wata fukuza juu ya school fees na wata fukuza juu ya tabia mbaya. Wasome wamalize baba, misimu zao za masomo, baba wamalize shuleni. Hivyo bwana hali ambazo wangetegwa, hizo hali ya ndoa. Walinde baba, wape kibali na walimu, wape kibali baba kifedha, wape kibali katika kila hali. Maana kibali chako ni metangaza juu yao. Asante Jehovah na kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba. Amen. The name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Our total journey kwamba the last convo, the last uh, the convocation namba ile kwisha tulinua vitabu vingi tukawapatia. Na Mungu ame Mungu ajafurahi maana some of you na vitabu mlipewa na mzisome. You got niliwazawadia vitabu Biblia na mzisome. Mungu atawa hukumu. Rudini musome Biblia zenyu, musome vitabu niliwapatia we still have a, uh, the barut na deni vitabu ambazo tulipia and i think they were close to uh, they quite a lot of money i think uh, budget ya vitabu hizo na kala is in excess of 300000 so we invest kwa watoto wengine huko na imagine amusome biblia so tunafungua library za vitabu zingine ziko pale we shall make a library ambazo utakuwa nasoma but vitabu Eh, mnawacha kwa library so we want to see how we'll get a container we fix it eh, kama library then tutahawa shule kifungwa tena eh, we shall still have another children eh, vocational eh, bible st- bible study ukifunga shule haleluya so another vbs itakuwa na hiyo vbs eh, itakuwa na ruhusu wasome vitabu So kila mzazi kumbusha watoto wako kusoma Biblia aliyopewa na vitabu alizopewa. Wala mbona nafanya mtihani tumaombeni. May the Lord Jehovah grant it to be head and not the tail. Hallelujah. So candidates wako hapo, hope candidates. I know one, two, three, four. Baadaye kuna mtoto ambaye kanisa mngejua kwamba Uh, but kama wanafanya matokeo mazuri this this child was the best in their school and uh, at least we are proud that we had one uh anaitwa nani ah watoto wa karo you called who went to lesley blessing yeah blessing was the was the best in their school uh, yani alisaidia shule kujulikana akatokea on the top most. Haleluya. Hiyo shule ingejua ngamua kulipia school fees. Hiyo shule kama wanataka wa shule wa maintain. Tutu kama wa shule ndaka na shule inachukua uh, scholarship na kupea. So we are proud of her. Na um, we pray that your brother pia atakufuata nyayo zako. Wapi? Anaitwa anointed anointed Samuel. We want to see that anointing. Number tutadawabi watoto ambao watafanya vema matokeo ya mshule. As a church we shall start also appreciating them. Hallelujah. Wakitokea kule akanisani pia tunatokea kuwa celebrate. Bwana asifiwe. So all our candidates ambao wanatafanya mtihani as a church tunaangalia. Si mimi nimewaombea ngoja matokeo. Tokea na kitu mzuri. Hallelujah. Maana chiel. <laughs> Mimi na hesabu vitu kama A, A kimoro, kama ni B, B kimoro hivi. Huko chini yake hiyo atuongelee tunaangalia huko ma B, B na kwenda juu. It shall be in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So pigeni hao makofi as they get seated. Okay. Ah nasikia kwamba kabla ya Sunday school kabla mjaondoka
please msiondoke kwanza Sunday school uh, let's give our offerings tusimame na masadaka zetu uh, tutupie watu wa sadaka zao ndio muende mkunye mkule lunch yenu then matoleo please pastor uh, let's receive our offerings our gifts to dedicate plus vicate i want to appreciate god kwa vicate ambazo zinatolewa kanisani watoto before muende kujeni kwanza mtoe sadaka zenu come back and give your offerings before you go ah uh, kanisa waimbaji do you have uh, something to present to jesus uh, tuombe vicate while you are giving please tusimame na masadaka zetu tukijitoa to dedicate we dedicate them plus vicate vyote Nitaimba haleluya asubuhi Nitaimba haleluya mchana Nitaimba haleluya jioni Haleluya na hata usiku Nitaimba haleluya asubuhi Nitaimba haleluya mchana Nitaimba haleluya jioni Hallelujah Nitaimba na kulia kwa kuteka na kulia haleluya nina wimbo kwa kila wakati na kila wakati nyimbo wa kila siku ya kati wake wimbo huo ni haleluya nitaimba nitaimba haleluya asubuhi nitaimba haleluya mchana Nitaimba haleluya jioni haleluya na hata usiku nitaimba haleluya asubuhi nitaimba haleluya mchana nitaimba haleluya jioni haleluya na hata usiku nitaimba haleluya nitaimba Hallelujah. Pastor Moses, you distracted me. What are you saying? Hmm? <laughs> All right. Lambda knew it yake. Today we didn't uh on a sema if they are there for tithes or what? Maybe my wife or Hurumi. Wala mbona ndaka Aya nasikia ma pastor mnakumbushwa madhabihu please i think nisha yongelea mujipange eh, ministers watumishi wala mbona unajua una kipawa intercessor ni muhuduma eh, muimbaji ni muhuduma sanctuary keepers ni wahuduma evangelist wa huduma eh, all of those that are, are actually in the service of god Uh, Mungu amewarehemu lakini mfanyeni dhabihu zenu so you can do it at um, maybe next Sunday those who can do it today and I want to also mandate kwamba dhabihu za watumishi waimbaji eh wafanye dhabihu zao kwa Bwana because when the Lord asks watumishi sadaka zenu ziko wapi 
You know, our intercessors when we are your offerings, a lot of intercessors never pay uh, offerings. I want to know you come on your sadaka. Please, intercessor, I could not see you come on sadaka. And your prayers cannot be a sacrifice. So, sanctuary keepers, our media fraternity, uh, you are in the service team. Uh, you see me, me, Mulisika Nikiongea. So, fanyini dhabiu zenyu, desabiu ambele sabuana. Kuna mali, if God want to bless you, munga tauliza, can I have something to prove your faith? Have you ever, umaya sike munga nawambia, nataka dhabiu? It's because, chenyu naitisha kwa yeye, hakuna legal ground. Ana amali pa kusimamia kufutekeleza hayo. So, may, you, may the Lord grant you to do so. Kwa mba mufanya dhabiu watumishu wote, mufanya madhabiu zenyu. And I want to mandate also Pastor Vincent because now we come on a name of Barabara Hio, Kumbushana Hio. So we thank God for Julia Nini Kufanya Evangelism or the Fanya Visuri, the Evangelism. Now you can be sure in future, Mutapata um, Munafanya exercise. So we'll be carrying some of you to the now Malpengine, but in the Lezen Evangelism on a youth, water in the Lezen Evangelism, na Pastor Vincent. Na group yako, Pastor Moses, we appreciate kila macho munafanya, munga wazidishi ya mafuta. So let's dedicate the giving. So we get to heavy, they were a token that is prophetic. So when you're buying them, please make sure kambawe na mungu. Uyi unaeza dai kitu kwa mungu. Sa prophet, nili waombia siku hile, nili waombia ni mwatangazini ni baraka. How do you arrest it, Viketi? So it was a token. If you want to buy according to your family members, no no kulinga na watoto wako. Namuga watende mema. Naziweka wafu baba, masadaka, na matuleo hisi zote. Tuwazi itangazia baraka zako katika jina la yesu. Baba ni asande kwa jili baba ya viketi ambazo zimeletu wakanisani, walio jitowa, na kuomba buwana wakumbuke na wapigani ya vita vya. Ifanyike baba fimbo. Ifanyike baba rungu. Ifanyike baba mawe. Mbae neza angusha goliatho. Ife maisha yao magoliatho wote. Uka wangusha katika jina la yesu. Baba dhabiu zao zika waka kama moto wa ukumbusho. Weponi mwako ee johova. Kwa babuana katika hali hizo kubali maombezi yao. Katika hali za utakatifu. Kubali baba matuleo yao. Katika haki na utakatifu. Waponye magonjwa. Wape promotion. Wondole buwana. Wondole magonjwa. Wondole marona mashetani. Watete kazini. Uinue bishara zao. Fungua milango zao za fedha. Baba wafanikishie. Baba kukua, e, masomo za watoto wao. Baba kulipa manyumba zao. Pia kunua manyumba zao. Kumiliki mashamba vile vile. Baba na kuomba. Wasaidie. Wakafanya baba kutunza vipawa. Kutunza pia buwana mwito. Ambao mewaitia. That they be established in their callings. As well as in their ministries. We pray the Lord by virtue of their giving's law. May they sacrifice my father. Work in the opening of doors. Mega ones for their lives. May their giving's my Lord Jehovah be qualified Lord as a road with which my father to strike the Red Sea. And so Father may you grant the Lord that be connected and be united Lord under this cover of Revelation Wisdom Ministries. Ivi baba kwamba wakafanya kuimarika. Ivi madhabao yako ikafanya kuteta kwa jili yao katika jina la yesu. Feda na masadaka walizo zitoa. Na ziongelea baraka sadaka zao. Na kuziongelea baraka matuleo yao. Baba kwamba wasione mapoza. Wasione baba mapoza wala mahangaiko. Ufukara na umasikini isiwe semu yao. Ivi baba na kuomba kwamba wakumbuke ya mwaka. Kwamba utafanya baba kutuhifadhi sote. Be thou our shamar and our preserver. Pesa zao na mali yao, isiliwe na nondo. Baba hivyo na omba, moto wako, toa baba hali za mashetani, kufizia na kushiriki mali yao, toa maroo za ufukara, toa roo za umasikine. Feda zao zikapata utakaso wa moto wako. Wafanya babu wa shika madabo haya, wafanyike watu wa karimu, ambao awafungi pesa mikononi ya mifukoni, but like on aziachilia, zikafanyika baba, that none of us shall be stingy, no one lost shall, shall be selfish in our meat. May grant that Lord will be many that are generous because you also are a generous God. Nakata mitego za pesa, 
mitego za matoleo baba fedha ambazo ingekuja kama mitego moto wako ikateketeza online as well as here tuomba moto wako baba chuja chuja sadaka na matoleo toa mishale toa magonjwa toa maroho ondosha unajisi wote ndio ungenajisi madhabahu baba na kuomba kwamba iwe heri na sisi sote na yaweka wafu likitangaza baraka zako juu ya mashamba yao biashara zao kazi zao hazina zao katika jina la Yesu wanaoekeza wakapata faida japo uchumi imekuwa ni makaratasi lakini walio walokole na mabaki wako wakakushiriki mema hivyo bwana nimeomba na kutangaza utele juu ya maisha yao katika jina la Mungu Baba Mungu Mwana na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu Amen pia bwana makofi basi Let's be seated in Jesus name and nafa tushiriki uh, tashiriki ushuhuda na visions baadaye hapo mbele but for now i want us to go straight to the word of god so biblia yako na kitabu please get it we shall have visions thereafter and uh, pia taruhusu watu ushuhuda zao we have, we have taken testimonies but I uh, wanted that uh, there are things we do so that I mean when our children are in church ili watoto wao waonange baba yao na mama yao wakitoa ushuhuda so tukifanya mambo mengine kama hawako hivi ikwangi vizuri sana that's why unapata our Sunday schooling is not there because discover that wa nafu wa wa walimu wa watoto wanataka wao pia wawe ndani ya kanisa So that's how we got ourselves into watoto wote wanakaa kwa ibada sawa na watu wakubwa ile na wao pia roho bwana wasaidie kuelewa tunafundishana vitu gani So we have done testimonies and visions but because of menda ku pata kitu cha kitu ya kukunywa we may have that session shared thereafter Bwana tukuzwe sana So may those organizers and teachers wao well make sure kwamba They don't go and take so long. They okimaliza mara moja they troop back to church. I recognize pastors wote kwa kuja madhabahuni. Uh, thank you for doing so. Uh, Malukware we know that Mombasa is very far but we recognize your sacrifice. I pray that in the future uh, utaendelea hivyo hivyo usichoke. Hallelujah. Uh, because bidi yako tunaiona kanisani. You are proving your faith that you can be trusted sababu kanisa eh, Mombasa imedaiwa eh, na Mungu. So you want to see how that will work but in the meantime eh, unatayarishwa mtayarishwe vizuri ndio mfungue madhabahu. Hallelujah. So the wall ya Mombasa should now start being active watu wa Mombasa wote you contact pastor Mwalukware all of us in, from coast province. Uh, you contact uh, pastor Malukware pamoja na uh, una pastor pastor nane pastor Cristiano so we'll see how we'll reach those ends today we are looking at uh, nangalia ni ibada ya mezi ya bwana so it is a holy communion service so it is a lord's communion service and it has its significance so our theme for the year as a church is quest I mean as a church uh, as a church our theme for the year we have defined it as a it should be there on the board for you. if you're not there we shall do it uh, as a dominating with manifestations in higher dimensions so that means kwamba we are in higher dimensions we have entered we have accessed higher die mentions so for us to remain there performing and manifesting those higher dimensions there are some acts that we should actually manifest there are things that we must do whether ministry career health marriage they must operate in a higher dimensions for the purpose of war dominating up there So sisi ni mwaka wetu wa kufanya uh, kutawala safu zile za juu tunatawala roho na kimwili pia 
na tunatawala kwa kutoka maana na dhihirisho tunadhihirisha matendo makuu katika hali za hali ambazo ziko juu sana so kule kutawala katika uh, uh, katika safu za juu ikatokamana na matendo ambazo pia tadhihirisha mfanyiko wa neema ya juu so mwaka ujana ni mwaka ambao uh, kauli mbiu ama maudhu ya mwaka kwetu kama kanisa ilikuwa ni kufanya matendo dhihirisho katika upeo za juu rohoni so mwaka huu matendo hizo zinazodhihirisha makuu ya Bwana katika nyanja na upeo wa juu ili kufanikisha kuingia upeo huo wa juu so kule tutakaa na kuzidisha zaidi e, tazidisha matendo zile makuu maana Bwana ni msaada wetu so you must learn what does it mean to reign you can reign in business you can reign in ministry you can reign in marriage hallelujah you can reign also uh, in finances you can reign with gifts of the spirit kobabo say that gifts are for the purposes of profiting all first corinthians 12 and verse number 7 kwamba karama za roho ni kwa makusudi ya kuwafaidi wote that means you become a prophet like daniel today i'm a prophet why because of gifts so naweza kuwa na vipao na nyamazie you know you can have gifts like nyamazie but uh, ukinyamazia hautadhihirisha hautatokea na kuna watu kinyamazia vipawa zako hautatawala. So tunatumia vipawa, karama na rasilimali zile Mungu ametupatia ama ametufanyishia. Tuka, tukafanya kutokea nazo, kudhihirika nazo. Hallelujah. Sama dhihirika nazo in Jesus name. Baba so that the gift of a man shall give him room, shall give him room before kings. Kwa makipawa cha mtu, kipawa chako. Kipawa chako kama mfanye biashara kipawa chako eh, kama fundi taaluma yako ni kipawa kile umepewa talanta yako maandiko yasema itakupatia wewe fursa ya kuweza kusimama mbele za watu wakuu na kusimama mbele za watu wakuu ukifanya kazi yako mbele zao wanakuheshimu fedha na utajiri na mali takufuata haleluya there are some doors that will never open for you except your gift manifest kuna milango ambazo haitafunguka kwako lakini kipawa karama yako ikidhihirika it can have doors open up for you some of us tuna mataifa tungeenda lakini you are, the gift that god has placed in our lives manifest in such a manner that doors open up for us hallelujah bwana asifiwe so utatokea so kauli mbiu ya mwaka huu ni sisi kama kanisa na sisi kama wahuduma haleluya watumishi wa Bwana kwamba tutatawala tutatawala milki za kiroho tutatawala milki za asilia tutazitawala kwa kutokamana na dhihirisho basi kadhihirika eh, katika upeo na nyanja zilizo juu sana So as a minister tumeona mwaka jana God has helped us kwamba huduma hii Mungu ametusaidia kwamba ametenda matendo za ajabu. Watoto hawa wadogo they have been prophesying. Watoto hawa wadogo they have been seeing visions. Yaani roho Mungu ameamua roho yake ikafanya kutunenea pitia watoto wadogo. Manifestation in higher die mentions. Watoto wetu hawa wanaamalikuwa manabii wengi. Niliwaambia mutaona mwaka vile taisha watoto wenyu watatabiri to the glory of god that word manifested god watches over his word to ensure its performance haleluya mungu litazamia neno lake akafanyisha likatimia so ni wewe mzazi 
mtoto wako anapotabiri huwa na hofu sana ujiulize swali na mbona si mimi mbona mtoto wako ana tabiri mbona si wewe Mungu anakunyenyekesha How comes watoto wako wakaona vision wewe uone So ukifanya washerati fua fua atawaambia mama niliona vision ulikuwa na lala na mtu mwingine ambaye si baba Chunga sana <laughs> watoto wako watakuweka uchi maana utataona vision zako kama ni baba ambaye eh, unaingia kwa kila kiosk So it is the will of God for us to prosper wafanye biashara ambao mko hapa It is the will of God ni mapenzi ya Mungu kwamba wewe you graduate from boda boda to a pickup you graduate from a boda boda to a matatu you graduate from a boda boda uwe na taxi hallelujah someone receive that one in jesus name that way umeandikwa maid kwa miaka mingi you migrate from being a maid banyo ile pesa umesanya kuwa maid lima lima shamba nunua ngombe built a house na watu wakodeshe that's also man higher day mention ndio mungu amekuweka kwa chini ya mtu you look like a slave but you're not you're just uh, getting some stuff unapokea vitu siku moja unatokea nazo na hiyo siku hiyo ni mwaka huu haleluya utokee nazo katika jina la Yesu nyumba hiyo ni yako gari hizo ni zako watoto wako wasome na wewe unahudumu katika utakatifu ukiuliza Mungu wako wako wapi mwambie Mungu wangu ni Mungu wa baraka so may the lord bless you for others to see if you think that's ungodly please remove psalms 86 Verse number 17 from your Bible. Someone should be praying, God, give me a token for good. Psalms 86 verse number 17. Show me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and they be ashamed because thou O Lord has opened me and comforted me. Hallelujah. Someone say mo hiyo kwa bibi yako na iona. So if you thought kwamba ni maombele ni maomba ni vibaya kuna baraka ambayo Mungu akubariki ndio wanaokuambia wewe Mungu wako wako wapi unaombanga sana na una, una, unaomba na una kitu so katika leo eh ombe ili Daudi akali akali tabiri kwa watu akaomba Zaburi ya 86 mstari wa 17 Unifanyie ishara ya wema ile wanichukia hao waione na kuaibishwa may the lord bless you in your family so that they respect you and so that they fear your god what a revelation with your ministries tuna fursa ya kutawala duniani kabla Yesu arudi haleluya tuna fursa ya kutokea tuna mungu kwa maisha yetu Hivyo hata tufanya sisi tuonekane takataka na watu bure katikati ya watu. So me, wanakuambia wanakutusi juu ya mavazi yako. Unaongelewa juu ya mavazi yako. Wacha pia waongee juu ya kubarikiwa kwako. Waanze kuongea juu ya kubarikiwa that the best position in a company ipewe wewe. The best promotion by employer ipewe wewe. The best houses that there are there is imilikiwa na nyinyi. Bwana asifiwe. Biashara the best area someone can do business as a minister imilikiwe na watu nyinyi wateule wa Kristo. Hallelujah. So that everything good iwe ni nyinyi watu. So that wanapoongelea vibaya kuhusu wokovu wako wakaongea vibaya kuhusu wako wa magwanda matakatifu. Bwana akaongea vibaya na kufunga kitambara kichwani. Very soon ataza kuongea kuhusu nini biashara yako na faida wewe kufanyika faida meaning you shall money first the word manifest is rendered from the word uh, apoca I mean the word uh, apocalypse which means reveal so apocalypto means kutokea biashara mengangana utokea for how long utakuwa nakanga kwa kioski it is good but kuna watu ume overstay kuendesha kioski soko mujinga so hiyo soko yako mujinga please iwe soko mwerevu 
Amu mwada wazi no soko mjinga. Nikuwa nambenda pale kusoko mjinga. So hante no soko mjinga nini. Then kagunua ni soko mjinga ni kasoka muka na kaka na kufa kufanga. Then Tuesday meamuka. Kidogo haiko jioni kidogo hiko saine. Ndiyo soko mjinga. So I wanted to know me nilio na yo practically. So kama ni kiswele chago ni kibaya. Please I don't know but. Practically ni li define ni kangali ya hii soko mjinga. Ni soka mbae. You cannot be so sure of it. Kwa wiki moja. Iki ya nekali, ni kama inakufa, inastoka, inastoka, kidogo mwenye ya mechoka, meibandua, meenda, kidogo ya mekuja tene, kibanda likuwa yangu, mefungua. Inita soko, mjinga. In the sense that it is, it is season or it is, no so sure. So kama unaendeshanga hiyo ndo soko yako, please, enda ufungue duka. By this word in Jesus name. Enda ufungue kituo, by this word in Jesus name. Under this anointing of Yeshua ya masia, enda ufungue kituo. Hallelujah. Kuna watu fungua kampuni this year. While others are wanalia kwamba uchumi ni mbaya. Of course, ni mbaya kweli. But katika uchumi, hii mbaya hii, kuna watu ambao munga tawaifadhi. Utawapora watu ambao walishindo kutibu wana. Utawapora. Yani utafanya, utafanya faida kwa jili ya wawo kukata mungu. Someone, hallelujah, for the Lord shall favor you. Praise be to Jesus. So katika hali hizo, mutu, there should be something dani yako. Jipange. Mutu fanya nafasi dani yake kwa jili ya mungu. If you know God shall prosper you, you know God shall make you a great man. You know God shall make you a great woman. Mungu atakufanya mutu mkubwa. Mapema kama sasa, please, anza kutengeza nafasi. Hallelujah. You make room for God. You make room for God. Those of us who are not here last Sunday, I think I was defining for us the four pillars for the quest of spiritual rejuvenation. So, ma kaulimbiu ya mwaka ndiyo yu ni mwaso meeni. So, define your higher dimension. So, we looked at that one, defining the proclamation of the year's theme. So, so wabia kutangaza kaulimbiu ya mwaka ni hili mutu jio vilo taenda. Unaenda na barabara hiyo. So that to sit okay kitu bure. Those who labored throughout last year. Emefika mwisho wa mwaka kama wana vitu vya kuonyesha. Ndiyo shuda wenye. Nipoanza mwaka sikuwa na kitu. Niliamini mungu kunisaidia mwakani. Umbaleo mungu amenifikisha ni na kitu. Tell us ni kitu gani hiyo. Hallelujah. Uliaza mwaka style ingine. Enya huku wa shua ni tatoboa kweli. Na kutafikaje mwisho, atimae mtoto amesoma. Atimae nyumba angalau unaya. Atimae uliponyo magonjwa. Atimae, yani unamamba kuangalia umbali huu buwana, ameni saidia. Someone praise me to Jesus. Kama kanisa, tulipoanza mwaka, tulikuwa na hali ambali kuna tupoza, tungefungiwa maofisi za kanisa, Tungi ahibishwa sana hizo miaka. Today, hata wanyewa mekubali. Nyumba hizo zote idadi yao, the majutu of those houses, they are church units. Hizo zote muna lala ndani. Kitamba tunge kuwa nazo. Moja tui kuwa natusumbo kulipanga rente. Tulikuwa na majina mpaka na ambia na nyisi mkujia muambe. Awa kujijwa na shindwa. Hika nalisa nyata rente unafungiwa kila mwaira mlangu ya ofisi nafungwa. Watani ambia kweli. But you know what? One of the wakubwa really tuwaombe hapa ndani. Mtoto wake hakukufa. Halikuja katoa kofi kwa mlangu. Ambia naenda ni ombe. I pray for their house. Paka nadenga watu wengine ena mekua ambasada. Yoto ambia. Niliona vision. Siju ndiyo noto. Kwa mba hii wanja yetu hii. Mumejenga kanisa kubwa. Na hindi mkubu wa security na mbeonga, enda angaisha hawa watu. Enda angaisha toa hawa. Sasa yika ambeo kikutumo kujo ututua, utatutua. Eh, apostu. Mimi istaki kukufa. Bada ya chinyunga menusha mutajenga kanisa kubwa hivyo. Paka na mbeonga weza yake, hawa watajenga kanisa kubwa. Kwa hindi apostu ni mbeonga tu ni retire vizuri. Kwa mbeonga retire vizuri na kama retire vizuri. Vizuri, hallelujah. So, wana ushuda wakanisa hii. Umbali munga metutowa. Sama muko sawa. 
atunanga deni ya rent atunanga deni ya sitima atunanga deni ya maji na naambia watu wa maji kama iko kitu usifanye usiguze hiyo mita tuambie ni nini mnataka Mungu ametoa aibu kama kanisa we used to go through shame Nilikuwa nikienda nasikia nimeenda mahali nataka nifanye ka huduma simu inakuja. Kuna watu wakinipigia simu najua hii ni emergency. Sema eh, apostle wamefunga wame mlango. Naambia waambie niko karibu na kuja. Wamesema watafungwa mpaka ufike. So nasikia kila mara nasikia kwenda cho. Kila mara unasikia wende cho. Yaani hiyo hiyo ma, yaani majira haya tumemaliza. Kuna umbali tume toka praise be to Jesus. Kwa leo hii Bwana ametusaidia kwamba hizi ofisi zote hainanga deni. Paka mna manyumba za kulala. Haleluya. Walipotunyima manyumba, wenye walipeano manyumba wakatopea. Kaambia ukitufungia hivi tunatokea huko. The doings of God. Kuna mali Mungu anakutoa, alafu anakusimamisha. So when you say them Jehovah is a great God. They say yes because they look at what the great God has done in your life. Wanaona matendo makuu ambazo Mungu amekutenda. Sama may that happen to you in Jesus name. Sama may that happen to you in the name of Jesus. Mujiza ambao kuna wakati wa Islam umetuangaisha sana. Paka nikaambiwa nisiseme publicly because KTN na NTV itachukua itangaze ileta ileta shida Kenya. Nikanyamazia. Lakini Mungu alitulipa ona ukuta hiyo waya una that iliwekewa nani Mungu aliwapea order from above watu wale really limesho kwamba mafunga uwanja hiyo ndio nyango asiaibishwe na watu na trespass kila mara kila mara watu ki trespass ambia hapa hakuna njia ambia kwani niko ambia hapa ni makao ya kanisa naambia basi muweke fence ndio tujue kwamba hapa hakuna njia so samo ilikuwa ni kiburi lakini kiburi mzuri watu nakwambia si weke fence basi So I did I have the money kuweka fence hii ya 10. But Jehovah God akalazimisha watu fulani wekeni na weke ukuta fence vizuri kwa ajili ya kanisa langu. Who else is enjoying this one if not us? Na ilifanyikia nani? Sisi kanisa. Haleluya. May Jehovah receive glory in Jesus name. Na Bwana apokee utukufu wote. Haleluya. So we thank God for the doing that he has done. So someone Mungu akutendee matendo isiyo za kawaida. Haleluya. Yaani maisha kwa Mungu atende matendo unadhihirika katika hali isiyo kawaida unashangaza watu. Paka mwenyewe unasema Mungu hakika unanishangaza. You know God can bless you until mwenyewe unakuwa surprised. Sema he. Cuz God has surprised us before. May the Lord surprise you this year in Jesus name. Surprises. Katika jina la nani? La Yesu Kristo. So Part number one we have shared so we are looking at part number two. Is it will it be part number two or part number three? Because on Friday we also shared the same in terms of prayer. But uh, let me call it part number two today. Uh, theme I mean uh, the series that you are running with is a uh, quest for spiritual rejuvenation. Quest for spiritual rejuvenation. So katika mahubiri za mwaka tumeanza nazo tumeanza na mahubiri haya azma ya kutafuta eh, kufanywa upya kiroho kupata nguvu mpya kiroho kupata nguvu mpya kiroho kupata uvuvuo mpya kiroho haya haleluya shika hiyo those of us who are not given to writing but you are given to kwa record kwa kichwa please record everything but me though uh, though najua mwenye anaandika na shika zaidi so quest for spiritual rejuvenation mwaka huu kama utaenda umbali vile tunasema ukakaa pale juu penye hauteremkange chini basi itakuwa ni kwa ajili gani itakuwa ni kwa ajili mwaka huu kuna vile utateta there are battles we fought last year those battles we won't fight them this year tulishinda so make sure you maintain the victory hallelujah you sustain the victory you sustain the victory vita ambazo ulishapata kwa ushindi sama it is a health sustain your health hallelujah you became victorious over your health mungu alikusaidia ukashinda magonjwa so uponyaji leo upata hallelujah tawala katika afya 
someone hallelujah aya mungu alikupatia ushindi kifedha ukashinda roho za umaskini so hivyo basi tawala make sure that kwamba make sure ile ushindi uliyopata baraka hiyo ulipata inadumu kanayo hallelujah so you know how to make sure hakuna mapepo yanaingia area hii so you maintain and you dominate you are the best worker in your company yani wewe unatokea you are the most reliable don't lose it you keep it na kama utadumisha na kudumisha kutawala that means you reign as a minister you reign as a businessman you reign as a, as a husband and as a wife you are reigning Eh, as a media personality you reign as an usher you reign kanisani this way you reign na pia kule nje kuna vile unatawala then it is because there is some fire in you kuna vitu ambazo ndani yako umeshika hallelujah so kuna mafuta ambayo nitumia mwaka jana tulistaliomba bwana utupatie mafuta mapya so we are taking holy communion for some element of newness napokea meza ya bwana for impartation of newness we be imparted so there's an impartation tunapokea kuna nguvu tunapokea kupitia meza ya bwana nguvu hiyo inafanya ndani yako e, moto mpya so that ndani yako kuna kuna rasilimali kuna utajiri kuna nguvu bali itakusaidia wewe kufanya nini ukaa mwaka yani maezie mwaka katika hali kwamba umetawala juu wewe ni mtu wa majuu mtu wa majuu haleluya you just operate from high above you operate above as a ministry we operate from above we operate above sio ati itakuwa ni ya kufanya nao kiburi but Mungu ametusaidia god has helped us because Kenya iko na makanisa ambazo zinategemea hii hata serikali inatutegemea Manabii wa Kenya wanakaanga kabla tujatoa nabii wanangoja nimalize amesema nini then they align themselves with the prophecies we declare then serikali pia wanaojaga nasema nini mwaka itakuwaje wanajipanga kulingana na unabii look at how the government is what they are doing na ndio kuna mahali najua serikali hainiguzi they don't why we profit them we are profiting the government this serikali hata kama ni waovu kuna vile wanaendanga wameka madaba mbona nasikia onyanga amesema nini kuna kitu atasema tupindue kuna kitu atafanya tujipange nayo and that's why oh my intercessors serikali super intercessors wamewekwa pale kazi ni kungoja atasema nini siku gani Nao kuna wale ambao wofe ya zao wanapigana kulingana na unabii za hapa. Bwana amesema manabii watakufa. Sasa unaweza kuomba ombi ya watu kutokufa. Bwana told the government about mtapata hasara. <laughs> Maana mtaona plague number 7 number 8. Walipokataa, ona hasara yao sahi. Sasa nimewaambia nyinyi mlikataa kuchimba mabwawa, walikataa ile njaa wataona miaka tatu na nusu Kenya watachimba mabwa kama tayari ni late mabwa ambayo itakuwa na maji maana mvua hii niliwaambia itaisha mwezi wa nne sasa unasikia anga meteorological department more than unaponenda kunisikia so huduma hii na kanisa hii kuna vile Mungu ameitumia ameiweka juu pale kuna watu nafaidika nayo either whether by default or by design they are benefiting anyway let it be to the glory of god hallelujah let it be to the glory of god so we are manif- we manif- we manifested uh, the greatness of god in a higher dimensions mungu amechitumia kudhihirisha matendo zake makuu kule juu sana kutu ya sisi. So all that we've done is that we are available and that you make capacity. Mungu kama atakutumia, mtengenezee nafasi. Mungu atakutumia, muundie nafasi. Mungu atakutumia, muundie mahali pa kukaa ndani yako. Someone hallelujah. So you make room for God. 
So wala ambao kifuta mahubiri ya the first part ya quest for manifestation in higher dimensions. We defined uh, proclamation of the year, then navigation, spiritual navigation, then a defying of self, as well as emptying of filth and readiness, uh, readiness for what? For more of God. So hili hale kutua uchafu wa majire ya liyo pita, kuna hali lungangana nazo, kuna machafu libebana nazo, kuna, ma, kuna vitu libebana nazo ambazo likunyima wa kusonga mbele. Eh? Then, uh, nikafundishana uh, pia, ariza kujijenga. Alafu kipia nikafundishana, hali ya kupamanua barabara ya mwaka itena na mna gani. Kisha, eh, kauli mbiu ya mwaka, umimu wake ni gani? Why do we declare themes of the year? But for the nation Kenya ni metangaza vile kutakuwa. Ni kisasi na malipo ya buwana. So, mtu munga kulipia kwa wema na kulipizi kisasi mahali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wanawake mbao ndo wayako muta linyakua. Sini mwaka wa kisasi. Iyo ndo wa watafuraia. Someone takes your husband. Unjue, nasemanga nikizaliwa mwanamuke. Iye sababu atumita menyanganya buwana. Iye, ili story yezi sikika. Maana neza shika tu shati ya mwanaume hivi. Dichuo kama intiri. Ili ya mwame neza washile kupitia shati maale wako. Ay. Hata <laughs> lojinga muta ingia. Na amwezi, amwezi kuka. Asa kuna wanawake ambaho. Wacha kulia sana. Ingia kwa action ya kiroho. Hallelujah. Achili ya makombora ya maumbezi. Una agano na mungu. So ni mwaka wa malipo. Sama nulinyanganyo wa haki yako. Mungu wa kulipizia kisasi ya kupiganie. Hallelujah. Ya, yeah, watu mbo nilinyanganyo wa pesa, shamba, nyumba, ndowa, sujuu mwanaume, sujuu mwanamuke. Ama kuna watu liyawanaume mbo nilinyanganyo wa watoto. Mwanamuke alieta na alikuwacha na mene na watoto na kenda kaoreka na buwana mgini. Claim your children. Hallelujah. Eh, hey. nambi majina hao wane kama watarudi. <laughs> Baba naita, mwajina zaita mwajina fulani na ipatika na kwamba wa, siwa kuitua. But you know what? Ni mwaka wa malipo. Wana swiwe. Na mungu wa kutete katika jina la Yesu. So for us as a church ni metangaza. So ma, mahubiri sehemu ya pila mbao tunaingia. Ni uh, leo tunaingia katika awamu ya pili. Na ni awamu ya impartation for strain by impartation for what? For strength by the Lord's communion table. So meza hii inafaida yake. Meza hii inafaida yake. So siyo tu meza. Inafaida yake. So kuna hali ambazo we are gathering spiritual momentum. Tunakusanya neema vile mwake meaza. Ni kama kisiagi. Kisiagi ya maindi ukiaza. Ni uzuri ya kisiagi. Ok ya steamy na fanyaji. Ok ya hivi na za tushishishi na inesianga straight. Ni kisiagi ya steamy. Wanaika tuyo lafi na za kusiaga maindi straight away. Aya mina juwele ya zamani. Tukwa na siaga maindi na shilingi moja. So shilingi moja. Kura <laughs> siaga nao maindi. Tulisiaga maindi pia na senti nane. Seventy cent. Likuwa ni sumuni. Uh, na peni mbili na liaza kwenda nambuwa na mama yangu ukishika pale unashika ile kitu ya unga hivu nafanya hivi lafu na wajilia pfff so I wondered leo him mwana kwa nafanya hivyo ni kaangalia mama yangu njia po au kwa na akile vile kwa sababu science meniambia whether yo kitu ushiku fanya fanya hivi ni nguo ni gunia unga hiko kwa debe kitu kuna liambia ukena unga hikuji Piga piga hivi pupu pupu pupu. But that one worked. Hapo alikuwa na akili. Lakini ingini ya kufanya. Tingiza hii kitu sana. Aa. Iyo ni gunia ni nguo. <laughs> but hilo watu kwa lesega na tongulo saba. Seventy cents. Then tukaruka. Nikajua ni shilingi moja. One shilling. Likuwa na lesega goro goro. Ika isi hapo. Sana. Ika isi hapo. Kusiaga. Shilingi ngapi? Shiliki moja. Na pia likuwa ni metosha kukurukisha bus. Ushuke mali fulani. Sasa na kumuka nao kusiagi. Sa hile umeendo na pata ya haiko on. Nijaanza kazi. Munapanga laini. 
Mkuu mnapanga lain maana ikiwa kisho lazima hisia yake watu wote kiziwezi akishwa kama kuna watu na ikizimwa too bad. So mmoja naye anayewakishirikwa ni mtu wa diesel. Kisha ya diesel lazima ana jamaa anafanya anafanya hivi, anafanya kupu kupu kupu. Anaizungusha anaizungusha jamaa anazungusha hiyo kitu nasikia moshi nyeusi ndoka kupu pu, kupu pupu 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 pupu. Alafu anayewachilia nasikia pupu pupu pupu. Haleluya. Enzi zao. Na inasiaga kama itazima shauri yako kama hukufika. Maana mwenye kujiakisha pia lazima amekula obuso utamu kuwa ngombe na kuwa na mape kuna mwogo. Kodomena. <laughs> Ndio azungusha hiyo kitu. Haleluya. So unapata ilianza pole pole ikaenda ikaenda then they kashika moto so some of us does the something mwaka ni eh, ni kama umeingia majira mapya eh ni sawa na umeingia maeneo mapya hujui sana so eh, kama kuna zohali ambazo utateta utahitaji neema so unaanza you started you started kuna nguvu unahitaji kuna nguvu unahitaji some of us nguvu ambayo ungetumia mwaka you are drained ama ulikamuliwa nguvu zako kwa ajili ya majira haya ya sherehe sherehe mingi ambazo ni kama kuna nguvu ilikuzima so you got tired we cannot run this race while we are tired na ni vibaya kuanza mwaka na hali ya kuchoka unasikia eh hey, sasa nitaendaje ndio maana unapata watu bado wana wana wanauguza Majiraha za kuchoka sikia eh hey, nimechoka waambie wewe umechoka anakwambia vitu zingine ambazo zina maana sikia tu nimechoka atakwambia ma excuse mingi ikifika ikifika mwezi wa tano hivi ndio watu wengi wanaanza kuwa na reality oh so ni 2024 mm sasa tupange vile kutaenenda mwanamke kama bwana yako bado ana road map ya mwaka mwambie asikize mahubiri asikize nini Otherwise bado utabaki na mnasemanga hangover ya 2023. Na imagine spiritually back na hangover ya 2023 spiritually. So kuna watu kuna kuchoka, tumepigana vita za kiroho, maombi yamefanya mengi, na unasikia unaweza fanya hey, acha nipumzikeko. Na kuambia kuamuka tena rudi kiroho, utapata hey, ni kuzito sana. So unapata katika hali hizo utahitaji tena nguvu ya kupenya nayo eh, anga kiroho haleluya utahitaji nguvu utahitaji uwezo jinsi utapenya ushinde pingamizi ambazo zimo na unafikiri mali unafikiri mapepo wa mwaka 2024 wako kama wakati unajipanga 2024 unafikiri shetani hakujipanga Maro zinajipanga. Madevoshpa sasa wengi wanaanza kwenda baharini sasa. Mwe, miezi za Januari, Februari na mwezi sana sana hizi miezi mpaka March. Hao watumishi wa giza wengi wanaendaka kutafuta power. Na sio wameenda chini ya bahari kuishi huko. Please watoto walienda pale sio ibada huko. Can they get quickly and come back to church? Kwa sababu tunahubiri watu tunakana sasa waanze kujua. Na unapata kuna watu, wazazi ambao watoto wako usiku mtoto hayuko kwa kitanda. Alienda. Na wanaibiwa pitia ndoto. They can be stolen through dreams. Mtoto alienda safari. <laughs> Nafi vika sali nyuna zamuka ukuje uangalie bedroom ndio amerudi kwa mwili tena hivi. Na kuna nyuna mpaka na mwili. They go with the body. Astral projection they disappear with the body. So ni mzuri wazazi watu kwa kidala usiku naenda kuangalia si tuna suspect but just be so sure they were not raptured. Alia <laughs> unaangalia unaona unalala unaweka mkono juu yao unatangaza mema ya Bwana. That's what I do now at Totok in a prince. So wale ambao ni wachawi unafikiria kwamba tuto wako kwa kilala amelala hivyo please jua kwamba naendanga sometimes round usiku naangalia vile unalala. Occasionally I do what? I lay hands on them. Cause I know of stories ambazo wazo nasema wako jua watoto wao ni ma devil's agent. Malibio siku gani 
Dota na kupiga sori ngini na kuambia na ukuna tokea wape. Sawa ngini kuna toka nga tu. Ni inji ya nyumba nimesha toka, nimejipata kwa stage. Ifika saa kumina moja, ah, nimerudi. <laughs> Ambi na ukua na kafuli na ufungo, ambia, nilijipata tumesha rudi kwa kitanda nimeingia. Those are things I've cancelled. Mamba mbazo nime cancel mashule, walimu, wazazi. And I should teach you. Someone, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So napata kwamba kuna vile anga imekuwa mzito. Ulipiga na vita so unaitaji nguvu. You need impartation. That informs why we are going to partake holy communion. Kuna watu ngetaka kuomba sana. Untaka upigane sana. Untaka utengeneze barabara. Untaka ujue vile mambo itaenenda. Unaitaji nguvu ya kufuatilia kujua. You need strength. So we partake holy communion. Impartation for strength. Kuna vizuizi ndogo ndogo ambazo mwekewa. Small jams. Kuna watu mwabia. Mwabia 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 zimepanga na panga na kwa barabara zako. Wakua anga pia. Wameka kwa anga yako. Sama hii anga siti na kanga huku. Unangeji because we are going higher. Tunapanda juu. The higher you go with God. The hotter it becomes. Umbali unaenda juu na mungu. Kwambia vita ni vikali huku juu. So lazima wewe vile vile. If you shall face hard things and hard stuff. God will make you hard. Hallelujah. Mungu akufanye uwe na ugumu. Akufanye uwe na. Yani. If God will have you face Goliath. There is something God will have to do with you. Kama utampiga Goliath o. Mungu akaruhusu basi kuna vitu mungu atafanya na wewe. Daudi alipatiwa silaha na nani na Sauli. Kabla apatiwe silaha ambazo akutumia, Daudi alikuwa ameshauana na dubu, ameua simba. Eh? Amemenyana nao mwili kwa mwili nyama kwa nyama. Umbali amefika kupiga kumpiga na kuua Goliath. Alikuwa ashapimana nguvu na vitu vingine vile. So you also, you will have to make room. Utatengeza na fasi ndani yako kwa hajili ya vitu vile mbaza mga kafanya na wewe. And that informs why tareshina moja januari kama kanisa tunaza nini? Tunaza mfungo. We'll be making room. Making room for God. Building capacity to be used of God in those very higher dimensions. Hallelujah. Mimi kama pasi najua watu ambao mwaka mamaliza vizuri na kuna nye mwaka mamaliza vibaya. I know. While some people are praying wa kiaminia buwana, kuna watu ambao they are not serious with salvation. Walunga nasema tembeni kwa utakatifu, badlisheni mavazi, kuna watu likuwa na agi, sasa, nikivaa black na red kwa shida gani. He's quite interested in my being white or black or being red or green. Is he not interested in my heart? When you argued, you argued. Size uko wapi? Walio ti, kuna watu mba utifu wao. Ilo fanshia na fasi ya mungu kukanda ni yao. Na buwana kawatumia kupenya. Na kufika umbali. Mba wamefika. Hallelujah. Obedience. So this year, that element of praying and fasting in you, that aspect of you praying and fasting, you'll be creating room in you for God. Kuna hekima atakupea. Kuna neema atakupea. Kuna marifa atakupea. Kuna uwezo atakupatia. Hallelujah. Some of us kuna vile utapewa kupambaru na kuona. Utajua kupanga, utajua jinsi ya kufanya mambo. You know how to organize yourself. And that will be because I will be making room for that one because of fasting. Mapema kama sasa, meheza ya bwantu na ishiriki, ili kwamba, tukiaza kuwa na nguvu ya kuweza kuwa muka, tuajitoa. And that's why if you miss kesha ulikosa sana. Yoma mwambi za kujitoa katika aliflan. Kujikuwa mua kuto kwa aliflan. You remove yourself from certain situations. You remove yourself from certain oppressions. Na hiyo oppression umesha jitoa katika hali hizo. You want to maintain ila hali ya kwamba unaheza omba. Na unaheza funga. 
na unaweza soma Biblia unaweza unasikia mwili wake kawezana itaweza hiyo hali ili kawezekana ni kwa ajili ya meza ya Bwana so that you sustain you maintain you sustain uh, you sustain your ability to pray to read the bible to come to church to do ministry and like you are no longer tired as you were hallelujah holy communion so wale ambao unasikia kitu apostle anasema higher dimension okay you may be saying yes uh, it is the way here the year of um, uh, the year for me to do what to dominate with with manifestation in higher dimensions lakini unashinda na how vile sasa sina nguvu so me know how to recite and unajua jinsi ya kuiongea lakini nitatokea namna gani because ukiangalia unasikia hata maombi siwezi hata one hour maombi siwezi right now not many christians can pray for one hour kwa ajili anga imekuwa mzito so kuna nguvu utahitaji ili wangushe ile kizuizi you bring down that barrier or you pass you pierce through that covering of darkness and heaviness hallelujah you get that strength by that impartation by holy communion kuna watu ambao wakatoa hapa hapa Mungu yuko once they enter their houses Mungu ayuko because wanaingia wanaingia into an atmosphere of real oppression maombi mm biblia hii ah hata kusikiza mahubiri labda wasikize mahubiri but that is all why kuna vita isionekana na macho there is a what there is a war there is a battle an unseen battle either your mind is being stolen na kile zako zaibiwa pako na sahau mambo unaibiwa tamaa yewe kuomba okay unaweza tamani kuomba but unapata kwamba hauna opportunity you are not yet very zealous to grab an opportunity to pray you say well kipeleka nafasi nitakuwa those things don't just work haifanyike tu there is a force kuna nguvu ambayo inakupinga kuna nguvu inakupinga usema nitaamka saa saba niombe ya usiku nitaamka <laughs> six asubuhi sema ai ni six nata siku amka saa saba there but love we give sema i'll try tomorrow so kuna kitu ndani yake inakuzima tomorrow comes sema ah next time then sema ah kumba iwezekani maybe i'll try another way naambia wewe kujipata kwamba una unadhihirika na kutawala eh na matendo makuna za juu itakuwa ni kauli mbiu tu ndoto tu but watela ambao unasikia yes nitaka kuomba lakini hiyo kitu ninazuilia nataka nikabiliane nayo holy co union bwana asifiwe let's look at the bible we shall look at various verses na nitaanza uh, uh, tusoma those five verses Titus chapter number 1 I mean chapter number 3 verse number 5 Tito sura yake ni 3 mstari wa 5 Tito by and your Titus Chapter number 3 of Titus verse number 1 let me read though emphasis verse number 5 but verse number 1 says but speak thou thou the things which become sound doctrine but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine is so, willing ilisema wakumbusho wakumbusho watu kunyenyekea kwa wenye uwezo no that was chapter that was chapter verse number 1 in chapter 2 but chapter verse number 1 in chapter 3 yesema put in mind put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers to obey magistrates to be ready to every good work first 
to speak evil of no man which I've already done usi onge vibaya mtu yote to be no brawlers msi watu kupenda magombano na kupigana na matukano but gentle showing all meekness unto all men to a watu wa polet eh tukionyesha uh, uh, na kuwa tayari kwa kila uh, kazi njema the Bible says for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish disobedient deceived serving diverse lusts and pleasures living in malice and uh, envy we were hateful and uh, and uh, hating one another but after that the kindness and love of god our savior towards man appeared not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost which is shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior that being justified by his grace we should be made uh, heirs according to the hope of eternal life someone hallelujah now verse number 5 look at the portion that says uh, but according to his mercy he saved us comma by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost renewing of the holy ghost your hali ya kufanywa upya kama utashinda matendo za dhambi ambazo zimenakiliwa pale chuki sirudi eh zile hali ambazo umejitoa ndani sirudi then eh, kuna kule kuoshwa kufanywa upya eh kisuli asemaje asema mtari wa tatu maana hapo zamani sisi nasi tulikuwa hatuna hakili tulikuwa waasi tumedanganywa huku tukitumikia tamaa na anasa za namna nyingi tukiishi katika uovu na usuda tukichukiza na uh, kuchukiana lakini wema wake mwokozi wetu Mungu Mungu wa upendo uh, Mungu na upendo wake kwa wanadamu alipo ulipo tufunuliwa uh, ulituokoa si kwa sababu ya matendo ya haki tuliyoyatenda sisi bali kwa rehema zake ama rehema yake kwa kuoshwa kwa kuzaliwa kwa pili na kufanywa upya na roho mtakatifu kuoshwa na kufanywa upya roho mtakatifu so tazama hapo tena upya na roho mtakatifu sasa hapa kuna watu wenye vipawa watu wenye karama watu wenye huduma watu wangependa kuomba watu ambao wanajipanga jinsi ukapenya mwaka lakini kwa sasa unasikia hey dikusito siwezi na mchungaji mzuri kama na roho anaweza soma washirika wake aone eh na anaweza soma atmosphere na anga vile kuko watu wanafinyiliwa so ili ushinde hiyo hali ya kufinyiliwa ukajitoa hiyo hali imekushinda kuna vile utaishinda haleluya so there is an impartation that we receive by the holy communion kuna nguvu ambayo tunaupokea eh mfanyiko wa wa wa, wa impartation yani roho nguvu hiyo inakuja rohoni ni kama kufanywa upya tena roho yako kufanya upya tena nguvu zako za kiroho unafanywa upya tena nguvu zako mafuta yako ya kiroho unafanywa upya tena ndio hii so we call it rejuvenation but bible i mean bible gives us here the also mark the word bible calls it regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost so the washing of regeneration so that word the word um, rejuvenation up there actually the bible call, like uh, bible calls that one as rejuvenation renewing revival 
Then a part has some element of health. It's a booster. You are being boosted. You are being boosted spiritually. So when I talk here, hey, na nika ma kujamb start battery. Kusha jamb start. What is charge? Hallelujah. That's the topic of motor. Mujia kama jayi kwa nasi mbae na kufa, beti, na sike, melala, zuhi, vitu gane. You may not understand jam starting. Ya gari mpia beti na zakata kubaba moto. So unatoa beti yako, unashikarisha na beti ya mungine, na unajua kukonect mawaya mpaka beti yake na sana pum. Moto na ingenye na ishtua, na inashtuka. Sama sasa ishtuki tena moto ingia, ingia. Hallelujah. So this is a holy communion for some people. Uh, it is like jump starting. Then neema ya mungu sayi na kanda ni ya kusoto na ingia tu kuomba. Suto kwa naomba tu. Aso naomba tu na sanya neema. Unaweza soma tu bibilia. Na kusoma maandiko. Uh, Unaweza sasa kwele tu na mambo zako za kiroho. That shall happen to you in Jesus name. Someone that happens to you in Jesus name. So mayona hapo kwa bibi. Yeah. So that you are, you are like rejuvenated. To run the race. You are rejuvenated for spiritual works. You are rejuvenated again for ministry. Sasa wimi kana kwa mba melala. Jokwa ni nyona imba bada lakini. Bada mota washiki. Yani kuna mota bada washiki. Vitu bada jaingia laini. Wanasikia aa. Nasikia mitambo laini bada vitu jashika. Nasikia bada kuna vitu jaingia laini. So because we don't understand it so much and we don't know what is the solution. We shall partake of the Holy Call communion, the Lord's table. When we partake of that communion, we get to know the mind of God. We also tap into the power that is in God. Tunashiriki yon guvi ya buwana. Ita tusaidia ha, vile tutaenenda. Ekima ya mungu, vile kutakua. Wasia wa mungu, vile tukavi enenda. Someone hallelujah. Someone hallelujah. You don't just take all the communion for the sake. And that's why in a penda Paolo man and tamba mabuhayo. Safari kamu utatembe ya muakane. There are things you must do first. Kuna mambo utayarisha mapema kwanza. Amani na watu. Peace with the people. Hallelujah. When you wanandoa, katika andoa kuna haman. But you know what? So that you fikiria hivyo. Kuna kitu na ipata kwa meze ya buwana. It will make you like, hey, naeza fanya amani na mutu. So the impartation for that when you receive it by, in God, you receive it from God, via holy communion, someone, hallelujah. So amani, that informs us why Psalms 133 is important for us. Zabori miya moja tatina tatu. Umimuake ni gani? Umimuake ni kwamba. Inatoisha hali ambayo unafaa uwe nao. Wanando ambayo wanakubaliana. Familia ambao waka wamoja. Kanisa ambao watu waka wamoja. Huduma ambao watinda kazi tumo kitu kimoja. Watu ambao katika madhabo haya. Tune waimbaje wanashikana. Media wanashikana. Intercessors wanaungana. Wapastors wanapatana kwa umoja. Kanisa inakua na hali ya umoja. We come together. Hallelujah. Holy communion. That vile wewe ungeoma maombezi ambazo ujaga wanyika. Akili yako inasema maombi ni laini hii. Lakini mdomo wako inasema laini ngine. Lakini mwe wako ni bali na buwana. Miga wanyiko. So you be united. That is edifying of self to live biri awamu ya kwanza. So kanisa pia inaitaji hali hiyo. So kanisa tunatumia meza ya buwana. Ikatefunganisha katika hali hiyo. Mana katika hali hiyo tunavutia uzima wa buwana. Afia ya mungu kwa family, kwa kanisa. So, wakisha vujivuta na kanisa mvutane kitu kimoja, ita kwa raisi, vita vya kiroho, vita pia vya asilia, ba ita changia wewe, kufanikisha makusudi ka ulimbiu ya mwaka. Ba ni kutokea, dhirisho, katika, dhirisho ya weku unatawala pale, dhirisho ya mwena ya changia weku utawala pale juu. Hallelujah. So you cannot attain it if right now about your week. Kuna watu mbao kakwa ibada kame unalala na zami. Last year uko unalala kama sayi. Kili kuna vilu unasikia. Ay, muli pia na kuambi uneza lala. Unyanga ubili one hour. Hii mambi ya kubili five hours. So you have to break that limit. Hallelujah. 
hiyo halikutokea so kama kanisa you need to end when we have battles you have your battles there we may not really fight the big battle na shetani ni mjanja and that's why I'll be teaching intercessors with flani one way ya shetani kukumaliza mtumishi um, doraka zako ndani ama mena na one way ya kujichunga nyinyi manabi ma intercessors shetani atakukausha wakati anakupatia vita vingi vya kupigana kuna vita zingine ambazo atupigani just you know there are battles i don't fight naangalia aje pa shetani umekoma ni tega i just you know maana kuna there are some battles that are, are actually uh, intended to just uh, fool you you wear your energies fighting rabbits diki diki eh uh, you're fighting what dog i mean not what this small small tools eh uh, unapiga na vitu dogo dogo you're fighting mouse and rats but elephant is waiting sasa machoka kukanyaga kwako ni rahisi sana elephant na kukanyaga tu na mgu moja maana by the time unapiga na g2 mwenye ndaka na kupige nguvu yako imeisha now that is one of the ways uh my intercessors wana kaushwa manabii mna kaushwa mna kaushwa namna gani mna kaushwa katika hali ambazo mnaingizwa kupigana vita ambazo ni bure there are battles that have trophies battles that have rewards battles that are, are a profit battles that are significant but there are battles that are useless they leave you the loss tired drained and disillusioned wounded but no trophy which one do you want mimi nataka napiga na vita ambazo hatimaye kuna kitu nimebeba nimebeba nyara battles that are once i'm done i carry spoils and be forts show us what you have and be this what i got sikupiga na bure ulienda mawindo i have gone hunting before uh, you should see uh, the hunters in south africa there are nations ambazo i don't know how they close the hunting but um, when you go hunting you come back without a game you come back without a prey you come back without a, a catch you feel so discouraged miaka ambazo ujanani tulienda kuwinda umbo lile na wao umbo pia wamechoka na wanafanya umbo pia wamechoka sio na shida ndio atakula ama umbo atakula pako na rumia umbo anyonele na wao maana <laughs> but there is nothing as bad as walking na umbo ambaye pia amechoka maana anaweza geuka akukule wewe so i remember those years will go hunting alafu tumekuja tujapata kitu so wara wote walikimbia so ngura watu walichenga hata dikidiki hatujapata So mnarudi paka umba pia nakurumia. Umba ina zile za Amekibia hajapata kitu so hata umba pia. There's nothing as having a dog ambaye pia sasa anasikia njaa mpaka pako na murimu nasikia utabeba umbwa. I mean nobody has gone hunting mna vitu kama hiyo. Mimi ndo I used to go hunting with the dogs sawa ujana wetu kwa nasanya umba tunaenda unakuja masaa 8 saa tisa hapo watu chakula chakula imeisha kwanza saa tisa. <laughs> hakuna chakula libaki area so mnasikia tu manokato ya mapishi na muna kitu mmeparara mmechoka muna njaa muna kiu mbwa pia ndio huyo hamna mawindo so ni kama adui aliambia oleo mbwa wote i mean fanyeni mbwa wakimbie lakini washike zero Shetani ufanya mchezo sawia if you are a prophetess or a prophet jua hii if you are an intercessor jua hii you are a pastor jua hii ujanja mmoja wa shetani katika nyanja za juu sana they can ordain for you battles unaweza pangiwa vita ya, kupi, ya kupigana Yet hiyo vita si vita nyenye Mungu alikupangia shetani akupangia vita 
ndogo ndogo za kupigana ni kama ile wale ambao mliona sinema zamani before to okoke tumjue Yesu vizuri tulipenda sinema kuangalia sinema za jinsi wa America wanapigananga na wa Vietnam so Vietnamese ama hao watu wa Asia njia moja ukawa na maweza watu wa Amerika wanawapatia vitamini mnapigana wanalipua kila mahali sasa zile mmechoka ndio ile squad ya watu jo kupigana unatokea sasa hizo marisasi ya muna nguvu zenu imeisha Satan uses the same anakupatia mapepo mapepo wadogo wadogo ambao ni upuzi wanapeana wingi pigen ni until you are you are, you are worn out umechoka basi sasa huyu amekusha sasa huyu kupiga ni rais asapelekee jitu. It is very bad when you get yourself into fighting battles that aren't ordained of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni makosa na ni vibaya kupigana vita ambazo sio Mungu alikupangia. Na shetani anaweza kuletea vita ambazo malengo yao ni ukakauka. So mwaka hii chunga hiyo sana. So meza ya Bwana inatufasisi kuwa na hekima ya sisi kupambanua. Usichoke mapema Januari hivi. Fikia mwezi wa 4 wa 3 umechoka hauna kitu. Then wakati utahitaji usimame kupigana vita sasa sawa sawa kule mbele. Uweze simama maana ulichomeka. You burnt out. Remember that one. So kuna hekima tunapokea kwa Bwana. So tunakusanya neema swali so, kama mwaka huo. Tunakusanya nguvu na neema in readiness kupigana vita wakati fao. Haleluya. Haleluya. So sisi kama kanisa we need to be united as one. So that tujue kwamba wewe unapigana vita gani? Lest wewe unapigana vita yenye si atupigane. So Psalms 133 Zaburi 133 inatuzunguzia hali ya kukusanywa na kufanywa watu wa moja wanaoishi katika umoja wanaohudumu katika umoja walio na malengo yaliyo moja wana asifiwe yasemaje zaburi hiyo tunafananishwa na mafuta ushukao eh toka wapi haya tunafananishwa zaburi 133 tazama jinsi ilivyo vema na kupendeza ndugu wakae pamoja kwa umoja sasa hiyo ni kanisa sasa hiyo ni ndoa so as a church now ni kama mafuta mazuri kichwani Yashukavyo ndevuni ndevu za Haruni. Mandiko yasemaje? Yashukayo mpaka upinde wa mavazi yake kama umande wa hamoni. Ushukao mlimani pazayuni. Maana uh, ndiko Bwana aliko amuru baraka. Naam, uzima hata melele. So tunajifunza pa, pale kwenye maandiko haya kuna uzima kuna baraka kuna uhai ambao hai Mungu hata shukisha kwa madhabahu makanisani pasipo mwanzo watu kushikamana kuwa kitu kimoja So there are battles we fight as a church but then there are battles you can fight as an individual But you need to know your individual battles could it be wewe unapigishwa vita vya kando kando ili kanisani huko sio faida ili kanisani when you want intercessor uko na yeye haupatikani Satan can isolate you akutoe katika mrengo wa kanisa akuweke kando so that you like wewe unapiga na vita vyako line yako unapiga na vita line yako katika alizo Shetani na kutoa katika mrengo wa kanisa itakuwa rahisi wewe kukauka huko. That's why ni vema kanisani. Tunaongamana tu kwa kitu kimoja kwanza. Haleluya. Kwa sababu kuna vita tunapiga kama watu wa kanisa. Kuna vita tunapigana kama watu wa madhabahu. 
mchungaji mzuri ni mchungaji ambaye anaunganisha kanisa washirika wanafanyika kitu kimoja that way kuna vita ambazo tutapigana kama kanisa na tunashinda na nguvu hiyo ulionayo kama kanisa itakuwa rahisi kwa kupigana vita vyako vya familia na ushinde haleluya so unapata kwamba kanisa hii kuna kuna hali kama hizo mnaweza kaushwa so we, we unite tunajifunganisha wote kwa meza ya Bwana inatupasie fursa ya kufungamana tuwe watu wa moja so we become one unit ndazo wanunanga meza ya Bwana tunakutananga so this time we don't have convocations for men as you know they have for others to come but uh, that not to the standing we have had this communion because it's full kesho and because of aspia jinsi ya kuinuka kwa madhabahu na kuanza kukimbia mbio kama mwili mmoja why tumekuwa na migawanyiko kwa wengine tumekuwa na makasiriko kwa watu wengine kuna watu wa bwana amewakasirikia kuna watu wamekasirikia manabii kuna watu wamekasirikia Mungu kuna watu wameangalia mapigo f- i mean makasiriko ya Mungu wameangalia as an individual muone kwamba eh ni mtu si Mungu kuna watu ambazo kuna ma, kuna hali ambazo ni wagawanya gawanya so we are becoming one tunajifunganisha roho zetu eh, katika hali ya umoja kupitia meza ya Bwana katika hali hizo itakuwa rahisi ametawezesha ama tutakubalika Mungu kuamrisha juu yetu baraka God commanding blessing upon us is it not there so there God commands a blessing so tukishaungamana kama kanisa then kuna vile tunatimiza hatima kwa umoja kama kanisa someone praise god kama ka we shall not be able to kufunga makanisa mengine kama tumegawanyika gawanyika so we prove our love for one another whether you be kikuyu whether you be luo whether you be kalenjin whether you be luya you be kamba whether you be turkana wherever you are whether masai whether samburu tunafunganishwa kwa umoja kupitia meza ya nani meza ya Bwana wakati eh, mnacheza mechi kama ya taifa sunanga ni makabila zote wanacheza kama uh, timu ya taifa so sasa una eh kabila ya muta ejali wana mevaa vazi la nini yeye ni wa taifa letu also the same applies in church collectively so lazima tuponye kwanza so the cracks in our midst hizo cracks tunaziba tunaziba hizo migawanyiko tunaziba hizo migawanyiko kila mtajua kwamba Mungu anampenda holy communion hills inavutia uponyaji wa Bwana haleluya inavutia mtu kuponywa watu ambao una garage una machungu umeweka meza ya Bwana inakusaidia kutoshika garage na watu so katika leo tunakuwa kitu kimoja mfanyiko wa kitu kimoja itachangia eh utumishi ambao Mungu ametaka na sisi wa huduma na wenye vipawa wa Efeso 4 msara wa 16 Ephesians 4 verse number 6 It is a perfect picture ya kanisa a perfect picture ya huduma a perfect picture that perfect picture is actually the picture of manifestations in higher dimensions so it enables you to stay reigning unajipata unatawala wa Efeso 6 wa Efeso 4 msari wa 6 16 sorry so nataka mshika hii ndio meza ya Bwana sasa unaishiriki na ufahamu na na unaishiki na maarifa una ufunuo ambao umeshikishwa The relation that you have about holy communion is what qualifies uh, you qualifies you are benefiting from the richness of that communion table wa efeso sura ni 4 mstari wake ni 16 ama tuanze 13 tukisoma mstari wa 10 na ngapi hapo msari wa ukisema msari wa 
naye alitoa wengine kuwa mitume na wengine kuwa manabii na wengine kuwa waangilisti na wengine kuwa wachungaji hata na waalimu kwa kusudi la kuwakamilisha watakatifu that's one kuwakamilisha watakatifu so naifanya saa hii niko na wakamilisha pili uh, hata kazi ya huduma ikatendeka so huduma itendeke so tuna wahuduma ambao muna huduma tatu hata mwili wa Kristo ijengwe ndio inawajenga na neno hata na sisi sote tutakapofikia umoja wa imani na kumfahamu sana mwana wa Mungu takana tutaka tufike hapo hata na sisi sote tukaofikia umoja wa imani na kumfahamu sana mwana wake Mungu that means growth in revelation maturity as a christian kukoma hata tukawa hata kuwa mtu mkamilifu hata kufika kwenye cheo cha kimo cha utimilifu wa Kristo ili tusiwe tena watoto wachanga tukitupa huku na huku na kuchukuliwa na kila upepo wa elimu kwa hila ya watu kwa ujanja tukifuata tukizifuata njia za udanganyifu lakini tushike kweli katika upendo na kukua hata tumfikie yeye katika yote yeye aliye kichwa yani Kristo katika yeye tazama sasa tazama sasa katika yeye mwili wote ukiungamanishwa na kushikanishwa kwa msaada wa kila kiungo kwa kadiri ya utenda, utendaji wa kila sehemu moja moja ukuza mwili upate kujijenga wenyewe katika upendo so kuungamanishwa ni ile hali kwamba vitengo vyote mafuta zote huduma zote neema zote zinafanyishiwa kutumika kwa faida ya huduma kwa faida ya mwili wa Kristo Yesu katika hali hizo hatima utatimiza haleluya so kuna mchango wa kila sehemu manabi mchango wao intercessors mchango wao waangilisti mchango wao eh walimu wa sanskrit mchango wao wazee wa kanisa mchango wao mama kanisa mchango wake baba wa makababa kanisa mchango wake haleluya michango so pastor mzuri kanisani Lazima akafanyisha kuunganisha watu na vipawa zote zikaweza fanya kazi sawa sawa vipawa zote. Kwa mfano tuna vipawa kwa media, tuna vipawa kwa worship team, tuna vipawa kwa sanctuary keeping, tuna vipawa na karama zote. So njia moja wapo ya kuwashikanisha na kuwaunganisha ni kupitia meza ya Bwana. Haleluya. Mapema kama sasa. There are things you must do alias now. Mafarakano ndani yako unayazima na me, unayazima na meza ya Bwana inakuja kuwaweka pamoja. So meza ya Kristo ni uhai wake Kristo. Neema iliyomo pale ni uhai wake Kristo Yesu. Neema hiyo ndio inafanya kukuingia. Haleluya. So kuna mambo lazima. Alafu kuna mambo naunganika nazo. So uzima tunauhitaji imo ndani ya Kristo. Hekima tunauhitaji imo ndani ya Kristo. So meza yake ni uzima wake neema yake. So we receive that impartation. So hizo hali zote kuna nguvu tunapata you get some strength spiritual strength. Ili tukaweza kupiga naye hatua. So kuna mali ndakana tuingie. Na fast things fast. You need to be strong in prayer. You need to be strong in the Bible reading. You need some strength eh eh ya wewe kuweza eh kutumika na Bwana. Utatabiria watu, hautaombea watu, hautaobiria watu, watu wajitoa kihuduma 
kama wewe ndani yako bado umezima Someone hallelujah hallelujah momentum means you guy momentum means eh? that you are moving going you are going so momentum means something eh? Uh, something that is dynamic unakusanya so we want that uh, special uh, we want to gather spiritual momentum by being strong someone hallelujah now maandiko yasema male yasema kwamba msari wa 16 tuna picha kama ya gari ya moshi ni picha kama ya some of us mwana gari ya moshi watu ambao mjaona enda uangalie SGR Tapata gari ya moshi iko na machuma mingi sana miguu yake before zile miguu zikimbie eh wewe ulikuja na SGR pastor Mwalukware sasa so, eh, please enda uangalie zile miguu uone naendanga nikaangalia gari ya moshi nikaangalia hivi niko na gari ya moshi na machuma mingi kwa miguu eh nikaenda mpaka nyuma ya gari nikapata kuna zingine ni pipe ya hewa kama ile vile na connect bog nyingine nikaangalia but then niliangalia kuangalia gari ya rais gari ya moshi naangalia mpaka vitu vingine havielewi basi kagundua chuma moja ikikatika basi gari la Moshi haitaenda gari la Moshi chuma moja zikikatika pale unaziangalia ni mingi kwa miguu ikikatika moja kazi ya kuna gari haitaenda so wende kawa hizo ch- chuma zile ni wende kawa ni wewe we ni moja wao so we can't afford to lay you aside we can't afford to yeye anasema kwamba wewe sio maana so lazima ukawa kiunganishi unaunganisha pale so message ya bwana tuunganisha sote ndio hatimaye kama kanisa tukafikia upeo mali tunafikia sababu ana haleluya then ukiunganishwa okay, pia kuna nguvu unatoa hapa kanisani inakusaidia kupigana vita vyako kwa familia ukipigana familia vita vya ndoa unatoa neema wapi atamana ndo pigana vita na rock teko igolokure so kanisani huku ile nguvu napokea neema ambao that's why kuna watu they are so committed in church look at their lives kule nje wanatoa neema ya Mungu hapa there is an overflow that anointing works for you in business in career kanisani wewe ni kiunganishi That's why we give ourselves to serving God because when we serve God we tap into anointing and grace and to the abundance of favor that eventually also works for us in our families. Hallelujah. Yeah, mimi vitu zingine ni rais kwangu kwa familia. There are things that are so easy for me in family. There are no battles that I can't win in this world. Sasa nikaenda nikifika tu my and offline Uh, my word is like law mambe umesikia vile amesema na the house wa shirika wa hapa so naangalia sasa yeye Mungu mbali umenitoa kuna watu ambao majina yao hatuwezi kutaja kwa mtandao but when i tell them something wanangoja kama wataki naona matokeo why because kuna mafuta nimetoa hapa imenifanya nasimama mpaka kwa in the society kwa village nikiingia maeneo fulani Hapo unajua mwenye unaongea naye, do you know who mwenye unaongelesha? Unasikia vile ameongea, watu wanatetemeka lakini hawakujui. I just know eh, kuna watu mapepo nawaambia wewe. Usicheze na huyu utaletea shida. Yaani mapepo peke yao mashetani wanashuhudia. <laughs> Maana huko hakuna msiki wa revelation of wisdom ministries. Na ubenda pale sijaenda pale na kola na mavazi ya madhabahu. But I've looked at how things happen in my life. I give credit to God neema natoa hapa haleluya so someone's your success someone your manifestation is born out of what you draw on an altar bwana asifiwe ndipasa tuko hapa so unajiunganisha na madhabao that's why it is important kwamba mtu ambaye hauna huduma kanisani uliza Mungu Mungu naweza tumika wapi you connect yourself Vitama mama si kwa mhuduma nilipata mimi ni mhudumu wa kifedha i became a minister of finance 
on finance ministries kitambo hizo so pesa unapewa kwa ajili ya miradi kanisani kifagia kuna kanisani bait tole pepa za kuna kanisani nunua beti za microphone hakuna si ununue mantos ni kidogo si ununue alafu let ziwe dedicated eh mat za mlango matope watu kupanguzia miguu hakuna bait bulbs za stima zimekauka mataa za min taa za uh, mataa za umeme kanisani zina zimechomeka si ununue those are things i used to do ilin sada kuchanga ku tap into the anointing in an altar or i was in church so then i said you must pale nje because you must find yourself pipe yako ya kutoa neema kanisani gani hallelujah someone so Psalms 193 qualifies us into their performance and benefiting according to Ephesians chapter number 4 verse number 16 So Ephesians nne msara 16 tunafaidika nayo mfanyiko wake umetokana na Zaburi 133 So katika hali hizo eh unachangia huduma kusonga mbele wewe pia unasonga mbele When the ministry moves forward it moves forward with the people plus what they have so imagine huduma hii inabebwa ikibebwa na ndege tumebebwa na ndege ya Mungu tumlipe kwa juu familia yako na ndoa yako si ni part of you unainuka wote when the ministry is lifted then those who are actually partakers in that ministry are also lifted plus their families plus their businesses plus their all that they have got unabebwa nayo yote Hallelujah someone. Unashika hiyo Bwana asifiwe. There is no way God will be lifting a ministry lakini wewe unabaki katika hali yenyewe hujainuliwa unless it is your choice. Unless uamue mimi sasa kuinuliwa lakini kanisa inuliwe tu. That's how you have people who huduma huduma inenuliwa. Hao wainuliwa so wanabaki kuilinga mawe. Wanalinga mawe maana wako chini ukiona mtu analinga huduma maya na ilinga that means inapiga mawe because imeenda juu mwenye anapiga mawe yako chini walikataa kuinuliwa pamoja na huduma so changia huduma wema wake fanyika mfanyiko wa huduma kusinuliwa na bwana wewe pia uinuliwe pamoja na neema sawia someone hallelujah hallelujah so kama utachangia madhaba ukosonga kila mtu ashike sehemu yake there is need for you to gather momentum so katika harakati ya kupata momentum ukijua utakimbia ndio za masafa marefu because that happened to one of the races i ran hmm? think the first time tulikimbia mbio za 10 kilometers nilisikia eh hey, unapumua unasikia ni kama damu inatoka kwa kifua that was the first time <laughs> baadaye nikasema ah tunaweza kimbia so 10 kilometers then unijipata more eh una kwanza unazanga na unafanyishwa warm up unafanyisha nini mazoezi sasa hiyo mazoezi ni kwamba unafanya mazoezi before then umefanya ma practice kidogo you gather momentum unakusanya neema unafanya kukusanya maana unajua huko kule mbele utahitaji nguvu nyingi sana kule mbele tahitaji nguvu eh, mingi kukimbia nimalize so mapema unakusanya neema unakusanya nguvu haleluya ndio hii tunafanya akili zako tunalainisha laini moja moyo wako tunalainisha laini moja mawazo yako yakaenda laini moja you collect yourself then you narrow yourself into a common thing bona asiwe that is kana kama kanisa imani sana nipeleke niambie malikuwa anaenda ubiri mali fulani alafu kinda kubira ubiri vitu zake And so we like a man in the first place labda wende kawa atukushikamana hapa kanisani. But sasa hivi tunashikamana. Mwambie, eh, hey, walikuwa anaenda kuhubiri huko. Anaenda na neema ya hapa hapa. Maana alikubaliana nayo. Someone hallelujah. May that be you as well in Jesus name. Iwe ni wewe katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Now. Moja wapo ya hali ambazo nakusanya neema ni agano. You must put your covenant back into place as i finish that one ni covenant second um, chronicles 15 njoo hiyo kwa hapo 
Verse number 12. Haya tuangalia hapo. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Na kila mtu ajihoji katika hali hizo. You can't afford to carry some weight that are unnecessary. Even as we run this race. So tumejua kwamba tuna kazi mbele zetu. Tuna mambo ambazo mbele zetu zimo. So lazima tushinde tujipange mapema. Maandiko yasema hivi msari ya msari wa 12. Mambo nyakati ni wa pili sura 15. Uh, all of us know kwamba imetokana hali gani. Msari wa 12 nasema Uh, wakafanya wakafanya agano ya kumtafuta Bwana Mungu wa baba zao kwa mioyo yao yote kwa roho zao zote na ya kwamba yeyote atae mtafuta Bwana Mungu wa Israeli atauawa akiwa mdogo au mkubwa kwamba ni mwanamume au ni mwanamke wakamwapia Bwana kwa sauti kuu na kwa kelele na kwa mapanda na kwa baragumu na yuda wote wakakifurahia waka kila kiapo kwani wameapa uh, kwa moyo wao wote na kumtafuta kwa mapenzi yao pia haleluya can someone take care of those rascals Naye amenionekana amenionekana. Naye ameonekana kwao. Naye Bwana akawastaheresha pande zote. Naye Bwana akawastaheresha pande. Kustaheresha means kuingizwa kwa amani ya Bwana. Kustaheresha means tutafika upeo penye kauli mbiu ya mwaka ambao tulitangaza, tumeitimiza. That God enters you into rest. But it's because they made covenant. So meza ya Bwana tunawishiriki ni agano. So someone you renew covenant. Someone you are actually strengthening covenant. Someone you are actually revamping covenant. Someone wana sifiwe unafanya agano lako kuwa unaifanya upya. You you establish, you reestablish, you reaffirm by you reaffirm covenant maana hapa mbele kuna watu agano lako lilikuwa limeyumba yumba uli yumba yumba kwa agano how do we tunasita tuna yumba yumba kwa mambo na agano vipi kuna watu ambao they were like mm, though i'm a christian i can allow some things mm, i'm a christian but i'm not very much of a christian so i'm not very much of a christian so i can allow some little things because i'm not very much of a christian so you compromise au nasi unaweza shawishika kuna vita za mwaka ambazo hautashinda kama hauna uh, hauna agano thabiti you must have um, your covenant really established the reason why i win battles my covenant with god is sure na ningependa wewe pia mbona asiwe kuna vita ambazo mtu wa agano ulishamalizana You don't negotiate with God about tithes. You don't negotiate with God about offering. Haufanyi kubishana ngu kuhusu matoleo na zaka, mavazi, vitu zingine. No. Hizo washia watu waliweza waliokoka jana. Wao umeshaka kwa ukovu. There are things ambazo they are part of you. Enye usipofanya unasikia eh hey, sipumui vizuri. Tithe ndio sikutoa. Maana pai kutoa kulipa tithe ndio oxygen kwako. Ni Mmm, ukishaitoa unasikia wa niko sawa kuna kuna watu ya tithe eh hey, ni ngoma ni ngoma paka mungu akutishe ntaua mtu kwa sababu mungu kuliko wewe mtu fungu za kumi ilikuwa nibe nimetumia <laughs> ndio hii usiwe mtu huyo si mtu wa agalo au ni watu wa mzaha ukisikia matisho ya bwana ndio nakumbuka wewe na tubu na tubu na tubu alafu nasanya change Account gani iko na 1000? Account gani iko na 100? Account gani iko na 
Ah, alaf na jaza la mkopa. Ina ja. Ti 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 972700. Account number it 668 pesa kai huko. Mungu sina deni yako. Wewe kubarikiwa na Mungu please. Ngoja ubarikiwe kama Muislamu. So, meza ya Bwana inatukumbusha sisi tuna hagana because it's covenant so you enter covenant again you're like okay niko na covenant unakumbuka hii kuna vitu ambazo nataka nikule haleluya because there are battles you never win kama una covenant sometimes when my people kuna my people ambao wananga akili nikiwatoa hapa wanajifanya watoke naambia wewe unajua mali huko ati mm wako na mapepo kiwatoa wanakwambia na wewe ni nani unatuambia tutoke hapa <laughs> naambia nyinyi mapepo hamna macho muone nani anaambia mutoke ati ah naambia okay within a short time utajua ana mapepo ambao wanaangalia je una agano do you know who you are pep mapepo maro za mashetani wakigundua ujijui wewe ni nani ai watakusumbua sana but tell them who you are number one. I am a covenant man. Hamjaona hiyo mwenye aliwatuma kuambia. Bwana asifiwe. So kuna vita ambazo hautashinda kama una covenant. Kuna ma, kuna vita dhidi ya madhambi, battles over sin. No matter how unnoted you are, bado dhambi itakukujia. So levels are not kuna anointing level ya chini kwa miguu, level ya pili ya anointing kwa magoti. Level ya tatu ya anointing ni kiuno, level ya ya nne ya anointing ni kwa tumbo, level ya tano ya anointing ni kwa kifua. Level ya sita ya anointing ni kwa mabega. Level ya mwisho inafunika kwa kichwa. Seventh level. Ndio maana hapo watotoshani. Kuna watu mafuta yao bado yuko kwa kiuno. Do you know hizo level zote whether umefunikwa na kichwa au uko kwa miguu? dhambi bado itakukujia utajaribiwa na dhambi no no it was this morning or jana jioni i so is it na mbero za christmas ona kale kasta na karembo ambako urembo wake wote amekufia na kudungwa kisu maana alienda kupiga koinange ona na ukikufa kwa dhambi hata kama umeuawa ukafanywa unyama mbinguni hauingi so mwenye mkuu amekusaidia kusindikiza motoni na yeye pia atakufuata unless uh, something happens au koke so unaona vile watu na idols dam that's why not wasiana ambao umeponea <laughs> umeokoka ukampata Yesu ba I mean, kabla upate upanga na kisu uko nje ona huyo msichana kama ni rembo si ni mrembo tumia urembo wake kufanya nao dhambi if you are killed rather a car knocks you even if you are the one ambaye you are a victim yet hao kufanya amani yako na Kristo Yesu mbinguni wezi ingia maana una agano la wokovu au una agano la utakatifu but leo hii tukumbushane agano haleluya agano so that ugonjwa inaangalia eh mtu wa agano Mtu anaangalia eh mtu agano. Maombi ya mtu mwenye agano na mtu asiye na agano zikiombwa hewani azifanani. Mtumishi wa Bwana ama Mkristo ambaye ana agano hususan ni ya meza ya Bwana na ya wokovu. Maombi yake hewani kiraone pale ni tofauti. Maana kwenye anga hii mwambie anga hii mbigo za kwanza imegawanywa mara ngapi? mara tatu hii anga ya kwanza hii mnaiona hii this divided into three first heaven then the second heaven also is divided because mbingu kwa ujumla the heavens are divided into 12 kwa ujumla this first one is three so both the three levels of heaven both are divided I mean both of them Uh, culminate into 12 of heavens so mbingu ambaye anasema mbingu ya tatu ya juu no one knows exactly mungu anakaa kwa gani 
because even in the heaven nasikia tena in heaven anazungumzia another heaven yet that in heaven so they talk of heaven again that means that heavens eh, there are heavens so mbingu hii kwanza hapa maombi yako ipenye ifike kwa Mungu lazima kuna kitu kama maombi zako ambazo mashetani watashika maana mapepo kwa anga wanazashika maombi kama unadhani iwezekane please uliza Daniel akwambie so interact with the book of Daniel do one eh maombi ilishikwa ilishikiwa mbingu gani Bible says kwamba when when Daniel prayed maombi yake yalijibiwa kutoka juu bingu lakini pia ilishikishiwa kwa mbingu which are heavens penye mbingu mbingu gani ambako maombi ya Daniel ilishikiwa of course sio mbingu za Mungu ni mbingu ambazo ni zaidi ya ni chini ya mipaka za mbingu so kuna mbingu zingine huko chini so ilishikiwa mbingu za pili hapo na mbingu za pili pia imegawanywa katika mbingu kadhaa so mtu mwenye anahagano maombi yako kiaomba inapenya mbingu zote mpaka ifike kwake Mungu haleluya basi kuna wale kikuombea ni kama mchezo alikuombea bala matokeo mazuri ni shida kuna watu uliombewa ni mashetani waliitika maana aliyekuombea <laughs> ni mapepo uliona lakini ulipata msaada anyway kuna watu ulienda kwa mganga ukapata cheo ndio lakini pamoja na hiyo spirit husband anaishi na wewe maana maombi yako lipoombewa wakuotisha kwa Mungu alitisha vitu kwa mingu zao hapa for us we want to employ this covenant bona spirit kwa wema wetu. Haleluya. Haleluya. So hawa wana wa Israeli maandiko yasema na walifanya agano. They entered the covenant baada ya wao kupitia shida zinginezo. But eventually they entered covenant. Matokeo ni kwamba walimalizia maisha yao katika hali ya kustareheshwa na Bwana. Kustareheshwa na nani? May the Lord also give you rest in Jesus name. The Lord give you rest in Jesus. Tushiriki meza ya Bwana sasa. Haleluya. Eh naomba mke wangu unless akuje Pastor Vincent nichukulie hizo sadaka ne ziweke upande huu. Viketi tumesha dedicate kuna watu naweza zichukua sasa panga huko nyuma. <laughs> Haleluya. Eh hapa ibaki clean. Na masadaka nasikia muda la sini na ni na nasikia jira nimeletewa nasikia manukatu ya jira eh ndio liki liki hizo ziweko upande huu na watu jiandae kushikishwa meza ya Bwana mama asha mama ma, nabii ambao wanatanga bakora ya kupigana please viketi msigeuze rungu wanaweza piga nayo mtu Eh, wapi ma, 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 manabi warriors <laughs> manabi warriors oi manabi warriors oi <laughs> viketi siwe silaha haleluya eh, tuko na silaha tuna magurunetu za kiroho na ibibanga hivi chunga sana kile na pepe baki kitu jana za kupasiwa kichwa so tutaomba Mungu manabi wabebe upanga kwa mikono yao haleluya wabebe nini upanga Neno la Mungu ni panga ni panga neno la Mungu ni panga neno la Mungu ni nyundo neno la Mungu ni nyundo haleluya neno la Mungu ni nini hii ndio mwaka ambao tutakanyaga maeneo ambayo mashetani regret hata regret tutakanyaga siaya Dizia msamo ndio kwa Regina na ukiona Regina na nani waulize wako ready maana tunakuja waweza hani mu nimeisha amejaisha <laughs> tunakuja si haya haivi keti toende sasa ziende kule uh, newness haleluya please hizo mzee tuwekeeni tutafanyia na watu wa harusi hizi si za harusi hizi ni za special za Yesu ile zingine uh, tutakula mchele akina mchele akina simbros
Haleluya. Mimi Mungu amenisha hapa kwamba atakuwa na harusi. Amehudumia watu harusi zao sasa yake nime nimeosha mind nimesi somebody. Sasa wanaume wajipange ni wewe ama ni nani? <laughs> Haleluya. Yeah, so kuna harusi zingine tutatangaza already there took the couple watafungulisha harusi yao na already na nyingine imeongezwa hapo. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Aya, nilikuwa nataka kuwapea maji lakini na Mungu nilikuwa nilikuwa naongea na mgambia Mungu sasa yema. Hii jua ni kali. Kwa nauza Mungu hapa. Hii kiangazo imetangaza hata mimi pia nitaiona. Tano sema nakaa na Mungu amekageuza weather nikasema po. Hii maji nilikuwa niwapea sasa mtakunywa. Hiyo sasa ibaki maana Mungu amewafanyishia nini? Kabaridi baridi. Haleluya. Mashapanga hizo viketi. So ndaka tu shirikishwe meza ya Bwana. Please baada meza ya Bwana atuendi nje tunashiriki visions uh, visions uh, za bwana mm nasaa hiyo sana please watu wenye vision hawa kujeni hapa mnaweza kula meza ya bwana mbele ya wengine watu wa visions hawa wakuje uh, watu wenye shukurani pia wakuje okay nitawazima mtakuja na nitaenda mbele nitaendelea utaenda kutoa vision kwa kitanda yako peke yako nione kama kuna posa ta interpret <laughs> uh, please tuifanye haraka maana nimegeuziwa plan hapa please hapa huwa siko peke yangu Mungu akikusaidia utaona on my right wenye madhabao wako then on my left utaona pia wako can you quickly come this way ndio tushiriki meza ya Bwana Please usilet a vision yako personal personal utahitaji my personal interpretation so huku ni vision ambayo unajua it edifies ni vision ambayo ni ya kanisa mwili wa Kristo haya wala ambao na personal yenye unajua ni yako mambo yako personal Uh, hiyo ndio kusaidia kando kando. Haya, haraka sana. Haleluya. Eh, uh, uh, volunteer. So it's like I love to give all my mic. Uh, kuna microphone nyingine iko hapo cha uh, will I donate this mic today? Let me donate this microphone. Uh, it is one of my favorite mics ambayo itumikangi na kuanga ya Okoa. So chukua hiyo hii niweke ni mbali. Pastor Vincent, eka hiyo kai huko, spare wheel. Toa tu beti iko ndani. I am to a sound, make sure that uh, this one is on. Eh, najua uju kuweka beti yake. Pia mwenye anajua kuweka kuweke. Shika. Tatlo nafungua, nafungua kikaangalia. Haya. Jo nasikia bwana anasema mambo ya na kuna watu na kuanga wanaweza escape kutotoa ushuhuda maana they will be slain in the spirit they will be slain in the spirit na kuna watu wakikuwa slain in the spirit huwa Okay. Hai. Tusikizeni huku na wale ambao pia wana shukurani zao, ushuhuda zao. Hapo nani ana ushuhuda? You have a testimony? Ama wamekuja huku? Muko huku wote. Haya, mlango nimefunga. Bwana asifiwe. So kama huku kuja, please usikuje tena. Eh, nimefunga mlango. Haya, tuanze mbio mbio kwa Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Amen. Kama Jacob Gitao na niko na vision. Mm. Leo 
leo masaya mombezi liliono le kijema ameshika chupa mm. kulikuwa na nyoka kwa mgongo yake alafu tena sasa hiyo nyoka hiyo nyoka iko na ndevu na iko na pembe na iko na manywele eh <laughs> mm. ikatolewa nje ah hapo ni mwana Sanione kwanza. Oh. Pea shetani notice. Sa, pea notice sai. Mhm. Mm Sasa hiyo nyoka ilikuwa na mlamba hapa kwa akili. Oh. Mhm. <sighs> Tutamaliza hii sai. Mimi sai ah anda shike mkono lete dam ni mtoto ambaye ameharibiwa aidha na baba sana sana ni baba kulambwa akili na joka dam is kuna ngome ambayo imetoka maana na ushetani bai na meshwe na ribu yeye nini nataka kuharibu yeye kichwa ya soma na yeye hapo hatutakubali hatutaku ya mama kuja unisikuja uone chenye kitafanyika kuja uone chenye Mungu atafanya na ubebe imani leo <laughs> shika upande wa mkono Eh, kumusha jina anaitwa eh? eh Isaka so anointed 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 Isaac so leo kila mtu ni anointed bwana asifiwe baada jirani mwambie anointed eh, anointed kama ni anointed Samuel mwambie anointed Samuel anointed Isaac mwambie anointed Isaac Uh, anointed gifts anointed prince anointed gloria uh, anointed mrs apostle so i'm be my zako that's why it's good you know your neighbor's name anointed simpros please we are my name by now and now are simpros this is kio me chapa e wae jo malti metwana na e Haleluya. Watu wanataka kuoleka please anzeni ku treat simples vizuri sana. Kwa ajili ya wewe pia baraka ifanye nini? Ikuangukie. Hai anointed somebody baba. Huyu ni anointed. Anointed. Na shetani ajue anointed. Maroho hawa na mapepo ambao wamekodeshwa ambao wanajifanya wanamiliki ati mna pembe ati pepo ana pembe alafu ati ana ndevu na anavaa shanga leo ninakuua leo tunakuua leo naua huyo huyo ngome leo anauawa naomba moto wa roho mtakatifu kwenye madhaba wa haya na kwa silaha hizi ambazo bwana umetupatia mali hapa tunatangaza ngome iliyomtawala mtoto Isaka ngome huyo aliyemtawala pepo huyo ambaye amemtawala kwa mapenzi ya baba yake tunatangaza leo hauna nafasi kwa keteni moto wako roho mtakatifu ikashuka na gadhau kwa ajili ya mtoto huyu kuokolewa na kukombolewa natangaza ukombozi in the name of Jesus natangaza moto wa Bwana teketeza huyo joka popote amefugwa popote amewekwa popote amepandwa tunawashilia moto wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu we send fire tunaashilia moto wa Bwana tunaashilia moto wa Bwana tunaashilia moto wa Mungu inaenenda madhabahu ya ushawi madhabahu ya uganga unayotokana na baba yake madhabahu hiyo na nyoka huyo tunatangaza maafa na mauti kwake now in the name of Jesus hakuna silaha 
Baza wewe ibilisi ukainua Dhedi ya mtoto huyu isaka Bae taweza fanikiwa Baba naomba kwa jile mama yake Moto wako juu yake Moto wake mikono Moto wako kwenye mikono yake Moto wako kwenye migu yake Moto wako kwenye midomo yake Moto wako kwenye macho yake Moto wako Jehovah Katika jina la Yesu Kamba chochote ambacho ibilisi Angefunga nisa nani yake Baenge ya haribu mutoto Baba leo hii ikatwe Katika jina la Yesu Hali za kumpambaza yeye Asione masaibu kwa mtoto Hali za kupofushwa Tunaziondoa Afunguke macho Tunaziondoa Aondolewa upofu Tunaziondoa Aondolewa hali za kumzulia kusikia Ziondoke Moto roo buwana tengeneza yeye Moto roo buwana tengeneza yeye Baba moto wako roo buwana Panguza macho yake Fungua heki roo Afunguke mawazo Afunguke hakili Ahaze kuona na mashu ya kiroo Aone mambo ambazo ngetega mtoto Aone mambo ambazo ngetega watoto Aone metego ambazo ngea watega Akaya shukulikia mapema Pawa hiyo Juu yako Juu yako Juu yako Juu yako Juu yako inuwa mikono mbele za buwana Juu yako Kuna nguvu za buwana ambazo Mana nyoka uya hata ishi tena Na haishi mana mambo zaki mikwisha Moto wa buwana nakuja juu yako Utakuwa na kama macho kwa jili ya watoto Kama joka uya lipitishua kwa agano zozote Magana uya nakusha Unapewa macho ya kuona Na unafunguliwa kutoka na meshale Unafunguliwa kutoka na vifunga ambazo liwa ifungwa Na macho yaki napokea tena hali ya kuona Na mitego didi yako zaharibiwa Pawa ya buwana kwake 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 in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Baba mtoto huyu Natangaza moto wako kumulinda Akili zake Astaibiwa na mashetani Joka Hata mfanjia kumbaramba ramba Hata kula sumu ya mapipu Leo ni metangaza ukombozi wako Na ulinzi wako juu yake Katika Yesu Christo na omba Amen Tujia buwana makofi Ndiyo hatari na wambia ingi ya watoto That means he's being controlled But he won't be controlled again Amen Amen Wakati nilikuwa kwa nyumba Nikona lion ika kwa kitanda Alafu Nikona roa mungu wa meshuka chini Alafu nikona kiti ya white kama hiyo kitu Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Lion kwa kitana. Mama uliambi kwa mama. Uliambi ya mama yako pia. Kato una shuka. Lion aliposhuka. Alifanya nini uyo lion? Ambikuwa. Hmm. Haya najua Sasa hiko hivi He kuona lion na kishuka kitandani He hajui lakini Kuona muangaza ya white Kama hii hapa Inamthibitishia kwa mba hule lion na hakuwa pepo Kwa zunza shukiwe Unaweza shukiwe na lion uone lion Kini pia shetana na kujanga kama lion so 1 Peter 5, it says that the devil, like a roaring. Yeah, so kuna mapepa mbua na kuja kama lion. Lakini, ye kuonyeshwa whiteness, hii white kama hii. Ni ya kumthibitisha ama kunisaidia mimi kumusaidia kumthibitisha kwa mba hai kuwa shetani. So mtoto huyu musaidia mama umule, that means that I call line of visions. Hallelujah.
Anaitwa nani? Mama sema anaitwa Alvin. Alvin Joro. Oh Njoro. Bas. Njoro kai chini. Sasa huyu ni laini ya nini? Eh sasa kiona vitu uh, utakuwa unaangalia sana ameona ni na ikiwezekana sometimes namko kumweza uliona kitu. Haya, wewe ume next. Vile nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu imenichukulia hapa. Mm. Nikaona hiyo nyoka, hiyo ilikuwa na ndevu na pembe. Nikaona imetoka after ni mechange imekuwa mubaba. Alafu tena hiyo mubaba al, alikuwa kwa nyumba nyingine hapo. Hiyo nyumba ni ya makaratasi. Hiyo karatasi ni black. Alafu tena alikuwa hapo na mtu mwingine. Alafu hiyo mtu amevaa kofia ya red na mechora chora vitu huko na kuna kitu na kwa ile kitu kama ile inakaa kama mkia ngombe anafanya hivyo alafu tena baba yake sasa amekaa hapo chini mubaba mm. mm. nikaona sasa nini panga kubwa imekata hiyo nyumba nikakatika nikawaka moto mm ya bwana makofi maana yake ni kwamba yule mtoto baba yake ameenda kwa mganga wakafanya matendo za agano kwa mganga kwa ajili ya huyo mtoto akapandiwa roho huyo roho ndiye amekuja kumnyemelea lakini sasa uganga huo na nyoka huo huyo roho mambo yake imekwisha haleluya mambo yake meisha anikona kisoma biblia. Mhm. Mm. Tamaa za lifungwa laini akutosoma biblia. Sasa atasoma. Atasoma biblia. Mama yake ataambiwa hiyo baadaye. Hallelujah. Yeah, so it shall be normal and perfect like other children. Praise be to Jesus. Haya unaweza kiti chini sasa. Bwana akulinde. Uh, huyu mtoto uh, huyu uh, school fees yake mama. Wapi mama nani? Wapi wapi shosho wake? Shosho wake, shosho wa geta wako nje. Ha, why? Aya, basi hapo nje asikize tu. Basi kwamba mtoto wake um, yangaliwe huyo school fees zake atalipiwa na kanisa. Hiyo hiyo mtoto. Eh. So uniform na viatu na reva wakienda shule zote kanisa me take over kwa ajili ya mama Njambi. Bwana asifiwe. So it shall be. Your next. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe tena. Amen. Kwa majina ni Isaac Ekom na nimeokoka nisemwe bwana. Anointed Isaac. Tanza na vision ya Friday. Mm. Anza na hii. Eh ya huyu. Nafikiri umeoliombea huyu pia. Sasa nimekuomba nimeona pia nguvu za Mungu imekubeba. Ukajipata huko. Niliona then after after nimefunga macho nikaona ni kama hiyo nyoka hii ilikuwa na ndevu na kaka kama ni mzee imezeka sana iko na ndevu alafu ilikuwa na pembe ndogo inaenda hivi kama spiral hivi kidogo inaenda inachukua hivi hivi alafu ilikuwa imevaa chain ya gold na sasa hiyo nyoka ilikuwa na mamugu mingi ilikuwa kama inakaa kama milipet sasa ikanguka chini na ikaanza kukimbia sasa nikakimbia kufika hapo kujaribu kushika hiyo ngozi yake ilikuwa inakaa kama ni soft soft hivi ni soft sana kushika hivi ikatoka yani ka miss ika slide kwa mkono ikakimbia huko sasa mimi nikakimbia mbio ilikuwa ita kukimbia ingie kwa watoto sasa nikakimbia mbio nikasimama na ile side sasa vinye ilikuwa inakuti nikakanyaga kichwa vinye kichwa ilipasuka ikaanza kutengeza tengeza mkia nikafanya hivi mkia kakatika then nikaona watu wengi kama crowd ya watu wengi ilikuwa kwa ile kona waka Venye after nimekata hivi nika venye nilianguka hapo chini nikaangalia hivi angalia ile side nikona au watu hiyo crowd wanafanya ah na akapiga kona akaenda ni kama walikuwa na shabikia kitu kama 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 wanaenda kufunga goal walikuwa nasema eh then akuma ah wakapenduka wakaenda sasa kuenda nikaonyeshwa kama maji kama habari 
then ile mlango ile yenye ilikuwa na kama imepigwa na ni gold yenye imepigwa na black fish hivi afi kona jicho sasa nikaangalia hivi kuangalia hivi ndani sasa kwa bahari ndani nikaona kuna nyoka sasa kama yule lakini ni kubwa na ka dragon iko na mamugu kubwa kubwa ilikuwa inachungulia hivi na watu hiyo gate kafunguka watu wakaingia sasa ilikuwa inaangalia hivi kama iko na asira alafu ilikuwa ni muzee hizo manyoka zote zina kama muzee muzee zimezieka alafu ziko na ndevu za white mmm itabidi mitafsiri kwa ajili ya watu waelewe uh, mlango nao ongelea mlango mzee baharini na mlango wa kuzimu na ml- ni mlango ambao una jicho Mathayo kumi na sita na mstari ni wa kumi na saba uh, inazungumzia malango ya kuzimu So Matthew chapter number 16 verse number 17 The Bible's, Bible maketh mention of uh, uh, the door of hell. Okay, verse number uh, 17, verse number 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. That's verse number 18. Verse 17 said, And Jesus answered and said unto him, That is Jesus. Blessed art thou Simon Jonah for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee but my father which is in heaven so it is our father in heaven that also giveth to us revelations and i say also unto thee that thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it so the gates of hell the gates of so anazunguzia malango ama malango mlango ile mlango ameiona ni mlango wa kuzimu alafu iko na macho macho ya kuangalia so kule ndani anazunguzia akaona akiwa akaona joka mkubwa tena uh, muzee Now that one confirms Revelation chapter number 20 verse number 1 that Satan is old Satan ni kizee is ancient so naosha sura yake jinsi alivyo so naipua sura yake jinsi eh shetani ana ndevu alafu akona akona mvi alafu akona pembe Lafa nosho kama joka Mariko asema yule joka kizee Revelation 20 Kufunua sura 20 Je na lazima nitumie maandiko hapo mna kuna watu ambao wanapinganga vision sana sema hizo vitu uh, ni imaginations Sema ni imagination lakini utajipata kule au utasema ni imagination tena Aya sema hivi kisha nikaona nimesema ufunuo 20 mstari wa kwanza kisha nikaona malaika akishuka kutoka mbinguni mwenye ufunguo wa kuzimu na mnyororo mkubwa mkononi mwake akamshika yule joka so huyu mzee malaika alishuka mpaka alishuka mpaka mali joka yuko kwa shimo so kule ni kuzimu akamshika yule joka yule nyoka wa zamani ambaye ni ibilisi na shetani akamfunga miaka elfu akamtupa katika kuzimu akamfunga katika eh, akam, akatia muhuri juu yake asipate kuwadanganya mataifa tena hata ile miaka elfu itimie baada ya hapa uh, baada ya hayo ya pasa afunguliwe muda mchache so tuona huyu amesema ameona joka huyo mwenye mikono nyingi tena kama centipede so ana mikono kama za mamba anapoisema mimi naiona sababu 
Ukitendanganya na vision nitajua. Sasa ule anayeongea mimi nimeiona penye anaiona. Najua kama ana ana mikono. <laughs> ana miguu kama mamba sio anakaa kama mamba. Anakaa kama centipede kidogo lakini ana miguu sasa yeye ni mkubwa. Na nikize ana pembe. Huyo ndio na huyo joka huyo pia alionwa na um, dada Flora. Dada Flora. Dada Flora yuko. Ako nje. Ya. Yeah. Yeye yeah, aliona si nilimfanyia deliverance ya kwanza. Shetani alipinga sana deliverance ya Flora. Because Flora ni kipawa kwa uh, ni kipawa. She is uh, actually a gift. Sasa Shetani aliamua kumwatia muharibu. So aliharibiwa kwa muda but then she suffered oppression before. Sasa joka huyo ndio huyo amemwona. So inamaanisha kwamba yule yule pepo aliyemkalia mtoto yule ametoka maana yeye ni uzao yule joka mkubwa So hapa alikuwa ni kadogo lakini baba yao ni mkubwa So ni sure the source So nguvu za uganga yenye mganga aliyepelekewa afanye masiara huyo mtoto ana yeye ni agent wa yule shetani So anatumika na hiyo huyo roho ni pepo so tulipo muua basi <laughs> unisho source mali umemuua ni uko na watafanikiwa so wale ambao tunashangilia wako washangilia alafu wasema oh ni mapepo wale wadogo ambao mapepo ambao wananga kitu yuko na mapepo wananga kitu au mapepo wananga kitu na mapepo wana randa randa na loiter mali kuna action na wapata wanaangalia bila kutaenda story imeisha huyu amefunguliwa haleluya Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama ya huyo mtoto ishe na madhabihu mengi because baba huyo baba huyo eh alinda kwa mganga lakini sasa mganga si nikukufa mganga atakufa. I paid for a woman hapa. Bye bwana yake ni pastor. Kumbe ni pastor wale ma diviners. Sasa nina muombea joka mkubwa wa monena kanipanulia mdomo pastor somewhere there. Joka mkubwa jitu jijoka kaponwa kuniuma kuni meza lakini ange ni meza ndio alikuwa mkubwa kuni shinda nikaambia mama na huwa huyo joka na huyo mganga ambaye ndio bwana yako hataishi they buried him last year wale muzika huyo jamaa Sawa mimi niliwa joka. <laughs> Kuma joka ndiyo nguvu yake. So the woman send a sema ambaye wetuko na mazishi. Guess what? Eh, Pastor Muganga amekufa. Si mimi niliwa yeye. Haya, bwana asifiwe. So hata wewe mwenye ametasikia taarifa ya habari. Mama mtoto. Utasikia taarifa ya nini? Mm, kama ndio kutubu akuje mapema. Otherwise it is a shauri yao haya then eh kwa tunaomba kwa friday lunch hour mm eh, niliona ni kama kulikuwa na hapo kwa zen 3 kando hivi nilikuwa na kuna nyoka kubwa inainuka hivi inainuka alafu ina inatoa ulimi hivi inatoa ulimi hivi ina tena kama inataka ina face mlango wa washitini sasa nikirusha nikirusha moto hivi naenda hivi moto inaenda nikirusha hii spia nikirusha hivi na mimi sitaenda naenda hivi sasa it take time mpaka nikaona sasa hapa kama kuna kama kuna mpira mingi ya moto zimezunguka hivi alafu zimezunguka hivi sasa nikabidi nikuje nikazisanya then nikaenda nayo hapo sasa nikiwa nikizirusha hivi ndio inagonga inapata then na mimi lakini ikamis zingine lakini iko anka bado bado ilikuwa tu inasimama inanikodolea macho na inatoa limi ikiangalia kwa prison worship na totu limi tena sasa ndo nikachukua nikona kuna spia hapo yenye ilikuwa inawaka moto nikarusha sasa ndo ikaenda ikadunga hapo kwa macho hivi na ikaunga chini kafuka nyingine ilikuwa na ilikuwa nyoka mbili moja naangalia prison worship nyingine inatokea nyuma ya zen 3 sijui ni wapi huko ina inatoa ulimi alafu inaangalia kwa kosi yani inaangalia hiyo na yani kama penye kuku ina, ina anga watoto wake hivyo ilikuwa naangalia tu hivyo then kwa kesha tukio tunaomba nikona skull 
skali ya brown alafu hiyo skali ilikuwa niki nikienda hivi ama nirudi hivi sioni lakini nikienda hivi naona inaenda kwa watoto huko sasa nikikimbia kwa watoto hivyo inapotea then nikawa sasa ni kama wasichana wawili ilikuwa wasichana wawili ama ni mjini mmoja alikuwa ame ameingia sasa kwa mlango ame amevaa kinyosi mpaka nyafika hapa alafu anaingia akaingia mbio alafu ni kama alikuwa anatafuta mtu akatafuta tafuta kisha wakatoka mbio ni kama alikuwa ana survey then akatafuta mtu akakosa na akatoka mbio then sasa hii hapo eh, kwa prophetic sa zile nilikuwa nilikuwa nikiomba nikaona eh, kulikuwa na wachawi wawili mmoja amefanya usi wawili wote wamefanya usi alafu wako na uso nyeupe nyeupe yani hapa ni, ni white white lakini macho ni black yani openings za mwili ni black lakini hivi ngozi hapa ni white walikuwa na, na kama na chuma kama hizi za tent hizi walikuwa na wana, ilikuwa wali, walikuwa wawili na wote walikuwa na hizo matuma sasa walikuwa na dungilia hapo hapo tu kwa watoto tu wana dungilia tu wana dungilia na nakana hakikisha yani kama imekorogiwa chini kisha mume mwingine anadungilia alafu wakasimama hapo sasa nikiwa nina napita pita hapo nikawafukuza sasa nikiwa na ngoo yani na ngoo na naona chuma hiyo chuma ni ya blue inaangana kungoa lakini naona chuma ni kama imekorogiwa chini sasa nilikuwa na ngoo na naona nimevunjika hii piece na nyingine piece nyingine yani ni kama imevunjika chini alafu imevunjika mara mbili kama nimevunja mara mbili sasa nikachukua nikirusha nje tena nyingine na vunja tena na vunjika chini Mm, that means kuna uh, watoto ambao bado wana milango za mashetani so you find that hata manyumba zenyu wazazi eh uh, shetani anaweza penya kuingia kwako kwa ajili ya mlango ambao mtoto amefungua so unaweza kuwa wewe nyumba yako ni kuzuri unaheshimu Mungu lakini mtoto wako ndio nafungua mlango wa shetani kuingia. So hapo which means hata kanisani hapa tuna watoto ambao hawajui kukaa kwao vizuri ndio sababu au ndio mlango wa yule agent wa wa shetani kukimbia kimbia wakadunga nini yao kadunga mkokeo wanasema sisi hatutaka lakini tunadunga chuma yetu hapa yani tumeweka ngome. So inaweza inawezekana sometimes eh, kanisani ngome ipandwe ndio mara nyingi unaona maita sasa ambao wana behave kama snoop, snoopy dogs. Wananusa mahali sana kulipandwa nini? Kiroho. So maombezi na poomba zinangolewa. So that's why children to be screened na mara mingi tunakuwa na intercessors who offer. Wanaka pale because watoto wajui kujiombea, mara mingi pia wajui jinsi ya kufanya agano. Haya. Then worship team uh, huwa ni majeshi na ndio maana wale ambao watatumika waimbaji ama huduma ya waimbaji kanisani kwa praise they'll, they'll be prophets maana pale ndio silaha nyingi ziko so silaha nyingi zinapatikana pale kwa waimbaji so wanazitumia wanapoimba wengine wanaimba na baragumu tarumbeta kiroho wengine wako na vinanda they are prophets wanawashilia silaha nyingi ama marisasi mingi ya warfare so kanisa, kanisa kama itazimwa wanaangalienga waimbaji na kama sisi pia wanaangalienga media alafu amalizi na intercessors wakimalizwa hawa please kanisa inakuwanga mara mingi unless huyo mtumishi kwa hiyo madhabahu ana nguvu sana sawa ndio pila so unapata sasa pale wanavutia mapigo sana that's why kama ni mwimbaji pale na wimbi you are actually doing as a lot of harm not only to yourself but also to us wewe mwenyewe ni mwimbaji ambaye uimbi, uombi na usome usome Biblia, unajihatarisha. Then number two, unatuhatarisha na sisi pia because wewe ni mlango wa shetani kuingilia. So unaona vile kosha ni joka na ngali ni shetani. Anaangalia sana worship team hapa. Nani anaweza kuwa wangu? Nani ako na mali pa mimi kuingilia? Ni nani ambaye ako na ma, ako na e, dhambi ya mahali ambazo naweza tumia? kama mlango lakini hakupata sasa ni wawili wanaangalia sana wanachungulia sana so inaonyesha kwamba kuna wofe ambaye inalenga kanisa atokamana na mtaa huo wa kokwas 
ama shetani amepata mlango mtu wa kutumia eh, kama madhabahu kokwas kulenga kanisa so Zion 3 hiyo Zion 3 eh naweza kuwa ni nani hapo nyuma Haleluya lakini haitafanikiwa so that means kama sasa hii umepewa katoka dogo deal na huyo joka then that means <laughs> eh uh, kazi rahisi shetani ana kitu kama anapigwa na katoto kadogo eh yeah. mdhali kusumbua sumbua unalinga na misa na miss kwa hivyo nikwambia mimi miss zote nimeonyesha vile napigwa na one na story kuisha haya we thank god sasa watu wa waimbaji ni warning kaini mkijilinda sana na kujichunga sana na maombezi maana shetani bado akiondoka tena atarudi tena hata Yesu ali alipenda shere nimeenda lakini nitarudi Luka sura 4 mstari wa 13 nitakudua shere nilienda lakini akaambia Yesu be sure I'll come back haya bwana kuwezeshe tumo oh nimesema ina clever man but uh, <laughs> mulishika the brown uh, the lady na skirt hawa ni maagent wanakujanga kanisani akasema watoto hawa especially watoto ambao hapo wamevaa mavazi mazuri lakini kwa estate hawa ni vinyangarika shetani anajua namna ya kuingia na utapata kwamba kuna wanye wako hapo wamevaa mavazi marefu lakini wako na hiyo skirt nyeusi fupi ama mavazi mabaya shetani anawatumia kama mlango so unapata agent anatakuja kukimbia kimbia kabla tuangamizwe tune tusiangamizwe lakini lazima tupate mtu hapa tupande kitu hapa ndio tutoke so ndio 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 hiyo uh, then the skull skull you know that the skull brown here please skull ni pepo skull ni ni skeleton ya shetani so ukiona magofu na maana ma skeleton ndo zinatembea unaoisha kichwa please ni ni roho za wafu mapepo hao natafuta mtu wa kutumia but hapa hawana mtu hawa na kitu Asante bwana Bwana Yesu msaidie katika jina la Yesu mtoto huyu bwana silaha umpatie akirusha moto next time hata miss shetani hata escape baba komae jinsi ya kutumia moto huu haitumia vizuri ndio hiyo the name of jesus the name of jesus tumia moto huo katika jina la yesu kristo watoto hawa tulisema watu kuna watoto ambao tuwapatia scholarship kanisani ya kusoma tawatunza because hatutaki kuwapoteza he is one of them so hawa huyu na yule kitao tafanya ku kubeba yes, mizigo zao za masomo. Amen adasa. Kwa majina naitwa Adasa nene. Eh. Kwa na vision. Ah. Ati tulikuwa church. Ah. Mimi nilikuwa church. Alafu wao kwa umesimama hapo. Alafu mida team ilikuwa in in eno kwa na piga keyboard mm mm alafu mvungu mm-hmm. za Mungu mm-hmm. kashukia kila mtu alafu babangu alikuwa amesimama hapo mm alafu mama mwingine akakuwa karibu amtoa nje akamsukuma tu kidogo na kaenda alafu niko na pasta lumbasi amesimama pale. Mm. Mm. Okay, thank you. Hallelujah. Tutamwona I love the prophets in a good baka daddy. Eh wakati nguvu za Mungu zinashuka. May the Lord grant kwamba azidi kushika shika hiyo in Jesus name. Thank you Adasa the Lord keep you bless you. Be seated now. Pige bwana makofi. watoto wadogo huwa wana urahisi wa kuona matendo za rohoni 
kuna watu mtoto wako ukienda analielea na kusumbua watoto wadogo mara nyingi wameona malaika huku juu na wajuku kuambia cause it is strange to them so watoto wao wadogo mara nyingi ukienda na kusumbua analielea na fidget fidget wameona malaika hapa so hajuku kuambia ameona malaika so huo watoto wadogo hawa wako na Mungu anawasaidia bado naweza ona mfanyiko wa kiroho so kama hii sasa ameona vile power ilikuwa imeshuka pale na inatubika hapa ndipo pia maroho zinazambatana watu waliokataliwa so hizo zinazosumbua kanisani ndio ametaja huyo ndio ametaja mwingine you are next praise god amen praise god once more. amen yeah, my name is anointed faith benta amen anointed faith basi umeshika laini nimekoka yesu ni bwana na kristo maisha yangu mm. So nitaanza na vision ya Lasande. Lasande vile nilichukuliwa pale. E, nilijipata nikaa nimeinuliwa kwa kitu kama pila was standing on a pillar. So nilikuwa nainuliwa hivi juu. Kuinuliwa nikajipata in a certain garden it was very nice. So there's this river in ilikuwa ina flow. Ilikuwa ina flow kama ni kama ilikuwa inatoka north ikienda chini. So inside the water kulikuwa na this ilikuwa na kaka kitu ka crystals ilikuwa ndani ya maji so vile niliruka hiyo mtu nikapita hivi uh, kwa hiyo garden yenye nilipelekwa there were different kind of trees and i missed jayo na hata sijuzi na kuanga wapi but it was very ni, yani si kitu yenye nishaiona kwa maisha yangu so the iso plants zenye zilikuwa for those trees they were shining yani ilikuwa with this certain kind of brightness enye ungeshika hivi ungesikia ni kama ni kama moto inaingia ndani mwako uh, another vision that i had ilikuwa on i think on wednesday the first day to learn evangelism so tukaenda kokwas so place to li simama kokwas nikiangalia hivi nilikuwa na ile temple yenye nakonga pale chini na kwa hiyo temple kuna kitu ni kama sign na kuanga imechorwa hapo So kulikuwa na this sign yenye ilikuwa imechorwa kwa hiyo temple na ilikuwa inakaa macho. So but in ukiangalia vizuri ilikuwa inakaa macho ya binadamu. So nika ilikuwa inatuangalia mali tulikuwa tumeassemble. Tulikuwa tume we in a circle we were praying before we departed. So ni kama ilikuwa inatuangalia na kwa mawingu ni kona there's this dark cloud then yani very thick ilikuwa very black but juu ya hiyo cloud There was ilikuwa kama radi ilikuwa na this hama yenye nakonga coat yenye judge wana tumianga so ni kama iligonga once na hiyo vision ikapotelea but tulikuwa hapo nje tulikuwa tunatoka another one is on ilikuwa jana on saturday before we le, we, tulitoka hapa tulikuwa hapo kwa hema hapo nje so before tulitoka tulikuwa tunaomba so nikaona ni kama wenye tulikuwa hapo in that circle tulikuwa tumebeba vitu kama easy balls yenye watu wanatumianga kula na kwa hizo ndani hizo balls kulikuwa ni kama futa kila mtu alikuwa na beba yake so nikaonyesha nika picha tulikuwa nitoka nje ya gate so kila mtu alikuwa mbeba yake mbeba yake na juu yake ni moto ilikuwa na kwa kichwa na ni hayo tu mbarikiwe okay vision ya kwanza na kumbaka niliomba watu pale kwa binguni aenda pumzikie huko na <laughs> tenga alikuwa mwisho wa kufunga chapter wa baba chukua watu pale kwa binguni so at least ulienda hizo hizo description hiyo ya kwanza and describe matawi na miti ambazo na power binguni miti za binguni zinahitaji maji maua za binguni zinahitaji maji maana kwa kuna mchanga hii hapa mchanga huko ni dhahabu So miti za huko ni miti so, vibinguni vitu zote zilizomo ni zina uhai. Maua zina uhai, miti ukaziona zina uhai. Uh, so unapata maua zinaimba imba, miti pia zinaweza imba. Na matunda za pale kila zile matunda zina uhai. Na maana kuna watu wagonjwa sana ambao nimeshindwa kuombea waponywe. Na simoja nikaomba mkambia Mungu, ponya huyu binguni. Alipoenda ka pewa matunda akachukua matunda akakula kurudi akaponya ukimwi haleluya zile matunda za binguni zina uhai 
So kizi kula unakula uzima, zina uzima ndani yao. So ni, ni nada sana mara mingi uh, ufanyu uponyaji kama hizo. But God is not limited uh, to how to heal you, as to how you should be healed. Sasa I can show you. Then, kuonyesho pale, uh, pale kokwas makabrini, pale kwa misikiti za wa hindi. Isi minara za wa, wa islamu huwa zina ishara. The crescent hiyo kwa islamu nananga huwa munara huko na nyota juu na mwezi yangalie. Huwa zina wafanyisha, zina washikanisha na magano ya nyota na magano ya mwezi. So kuna maombi zao ambazo hao ufanya. Mbazo zina magano ya nyota na magano ya mwezi. Lakini sisi tunaziharibungu. So kama wene mkusambao juu kuomba, there are some prayers you cannot really undo. Similarly, wa hindi hawa, misikiti zao, zikona alama za macho, secret eye, but ukiziangalia ni obvious eyes. Obvious eyes hizo, uh, kuna matiri kwa ni waonyesha leo, zikona mna maiko onyeshana, hiza kitenge, zikona maalama zingine za kishetani za tumika na wa hindi pia. So unawanyesha kwa mba hizo, shetani utumia kuwasoma watu. But we serve the almighty God. Ours is greater power. Kumaliza wao. Hallelujah. Hai, hallelujah. Hai, munga kusaidia. Mana wewe sasa uliona vitu ambazo. Uh, Inafaa sasa utenu ujue jinsi ya kupiga hizo macho za siri. Kapiga hizo macho za siri. Gubu za mungu los yako ni obedi sila kufanye we uwe sila hizo nguvu zikufanye uwe sila kufanye uwe sila vitu kama unapiga na mkono wako na moto katika jina la yesu watu ambao wanenda evangelism is good also mwe na watu katika atie nyombao mwe na wafunulia area territory muna ingia muna ona hiyo territory muna ingia evangelism hiko na nini hallelujah hallelujah Kithi ya theki memory ya mema, atuende tu unenda tu fuwa, fuwa, fuwa. Kuna mzunga lenda atamenda mission ginger. Halikuja kama ni kipofu. Missionary mwenye gari kubwa, pesa mingi, wakapleka huku crusade. Mganga mmoja limaliza ginger hapa. So that was uh, 2011. Is it 2011 or 2012? Nika wana kani, kani sukumuzi ya rikambe na watu leten uyu mutu ni mwambe. Na nika muombea, he's called Neil, mzungu. Kambia buwana mungu atakupea macho yako tena urudi. And uh, to the glory of God, eventually it happened, he got healed and restored. Hallelujah. So please, ukienda crusade, lazima mujipange. Ukienda hiyo, mnesta door to door evangelism, lazima mujipa. Muna kuja muombe kwanza, kieze kana, muna kuwa naka fasting. Then, muna fast at siku moja, siku mbili, tatu. Then, muna enda. Thank you. Buwana Yesu, asifiwe kanisa. Amina. Asifiwe tena. Amina, amina. Nimeaukoka, joni ya leo, Yesu Kristo, ni mokosi wa maisha yangu. Ni taweza kubana visions mbili, kwa sababu ni personal, na singine zinau na usiana na mtumishi mm. nitaweza tu kuongea pati ya kanisa mm. na peke yake amen ku hiyo vision nilikuwa nayo 31st kufika mwisho nilianza roho mtakatifu alianza kuniongelesha mm. na akaniambia kuhusiana na hiyo vision hatuna muda wa kupoteza kanisa Mm. Munda ni kidogo sana mm. lakini lazima kasi ya Bwana iendelee. Mm. Na nikaweza roho wa Mungu akaniambia ya kuwa ataenda na wale wako tayari mm. na wala watakuwa tayari hana nafasi na wao. Mm. Na roho wa Mungu akasema ya kuwa tayari gari lime, li, naondoka. Mm. Na mtumishi wa Mungu asiwe na wasiwasi ya kuwa Ako na watu wachache. Wale wako ndio, ndio mungu atatumia. Na mungu ajithirishi kwa ukubwa. Anajithirisha kwa udogo. Mm. Na kama vile ilivyo kuwa wakati wa Gideon. Ataenda na wachache. Mm. 
wale ambao watakuwa tayari na pia Mungu anaenda kutoa wengine kutoka nje na mtumishi watakusaidia kasi na kasi ambayo iko ni kasi kubwa ni kasi ambayo iko na mabonde na milima lakini tusiwe na wasiwasi na tusiogope Mungu atatushindania na Mungu atatuwezesha tu kama tuta focus on Jesus Christ mm. na tuweze kukaa sawa sawa katika Yesu ndipo tutaweza kushinda na Mungu atatushindania katika kila hali kuna ushindi mbele kasi ni kubwa lakini tujitie nguvu katika Kristo Yesu hiyo ikaisha hivyo amen 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 pia bwana Yesu makofi Hmm, I think here uh, the direct bwana anatupatia himizo. Eh uh, mzashangaa na watu wachache watafikia dunia. Eh uh, wanafunzi wa Yesu walikuwa apostles wa ngapi? 12. Wanasua na msaliti na baki 10 na ngapi? Ndiko yasema ni baawa baadhi yao ni watu ambao walifanya miji kupinduka upside down na ndio leo hii njili imetufikia miaka mingi baadaye hivi basi the, the few ambao bwana amechagua wateule hao you count yourself mean uh, uh, seek to know in god are you among us the 15 elect now the lord is also we are seeking god to come si waongezeke patikane wengine tena wa join But swali ni je umo miongoni wa wateule wale ambao Mungu atatumia So I thank God kwamba watole hao pia wengine wako ula hapa tuna hawa hamsini uh, pamoja na wengine kwa mtandao walio kwa mtandao hao bayani hao walio hamsini wengine wako nje Nashukuru bwana maana kazi ya bwana itaendelea so vision yake ni confirmation kama ulishuku nabii zile hizo unabii zimepeana zote ziko na confirmations na yako iko na confirmation so wenye kuwa na shaka sikieni hiyo let it be as the lord has ordained hallelujah it shall be hallelujah kanisa amen asubuhi ya leo after inspection mm. wakati tuliingia hapa tukaanza praise and worship niliweza kuingia katika intercession na wakati nilikuwa naomba Roho wa Mungu akawa anateta sana. Roho wa Mungu akawa analia sana. There was no akukua na connection, yani akukua na breakthrough. There was no breakthrough. So nilikuwa naomba ni kuuliza Mungu ashukishe breakthrough. Lakini roho wa Mungu alikuwa anateta, akilia sana, akisema ya kuwa wakati wa kuanza ibada ni saa ngapi? Roho wa Mungu mu, Yesu Kristo ameshuka na mbingu imeshuka lakini watu wako nje katika hali ya kutembea tembea nilikuwa naambiwa angalia uone wako wangapi nikiangalia naona tu watu wachache narudi kuomba tena na naambiwa angalia wako wangapi wako wangapi kwa nini wanatembea tembea huko nje kwa nini hawako kwa kanisa kwa nini wasianze ibada kwa pamoja kwa nini wanatembea tembea? Kwa hivyo roho wa Mungu alilalamika na ikawa ikawa ni kilio kikubwa na uzuni kwa sababu niliona Bwana Yesu akiwa ako kwa madhabahu lakini sikuweza kuona sura. Nikaona ni kama anataka kuja kwa watu lakini nafika hapa napotesa napotesa laini yake. Na tujikaze tuweze tukiingia kanisani tuingie kwa wakati mmoja tunaingia katika kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa anasema wapi worship wapi worship wapi kunitukuza wananitukuza wako tu kwa hali zao nje wanatembea tembea tu iko nje wanatembea tu na mubarikiwe mhm wa tu hapo kidogo takani tafsiri kama uko hapo haya watu sikieni mimi nashangaa na watu wakikuja hapa kanisani that means bado kuna watu wajakoma 
they come to church sanctuary iko lakini unapata mnatembea tembea to the extent could they, to the extent kwamba watoto wenyu pia wamejua jinsi ya kutembea tembea nipe kwa hiyo kitu ne nipe Eka hapa. Haraka sana leta. Basa mlo nachukua hiyo ndete. Hiyo leso. Ebu ifunue vizu ndaka kuona. Ente songa nao nyuma ndaka kuona vizu ifungua yote. Mimi ndaka kuona si yao. Oh, make it upside down. Uh, you. It's Don't let such things enter church. See mtoto mama yake. Peleka ikae huko nje. Yaani watu wa mkomai. Hata nyuna nunua vitu kama mantra za kutumia. Mtaarifuka siku gani? Vitu ambazo na vitu kama hizo they should not enter church. Mtoto anajifunika nayo. Mama, hiyo hata ndaka na chovu na moto. Those are among us defiled, defiled, I mean, defiled items. But as we will see, we can say, Kuwana kitu plain, plain kala moja. Mwanyawa chukua tajitetea jichome, usi mchome, mwanyawa jichome. Kila mta bebe mizigo ya? Kila mta bebe mizigo ya? Pea mwanyawa mizigo ya bebe mizigo ya? Kaya wana yule tafanya, kama taipika, apike, kama taichoma, achome. Haya, nikuwa nalifanya tafsidi ya hii. Bado tuna hali ambazo watu wengi hawakomai hawaingi katika hali za ukomavu. Ukija kanisani. Ka kanisani kwani kwako hakuna cho. When you came to church, si ujisote kwa nyumba yako kwanza. So that usiingie mara za kwanza few hours hizo bado na kimbe kimbe kwa cho. That shows how that shows you kama bado uko machua. Na pilgrims wengine wakikuja hapa pilgrims please muwe na adabu. Unapata pilgrims wengine wakikuja hapa wana randa randa wana manga manga kwa choo kwa kiwanja wana jimoya moya kwa jua. Sasa wana gari mtukaje na kuja na sema choo ndego. Tunakimbia kanisani. Ida kama ngongo. Yaani nasema mwanamke mkubwa wewe ulikuja kuota jua kanisani. Hizi tabia mnafanya plus wasitana hawa wasitana hawa hapa kuna tusitana kama tu Daniels. Tusitana mbapo watuko serious kama mambo yaanza wana hang hang hapo nje. Maji na hang hang na mbapo nguo za kosho wamekuja kanisani. And I see that thing bado naiona kwa watu wakubwa ambao bado mnakimbikimbia nje. This is how I've grown in church. Mimi nilikuwa nikiingia kanisani. Sikae mpaka nitoke. Ndiyo, ma, ndiyo hali nimelea na ema. I don't walk around in church. That's not how I grew up. I grew up kumba ni kika nisani. Taondoka kanisani when ibade meisha. And if I will go out, I don't remember. This is a mini. Kuna hata mbao yu mesha jua choya kanisa yiko wapi. Me the place I've gone. Hata choya kanisa siju mali yiko. Because there's a discipline unaweka so nasikia roho bwana analamika yani maji ni Yesu anawangoja kwa madhabahu sasa naangalia tena wa watu hawa ile tu akubeba kiboko siku eh, ya wachape but it's bad manners it is immaturity it is laziness na sio watu ambao hauko shua but I'll also be watching asema maji mnaambiwa kujeni kanisani sasa ibadi naanza worship team kazi yenu ni gani why do you come early then you are like Worship tu ndaka na waimbe hata kama watu wajafika kanisani. That's how we should be. 
intercessors wanafanya maombezi alafu wakipiga break wakimaliza okay, hivi wana hand over worship inaanza so that that hali kama ni hali kwamba sisi hizo zote hizi si ibada mpaka pastor afike hivi tuingine yote ni bure mpaka pastor afike so nasikia bwana alikuwa zika na that's how some of you lose blessings then kanisani pia hapo nanga watu ambao na ni wa mama majority hata ameondoka na kida kwa choo <sighs> kwani utinga gulu Hani mbaza ndani yenu mmebeba resolver enye wendi mcho once na umalize so please msifanye hivyo roho bwana analalamika na leo hata mimi nakuanga na kukuzika nikikuja napata watu ambao bado wana wanangoja e, kama apostle hajaingia maombi bado yaanza i hope will make me to change hapa ni shule ni maombi tu waimbaji kama mwezi mtabadilishwa so please msijaribie bonga poezi ya kupata gari yenu mungu ananiambia hiyo gari usipeane haya so mtumishi wa bwana nasaya ulosi eh uh. Nikaota nilikuwa nimeenda kule previous church. Mm. Na wakati nilienda nilikuwa nimeenda kuchunguza kile kinaendelea. So wakati nilienda nikasonga nikapata huyo mama alikuwa anaombea watu. Na vile alikuwa anaombea watu nikasema asinione akiniona anaweza ninyoa nywele bila alinyoa last time. Nikaanza kurudi. Wakati nilikuwa narudi kukawa na vitoto vi dogo four years three years vikaanza kuni, kuni, kunifata vikisema wewe wewe so vikanishika mikono vilikuwa vinanikata na ma, vinanikata na makucha inapotelea ndani so wakati nilikuwa nangangana huyo mama sinione nikawa napita kulikuwa na vikapu zimewekwa mayai zimewekwa vitu nangangana huyo mama sinione sasa wakati niliamka niliamka mwili si sawa kuomba siwezi hata nasikia roho inapiga sana lakini itaisha sasa nikuulize kwani kuna vile ulijipata tena ukawazia madhabahu yenu ya zamani hapana si kuwazia okay that means there's an open door adui ametumia kukutafuta hamu alikuona haya watu likushika shika kwanza iruhusi wa kushike anointed I receive we well, are anointed Margaret Eh uh, malo alishika hapo angalia kwanza before nifanye eh uh, soka kupea attack hasa wewe ndio uta attack kwanza attack inatoka na iende ya attack mali penye attack hasa unakuanga eh uh, baba ponye kama wana maka 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 ponyo wadungwa shindano kadhaa ora wengine kwa mkono wengine kwa mkono dungwa shindano sai mombazi ndakikana acha pone hapo si hapa sio bia bit special kwa Mungu acha <laughs> aponyo hapo bwana sifiwe amen mimi nionga bodi nikaona ni kama nasimama hivi then kuna pile ikatokea chini kaenda juu sasa sasa si akakuja then akanipeleka mali pengine inakaa ni kama inakaa ni kama kama mali ilikuwa ngana napiganiwa kitambo alafu yani ni kama ilikuwa ngana ni kama battlefield then akaniambia eh akakosa akanyanga akanyangalia then akaka smile then akaniuliza sasa kapeko kadogo kama kaka nakushinda akamwambia 
nilirushe kamisi nikarusha tena kamisi nikarusha mguki kamisi akaniambia hmm, akanyamaza then aka, akaniambia akatoa swadi nyingine hapo na kasilva then inakaa ni kama sharp kabisa akainua hivi juu akaniambia unajua ile ilikuwa inatumika kufanyia nini nikamwambia yeye ilikuwa inatumika kupigana na mashetani then akaniambia si huko na kama nikamwambia akasema akasema sasa nikamuliza na sasa nitashindaje nyoka juu nikirusha hivi moto ina miss nikirusha hivi moto ina miss na nikisema ati ni, ni miss hivi alafu nirushe ita ita inaweza ata miss ama inaweza gonga inirudi juu ngozi yake ni soft akaniambia eh ukiona situation kama hiyo ni uh, ni kama nilikuwa nilikuwa ni kama ninavalishwa ni boots za ngozi sasa akaniambia ukiona situation kama hii akanyaga nyoka kwa kichwa una una make sure mekanyaga kwa kichwa alafu ama kama sio hivyo una time unaangalia kwa sauce penye inatokea then unapiga hiyo sauce ukishapiga sauce itaanguka chini nikamuuliza na nitapigaje sauce juu ina ni kama inajua ina chini nenda kufanya akaniambia kwanza unajua uko na visions mbili ukusema ambaye gani na gani akaniambia asante na yenye ulio ile ndoto niliota hiyo siku yao nitasema akaniambia acha nikwambie siri moja akaniambia ukiangalia hiyo nyoka many a times utani na to limi nje ndio kitu ambao joy jua ni hizo nyoka mbili zinakwanga ni kama inakwanga ni kama macho hiyo nyoka ya siri sasa inaona chini inaenda kufanya next sasa ukiona ulimi natoka nje kata ama sijudo fanye bora make sure ulimi haitatoka nje tena ndio ukiuta manage kuwa nikamwambia nikamwambia sawa nikarudi then hiyo service nilembe ni seme ilikuwa ni sunday eh nilembe watu wanyenda safari nikawa nimekaa hivi chini then nikasikia ni kama nimesimama nikasimama pale kwa mlango hapa za ndoshi ukanipea bag nyingine hapo bag nikaa ya kubeba handbag hivi ya inaka square ya brown inaka brown ina inaka kama imeondoa na leather ukanipea sasa mimi nikapenduka na nikafanyia hivi kanisa na mkono bii then yeye mkanifanyia hivi na kulikuwa na basi hapo kama ile basi ya wazungu hiyo ya shule ilikuwa hapo ime ilikuwa hapo kwa mlango hapo sasa ni, niliona tu tuliingia kwa hiyo basi mimi benta na kulikuwa na watu wengine hapo siko na sura then kulikuwa na dereva dereva sijui alitokea wapi huko ndani akatoka aka, akaenda kaingia kwa gari sasa tuka tuka nini tukaenda sasa tukapanda gari tukaanza kuenda nikaona kuna njia mbili kulikuwa na njia moja ina branch ikienda hivyo na tena huko mbele kuna light na tena kuna inji ya ukienda hivi straight na upige kona tena kuna nyingine inaenda hivi na sasa hapo kuna light kubwa sasa nika akaniuliza chago tenda gani kaniambia itenda hii kaniambia hapana kulingana na venye muombewa itenda hii sasa so, tukaenda hivi tukaingia kwa hiyo light sasa so, kufika kwa hiyo light ni kama kulikuwa na stress ya kuingia kwa hiyo light sasa so, tukaingia after kufika kuingia nikaona malaika wamejavu malaika wengi wengi kabisa walikuwa kwa kwa kitu kama garden hiyo garden walikuwa ni mmoja hapa mw, mwingine kama pale mwingine kama pale hivi na ni wengi na hapo kulikuwa na ma, na ma flowers flowers za, za green zingine zina, zina ni kama ndo zinatoka sasa kwa nini zinafunguka hivi then nikaangalia hivi kwa kwa hiyo mchanga kwa hiyo hiyo flower kuangalia penye ina mea kuangalia hivi ni maji kama ina kama glass lakini au malaika amesimama juu na ni maji then nikaona ma, ma, ilikuwa ma, kuna madini za yellow yellow ma, sasa yelo yelo nyingi then sasa tukapanda hiyo gari tukarudi tukafika tuka mlango nikaingia ndani then nikaanguka then hii nyingine ya pili ilikuwa ni ndoto ki ilikuwa mimi pasadorcas na evangelist ana evangelist ana alikuwa ni kama anasafisha safisha huko nyuma mimi nilikuwa nasafisha safisha hapa katikati alafu pasadorcas alikuwa anasafisha hapa then watu wengi wakakuja ni kama ndio sasa wanajua kitu wakakuja mbio akasema baba pastor Dorka sakauliza mnataka kuona nani akasema tunataka kuona hapo sanyango nikacheka afu nikamwambia ba amujui gari ndio imetoka sasa ndio ile hata inaenda hivi 
inenda America. Ah, si sasa kanzo kushuka he, wanaenda tukapotelea duo pa maisha. Very good. Pia bwana makofi. At least amekanyaga mbingu, ameonyeshwa mbingu na jumla ya matendo hayo ni ambingu. Then uh, watu ambao watakuwa ni kushika ufunuo na ukweli kwamba tuna mission ni kotiari. Mbona kuja kujua baadaye? Anaonyesha sasa kuna watu ambao watakubaliana na mfanyiko wa mambo but it will be a bit late. Anyway, bit as it is wale ambao wameshika ya saa mshike wale ambao tashika late washike. But uh, kazi ya Bwana iendelee. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Pick up one of the as he sits. Amen. Amen. Asiyo ni joko majina ni anointed Caroline. Ndio. Eh masaka mahaya nimeokoka. Yes Kristo ni Bwana mpokozi wa maisha yangu. Amen. Eh my single mother of two kids, a girl and a boy. Mm. Nashukuru Mungu. Mm. Nimekuwa single for 10 years. Na nashukuru Mungu sana kwa yale ambayo nimeweza kupitia maana mm. kwangu ni ushuhuda Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na Mungu kuniunganisha na madhebao haya hakika wapendwa. Nimeona ya maajabu sana ambayo Mungu ameweza kunitendea. Mm. Maana kwangu nikija mahali hapa ilikuwa nimeujiza sana. Sababu mm. nilikuwa nimetoka Saudi Arabia. Nikitoka Saudi Arabia nilitoka na uko na mzigo yangu na nikaingia kwa madhebao haya nikaweza mm. nikupewa mahali pa kuishi for around two weeks mm. e, bila kufika nyumbani na nashukuru Mungu sababu Mungu alikuwa na kusudi kunifikisha mahali hapa mm. ndani mwangu uh, moyo wangu ataka umsifu Bwana kwa wimbo eh, mfupi hivi Bwana asifiwe amen haleluya Amen. Wewe ni Mungu, ni Mungu, wewe ni Mungu, ni Mungu, matendo yako ya ajabu, yatisha kama nini? Wewe ni Mungu, ni Mungu, wewe ni Mungu. Ni Mungu matendo yako ya ajabu yatisha kama nini Bwana asifiwe Amen Hakika Mungu ambaye tunaabudu ni Mungu wa kweli mm. Mungu ambaye anapatikana mahali hapa mm. Ni Mungu ambaye tunapomuita anaitika wapendwa Bwana asifiwe sana Amen Mimi ni mmoja wao ambaye nilikuwa nafika mahali na kata tamaa na waza nasema Mungu hanijui hanitambui amenisahau kwa ajili ya ambayo nilikuwa napitia e, msichana wangu akiwa class 8 alikuwa anagonjeka week after week alikuwa mgonjwa nikakuja nikaelezea apostle akamweka katika maombi kijana naye alikuwa anaishi kwa dada yangu watu walikuwa kwa dada yangu kijana alikuwa kila wakati mwezi wa tatu, wa saba, wa tisa alikuwa na fendi akizimia bwana asifiwe sana lakini kufika kwa madhebao haya wapendwa nilipoleta watoto kwa madhebao haya hapa madhebao haya nikaweza kuishi nao hapa ma, eh, hapa Eldoret nikishiriki kwa madhebao haya sijaona kijana wangu akiweza kuzimia bwana asifiwe amen amen hata wapendwa kijana alipokuja kwa nyumba nilikuwa na Sikuwa strong hata nami imani ilikuwa chini sikuwa kuomba ile ya kujaribu jaribu lakini alikuwa akiniona nikiomba tukikuja kwa madhebao hapa alikuwa ananiuliza eh hey, hii madhebao tunakaa mpaka jioni unakaa njaa tukifika jumapili tukikuja huku alikuwa hataki analia lakini kwa sasa ananiambia twendeni haraka harakisha harakisheni haraka sana mimi naenda mkesha mimi nashukuru Mungu sana kwa hayo Hey. Zaidi na hayo tena nataka kurudishia Mungu sifa na utukufu. Vile nilijiunga mahali hapa dada zangu alianza pia kunitenga akasema nimeingia kwa madhebao ya mashetani mm. na tafuta kafara ningeenda kwa nasema nitafuta kafara huko nyumbani. Lakini nashukuru Mungu tena kwa yale ambayo amenitendea sababu of recently 
Nimekuwa nikipeleka shopping ya mtoto kwa dada yangu ambaye alikuwa ananena hayo sababu nimeitwa vile nimesimama hivi afa kesho nikuwe kwa medical one week nitakuwa naenda kwa kazi bwana asifiwe sana mm. nikimpelekea shopping ya mtoto dada yangu ambaye alikuwa anasema nimeingia kwa kanisa ya madhebau haya ya mashetani aliweza kuwa na moyo uliomgarimu kwa ka sana akitaka kujua naishi aje akawa msaada sana kwangu akanipa chakula gunia moja vyakula mingi akaweza kuniambia tena anataka kusimama na mimi na school fees ya mtoto nikasema huyu ni Mungu ambaye ameshuka mahali hapa bwana asifiwe amen amen ya pili namrudishia Mungu sifa na utukufu tena kwa msichana ambaye alikuwa mgonjwa apostle akaweza kumweka kwa maombi msichana yule eh, tukiwa hapa convocation nilikuwa nimenenewa na roho wa Mungu niende kwa shule hiyo mapema sana hakika niliambia nili apostle akaanza kuniambia niti sauti ya Mungu nikaweza kwenda kwa hiyo shule mapema sana nikawa nikinena na niliporudi hakika mtoto vile alifika kwa examination alipita examination yake na na join a good school nashukuru mm. Mungu sana amen amen makofi kwa bwana tena haleluya She was the best in their school. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nanyenyekea sana kwa kwa madhebau haya. Nashindwa cha kueleza. Nashindwa cha kueleza. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Eh, msichana wangu alipoitwa kwa shule nikawa nikiwaza mtoto wangu atasoma aje. Na nikawa nikijiuliza tena Mungu unanijua sababu wewe ndio uliniongoza nikakuja mahali hapa nikasema madhabahu haya Mungu ni madhabahu yako ya kweli na mimi kujiunga kwa madhabahu haya sitashindwa kulipa rent sitashindwa kufunza watoto nirudi tena kuishi na madada zangu sababu muda mrefu nimeishi na dada zangu na imekuwa naelewa kuishi na dada yako na familia ingine ni majaribu iliyo iliyo mzito sana sababu ukiwa na kazi na unaishi kwa dada yako It means kama unafanya kazi na uko kwa dada yako iko kama hiyo familia kinno mtoto wako nguo kama hiyo familia wako saba itabidi unilie watoto saba bwana asifiwe haya ndio changamoto nilikuwa napata kuishi na dada zangu kwa familia yetu kwa hivyo kukuja mahali hapa pia nilisema Mungu nikitoka Saudi Arabia ilikuwa ombe yangu Mungu nionyesha madhebau ambayo mimi nitaenda na nataka Mungu iwe madhebau ya kweli sababu kama ni kuzunguka madhebau nimekuwa katika Islam nikatoka nimezunguka dini mbalimbali na nilikuwa nawaambia Mungu nionyeshe madhebau ambayo mimi nitaenda na ikuwe madhebau yako na madhebau hiyo Mungu itakapokuwa ita, ita ni madhebau yako mimi nitaenda niishi hapo karibu maana sina mahali pa kwenda kuishi sina wazazi na masingle mother bwana asifiwe nilipokuja mahali hapa nikapata nyumba hapo Kokwas Niliposaidiwa na Mildred na Regina na shukuru Mungu Mungu awalinde mahali walipo. Eh wakaweza kunitafutia mahali hapo nyumba. Nilikuwa naomba Mungu nikamwambia ulinionyesha madhebau haya nikaja kwa madhebau haya. Na Mungu sitashindwa sababu wewe ndio ulinielekeza mahali hapa. Najua Mungu utaniwezesha mtoto wangu ataenda shule, nitaweza kulipa rent. Sababu nikishindwa mahali hapa itabidi tena nirudi kwa mikono za dada zangu. Na nilikuwa nimejinasua mahali hapo. Nikasema Mungu kama ni mapenzi yako uniwenyeshe tu uniwezeshe baba nikaweze watoto wangu e, wakaweze kwenda shule na ukaniwezeshe ukanifungulia malango hata nikaweze kusimama Bwana asifiwe sana Hakika wapendo nataka kueleza ya kwamba Mungu ambaye tu Bwana asifiwe sana Ninaposimama hivi wapendwa Mungu amenitendea yale ambayo mwanadamu haezi kunitendea Hakika imegarimu mkono wa Mwenyezi Mungu Nileza kuwaza hivyo uh, nikiwa Nairobi nimekuwa Nairobi kwa training ya kwenda kazi Saudi Arabia ku work na company for around two month, one month and a half Nilipomaliza nikawaza ya kwamba niombe na ruhusa nije nishughulikie mtoto kwenda shule ndipo sa nirudi huko mambo ya kusafiri Nilipokuja kwa nyumba yangu nikawa nikijiuliza Nitafanya nini ili mtoto wangu aende shule? 
Sikuwa na otherwise lakini kasema mungu dia niwezesha Nikaweza kununua pikipiki hii Nikasema mungu niwezesha tu nikaweza kuitoa Na najua mungu utaniwezesha tena nitapata Nyengine buwana sifiwe sana 